What up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It is 7 p.m. PT. It's Thursday night. D&D ah, &D night. Mm, 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 mm. April 29th, 2021. That's the date and year, if you didn't know. If you even care. Chat. It's good to have you here. People on YouTube, all one of you that watches. Thanks, Mom. Hello. What is up, everybody? Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I'm going to grab my drink here. It's an old-fashioned night. I got a few old fashions queued up, ready to go. Going to get a nice little buzz on. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. It is Irlan, The Approaching Storm, Session 14. Tonight is an awesome one because we're about to immediately get into a fight as soon as the uh, the session starts. And of course, as you can see, we have Eric here. Bing, 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 bing. Our lovely monk special guest character joining us tonight. Hopefully next week as well. Hopefully next week as well. It's up in the air. We're not sure. Hope I hope you can. More Eric, the better. Anyway, we're going to get a nice solid recap of session 13. We'll say hi to the boys, and then uh, we'll get to it. We'll start chopping up aliens and creatures and monsters or whatever the fuck these things are, and we will continue on the road to the Elven lands. Anyway, I'm going to jump in here and get this shit started. Yeah, they're cool. What's up, dude? We oh, got... Hello. They're Greetings. cool. Howdy. They're cool. Well met. They're well cool. met. All right, boys, roll initiative. Let's get it. Let's get going. Oh, uh, no, initiative's already <laughs> rolled. Oh, oh yeah, no, it, it didn't reset. <laughs> nope. All you right, guys are st you guys are still fucked. Sorry, not really. <laughs> For now, uh, boys, good to see you. Hello, everybody. Uh, Eric, how are you, man? Welcome back. Good to be back. Fin finally in America. Finally playing some D and D with the boys. Indeed. On, on my fourth table. <laughs> Good. How this is session three or four with your monk? Three? Uh, I want to say yeah, so three. Um, imagine his monk being born on leap day. That's kind of how he is in our sessions. Like once yeah. every four weeks, he pops in. And it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, leap yeah. year. <laughs> exactly. Um, he's, he's a nice surprise. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, are you joining Pleasant. us next week, Eric? I actually think I can. I'm not 100% oh, yeah. yet. I got to double check my work because it's like a bunch of people are doing vacation, apparently. Uh, so, okay. but I think I should be good for next week. But don't okay. hold me to it. All copy right. that. Copy that. Um, sick. Well, hello again, boys. Good to have you here. Chat, what is up? We're going to jump into the session 13 recap, get us up to speed, and then we will. Uh, kick it off with session 14 let's do it take it away mr dm sticks one two one that, that that's me that is, um that okay <laughs> so um effectively when we last left off uh, well our, our characters are in a pickle but before we get there um the characters uh they, they all set out on a trip we're going to the elven lands chat it's going to be rad. We'll send you a postcard when we get there. But before <laughs> we got there, uh, and before we even really get there, they were on the road, beginning their journey from Dragonfall all the way down the roads to uh, to the village of Oakwood, which I will... I'll, I'll pop that up, actually, for chat to see, and then we'll swing back to the battle scene. Um, so, from about here to here... Can't see. And uh, that's where we got in one session. <laughs> we couldn't see your marker. Oh, we're here on the map. Still can't. You can't? Oh, no, I know. We're on, on the wrong, wrong layer. layer. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's where we are now, chat. We started in Dragonfall, and now we've yep. gotten And now they've made it there. So in three hours of play last time, we made it that far down the road. Pretty cool. Um, and there is chat there's a long way to go we are we are going much further south than that so yeah. prepare to to be on the road for a while guys but uh i like it you know 
just just like for the reasons we like Lord of the Rings, we know it's the journey, not the destination, that is the best part of a tale. So, uh, by the time they reached Oakwood, though, to get back on track, they um, realized that things were getting a little weird. Um, the guard captains were acting strange. People were telling them that weird shit was going on with the guard captain. And so they resolved to investigate. Um, Runon, <clears throat> a.k.a. Crazed, was scouting around the town when he noticed that the guards' faces were shifting strangely and that they were acting weird. And uh, when he started following them back to try and make his way back to the inn where the rest of the group was staged, uh, they the guards had already started advancing upon the inn, demanding that our heroes come out or else bad things would happen. And then they dropped their disguises to reveal themselves to be very ghoulish in nature. And, uh, and uh, that is where we stand right now with the group inside awaiting uh, the attack of what looks to be a, a somewhat small patrol of, of uh, ghoulish creatures. I love it. Thank you for the recap, sir. That was fantastic. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's uh, just jump right in. We have initiative, and I guess we can just meld right into session 14, take it off the top. I guess maybe you can repeat the final line. Wouldn't they, would they say uh, admission is the, is your life or something like that? Yeah, they said they were recruiting. And recruiting. before the screen went black, uh, they said, well, what's the price? And then they said, your life. And then they started drawing their weapons. Right, right, uh, right. Yeah. Got it. Uh, cool. If you need me for any one-liners for scripts, chat, I, I got you. I've been watching a lot of TV. Um, <laughs> so don't worry about it. I got you covered. Beautiful. All right. So, unfortunately for you guys, it's big bad ghoul captain's turn. So, yeah. Um, well, I guess we jump right into this. Let me find some good combat music and we'll just fucking roll, dude. Um, maybe this will work. It might be too somber. Okay, we'll like see. That. Can you turn up just a little bit? Yeah, give me a second. Okay. How's that? Um, check. Can you guys hear that? Okay. I can hear it fine. Yeah, if you guys. I hear it, but for combat, I agree. It's a bit somber. <laughs> okay. I like the somber. Yeah. No, I will do something else. Eric is our guest of honor. <laughs> Aww. To be honest. Hey, don't let me to dictate all these things. We're trying to be emo out here. Nah, yeah, man. But... I, I thought it worked I can for use... creepy village guards. Yeah, but we're about to get into the fucking rough and tumble. So mm -hmm. we're going to pick something good. Don't worry. Final about. Fantasy. Oh, wait, no, you can't use trademark music. I wish. Not for longer than three seconds. <laughs> I wish. Anyway, um, I will find something. Uh, but first, I want to get through these first two turns uh, so I can get to a player. So, before we, we, before we dive in, I will, um, uh, I promise I'll find something good. But, uh, yeah, let's fucking do this thing, guys. So, I think what's going to happen first is that the captain, after drawing a sword and telling the group his price, uh, is going to, um, he is going to, uh, approach the door and, uh, have you, did you guys like I forget and here's your opportunity to to to, to you Red know, tell me what happened yeah um did you guys brace the door at all yep. did you guys lock it I forget I honestly uh, don't remember I can't remember I either. shut it he shut it that's it and I guess if there's like a like a lock you could like you know like a twist something easy at hand sure yeah right. like a bolt lock or something yeah but nothing yeah, you like us for extravagant. Hiding. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, these are like windows we can see out of, right? Yes. Okay. hundred percent. And they actually work. So if you brought your character token up to the window, you could see out of it. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, he's going to approach the door. Um. He'll try it first <clears throat> with his hand, and if it doesn't budge, he's going to start attempting to break down the door. 
Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I mean, are, is that his turn? To react, right? Can't. Um, this is this is his action for the okay. turn. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So he's going to um, claw at the door. He gets three attacks with it. So. Jesus Christ. Um, does he uh, still on a look stationary like a guard? Door? No, they look, drop their guys. What does he look like? Um, a blue goblin, dude. A blue goblin. meanie. It's a blue meanie. He, he looks like this. Ew. Oh, God. Was that a vampire? No, nope. it's some undead uh, Ghoul thing. Bitch. Ghoul thing. I can't remember the name. You guys, I don't, I don't use... A, a, so, for chat who are like, hey, I've been playing D&D forever. That doesn't look familiar to me. That's because I'm using a lot of Kobold Press's monster manuals, mm. so I can throw some surprises at you guys. Um, mm. <laughs> so that you can't just look at something and be like, I know exactly what that is. No man of gaming well, nerds. I know, I know exactly what it is. I know, and, Alan, you're different. And that has been your hashtag daily DM. All right, so 15 damage. It's gonna hit the door. It's a door, so its AC is not very good. It's not like a heavily bolted door or anything. Um, so it's 15. Mm. 32. Yeah, you don't want to be hit by that attack. It's not a good time. Um, and with that, you hear three smashes on the door, and the door breaks and buckles off of its hinges, <sighs> and you are face to face with this guy. But that is. His turn, he's going to then step back uh, a few steps with the rest of his movement <clears throat> and uh, command his guards to move forward. And Shit. one of them does. Question. He's going to come in and he's going to attack Do you attack him walking away? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm going to slap him. <laughs> what do you have? Donnie, yeah, you can have an opportunity to attack. Go for it. Wait, what weapon do you have? No weapon. <laughs> oh. You can literally make an unarmed attack. He's gonna slap him, dude. You're gonna like try and deck him. I mean, I assume it's just a straight up strength roll. Yeah, I'm gonna give him my best. Like, um, I think. Slap. What I do think I have? You can just add an unarmed attack to your um, demon huh. beyond sheet. Yeah, there should I be an unarmed dagger, but I, I don't imagine I'd have it out. So, yeah. Hmm. I mean, you could unsheathing is not an action. That's true. But I mean, I guess an just... opportunity attack. As an opportunity attack, yeah, sure. You just, know, it's as just he's walking reaction. away, you just like, wow, well, really fast. Well, you missed, so <laughs> it's pointless anyway. Um, and with that, one of the other guards moves in as he backs out. So, like, he's backing out of the room. You go to try and get him, and, you, and he uh, dodges out of the way, and then he sends his guard in, hmm. or one of his guards. Oh, no. Um, hmm. And for chat, the guards, uh, they look like this. Cool. Pretty cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some sort of ghoul kin. I don't know. They're ghoulish. I, lo I love that Mortimer's our upfront tank. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's good stuff. Gotta love it. So, this guy, when you look at him, is wearing um, some sort of armor underneath his cloak. Um, uh, it, it looks scaly. <laughs> he uh, does have a shield on his arm. But he also has a war pick, but it's hanging from his belt. It's not out right now. Mm. Um, and so <clears throat> he is going to make... Uh, um, let's see. Okay. He's going to make, um, make peace one claw us? attack. Okay. No, he, no. <laughs> he's going to make one claw attack at uh, Mortimer, <clears throat> which an eight, I'm sure, does not hit. So he swipes out at you and yep. misses. And then he lunges in to try and bite you. Oh no. And he misses. So you're able to like push him away or dodge out of the way. What does it look like? Like this guy is like gnashing at you and trying to bite at you and slashing his claws. How, do, how does Mortimer get away? I imagine like, you know, like, ah, ah, like doing like very un uh, heroic. Yeah, yeah unheroic <laughs> actions to like get away. But, uh, you know, maybe like he claws at me and I put my book up in front of my face and he like slashes it. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All right, and that's his turn, and then Corin, it is your turn, and I'm gonna look for some battle music. So go for it. All right, I'm gonna step up here, and uh, I'm gonna hit my shield and be like, uh, "By Morden's will," you know, and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna turn undead. Okay. Um, 
Give me one second on that. I like that. Um, good shit. That is a good one. Can you just post that in chat for everybody in chat? <clears throat> Solid cleric moves. Okay. I like it. Right. Each undead found... you can see her here within 30 feet. Each undead. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. This will fucking work. Here. Interesting. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Trying to upload some shit real quick, but uh, it'll be dope. Um, actually, you know what? Mm. I'm just gonna use Groovy, cause we're in a pinch. Okay. That's fine. So don't mind me. All good. All good. Turn on dead. Mm -mm -mm. I like it. It's a good All right, move. boom. Is it playing? Wrong mm -hmm. chat. You did that. In the <laughs> oh. Chat. oh, I, I didn't do it. In, <laughs> I'm such a doofus. My bad. <laughs> How dare you? Okay. There we go. There we go. My bad. There we go. Nice. Good battle music. How's that sound, chat? Let us know. Um, all right. So, channel divinity, turn undead, each undead you can see within 30 feet of you, must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, cool. The, these guys do have turning defiance. So it has advantage on its saving throw Jesus. against turn undead. Of course it does. <laughs> you All right. want it to be too easy. Uh, yeah. No, man. You wanted hard d &D. You wanted Dark Souls d and and I quote. Uh, hey, I dig it. Okay, so wisdom saving throw coming right up. What's up? I so said, do we get to respawn at the bonfire? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't the make bonfire a bonfire. Really far away. Ouch. He makes an 18 on his turning save. Doesn't someone have bonfire as a cantrip, though? I do. They do. <laughs> so you can create save quick. points. <laughs> all right. So, Al, that's an 18 it's, on his. It's, it's all of them. It's every single undead that within 30 okay. feet that can hear me. Oh, sick. All right. That's awesome. 18, 16. So far, um, but it's all passes. Okay. 16. And then... Um, they all passed? The, uh, not yeah, all of okay. them. I haven't rolled for all of them yet. Uh, yeah, Big Boss hasn't rolled his. Oh, it's the first one. So an 11, he fails. So he fails. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so what is his deal? He has to move as far away from you as possible on his turn. Right. Also can't take reactions. Da, 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 da. How long does that last? For one minute or until it takes minute, any until damage? It takes damage, yep. Okay. And which one's so, failed? The purple one? The, the big boss, yeah. Okay. It's very fortunate. Um, you know, if you didn't have an advantage, uh, almost all of them would have failed. Yep. Hmm. Damn. Why there's turning to fire. Damn. Okay. Um, At least Purple Boy oh, got it. I, Better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, eventually you're going to have to kill him. But yeah, yeah, he's the gnarliest of them all. So yeah, that's probably best that he got it. Yeah, like, I was gonna best say, case scenario. So we'll just give him the little frightened token. Um, all right. Cool. So, Corin, is there anything else you're trying to do? No, that's it. Uh, actually, I will uh, just because... Mortimer is right there, and I want Mortimer to be able to move. I'm going to step away from this guy to provoke attack of opportunity. Actually, hilariously enough, they couldn't see you. But what does it say hear or see you? Yeah, they could hear if, you. If, yeah, if they hear or see me. Okay, they, yeah, they could definitely all hear you. Okay, never mind then. But I'm going right, to step away cool. from this guy to, pro, uh, to provoke an attack op. So he's going to get to attack you. Okay. Uh, what the? He'll, he'll use a claw. Uh, this shouldn't have been with advantage, but 19 was the first number. Does that it hit misses. you? It misses. And thought. then I step back in. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah okay. so his reaction oh. is used for this turn, so Mortimer can walk away without getting hit. Yeah, I see what you did there. Genius. Good stuff. That's some fucking sweaty five-head shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I like it. Oh I like that. You're going to need that kind of tactics <laughs> in my games. Got a Dark right, Souls Runon, player in you here. Are yeah, exactly. Runon, you're uh, 
You're fucking way across the map. What you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm gonna step up here and I'm gonna do my little combo, uh, combo thing. So I'm gonna hide <laughs> if uh, my D and D Beyond won't refresh on me. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll my stealth here. Okay, we're going to attempt <coughs> to hide as your bonus action. That's a yikes. Uh, um, I'm gonna on, side me, bolster that gate. Let me check it. some passive perceptions. Uh -oh. Just to be safe, I'm gonna side bolster it. Um, so no, you are hidden from. It's a sixteen. Yeah, yeah. I, I used a die. Okay, you're you, well. You're hidden from everybody except for the big boss. But he's also freaked out right now, so right. I don't know. So that would count as a success. It's all, like technically, that's all I need to know. Because <laughs> I gotta, if it count, if I'm hidden from any of them, it's probably I need to remove a die. You're hidden from uh, any any of the red tokens for sure, and it is a situational maybe on the on the purple guy. Oh, I'm just saying, I, like if I have a success, I just needed to remove a die. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, count it as a success then, because you were successful on three out of four of them. That's fair. Hello? Yeah, I'm moving. Sorry. He's he's, he's thinking. Yeah, you can't see his moves because he's in the dark. But uh... yeah, I was curious how far away he was. Hmm. Crank down my capacity. Right. The dude at the door? Yes. Uh, yeah, he's getting it. He's getting the D. He's getting the side bolstered uh, D, yeah. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hmm. Uh oh. I'm scared. Soma and Alan thinking together terrifies me. I'm not gonna run. Let's hear it. All right, so, 21. Uh, which one were you hitting? The guy in the doorway? Yep. All right, yeah, so you get your sneak attack. That's 18 damage. <clears throat> it's very nice. I'm Bam, use... so we see uh, Runon creep up behind uh, behind the building, summon one of his uh, purple psionic blades, wing it across the courtyard, and it hits the guy in the back in the doorway. It lets mm. out a shriek. Nice. What else are you doing? Anything else? Yeah, I'll hit him with the... Oh, wait, no, I can't use a bonus attack. It's, uh, yeah, I will just step. I'll use the rest of my movement and step here. Yeah. Yeah, so turn. the way the whole, like, stealth versus passive perception is going to work, instead of me telling you succeed or fail, it's really like if they make a concentrated effort to look for you and their passive perception is higher than what you rolled, they're going to see you. Yeah, I, I just I just needed yeah. to know if like one like instantly saw me or not because that determines right. whether well, or no not. No one was <laughs> looking in your direction over there, so you're fine. Everyone's focused on the door of the inn, right? Okay. Yep. Which okay. turn? Which turn takes longer, a rogue's turn or a druid's turn? <laughs> Depends on what I'm doing. I know. Um, I'm just teasing. Yeah, the answer is the sorcerer or the wizard. Right. Um, right. <laughs> all right. But that being said. Uh, dagger just whipped out of nowhere, and this guy's gonna go investigate. Ooh! Oh, this guy. Oh, I can't. This oh, guy. That guy. Okay. For the sake Correct. of the for the sake of the stream, I'm showing with my token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do your cameraman thing. Your flying cameraman. Wee! Oh, don't. Do. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> just watches everything ding, 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 on the screen. Yeah. So he's looking around. Um, his passive perception was not equal to your roll, so he can't find you. You're hidden around that corner. But you know that someone is sneaking around that area looking. So uh, just, just be aware of that. He's going to ready an action anymore. that if he sees anything he is going that comes into his range, he's going to attack it. And at this point, he has his war pick out and his shield up. Like, he's ready for business. So I'll just give him the little spear thing that he is readying an action. Uh, Bobbity, it's going to be your turn, though. Okay, uh, I'm gonna step here and guiding bolt the guy in the door. Alright. Very nice. Uh, 16. Do I have to do anything or is it just a ranged attack? It's a ranged attack. Um, a 16 is gonna miss. This guy has a shield, so. 
Okay. The worst feeling ever. So basically, you fling a guiding bolt at him, and he just raises his shield, and yeah. the shield takes the whole guiding bolt. Um. Because without a shield, that would have hit him. <laughs> so it was like at the last minute, he raises his shield and just hmm. takes it on the shield. Um, I'm gonna go uh, archer form and shoot and throw an arrow. Okay. That's a hit. Go. go ahead nice. and roll damage. Damn. All right. 12. Woo. Wait. Why did it do? What do you mean? Oh, no. Okay. That's right. Nothing. Or it looks right. Yeah. Okay. It, it, for some reason, it shows I rolled two. Sevens? Two D8s, but that's not how the spell works. But looking at it, it worked. So. Oh. Yeah. Mathematically, it worked out. Mathematically, Visually, it, worked. it was that kind of is weird. weird. <laughs> I did not roll 14. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. That's it. Cool. And I'm Archer form now. Okay, so you've activated your starry form. I'll put a little. Oh, whoops! Not on him. I'll put it. I'll put a little dongle on you. Um, dongle. Mortimer, it's your turn. You're muted, Donnie. Ah, my apologies. I was talking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hex this gentleman right here. Uh, back up and uh, blast him. Nice. Oh, hexed. Pew. And blasted. Go ahead and roll damage. Pew. On all of that shit. Yeah. Those are some good. Not nah, a terrible blast. All right. Pretty good damage, so, though. Uh, 21. Thank not you. Bad. 21 damage. Jesus. You guys just light this guy up as soon as you 41 damage in. so far. Yeah, he's getting his ass kicked. Is that everything you want to do? Yeah, that's... Uh, is there, like, these stairs right here? Is there a way where I could, like, look down the stairs? Or would I have to be, like... It's yeah. up the stairs, and yes, I have a layer if you want to go up. Uh, I don't necessarily want to be up. I just want to be, like, sitting at, like, the doorway. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. At the top of the stairs, yeah. Okay, I like it. All right, so never in... Way I'm, at. <clears throat> I'm kind of surveying the scene, and my eyes kind of... I don't know, my, my eyebrows sort of furl and I'm kind of pissed off at our situation. And I'm going to attempt something here. <laughs> uh, you see this wagon cart right here? Yes. I want to pick it up with my mind and drop it on this motherfucker's head. That dude? Yep, the one, okay. the one right behind right there. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm going to use my free telekinetic movement pick that thing up i'm gonna lift it up 10 feet in the air move it over five feet actually let's see i can move it up i'm gonna move it up 25 feet in the air move it over five feet above him and then drop it and i'm gonna right. sort of like i kind of like brace myself like i my left hand sort of grabs onto the bar and i kind of like you see me sort of like strain and then it sort it starts to lift up Wait, which guy are you trying to drop it on? The guy behind the purple dude. Yep. I'm not trying to break the... I'm not trying to do damage to purple boy. I was yeah. about to be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing. Um, that is a big fucking cart. Uh, it's clearly like at least 10 feet. So I get you're trying to overshoot drop it. and drop it behind him. Yeah, okay. And yep. have the back end land on the dude. Yep. That um, Where the wheels are, essentially, you're going to land on him. If that makes right. sense. How do I calculate fucking dropping damage? This thing is big, and I'm driving at 25 feet. And he, exactly. I mean, I'm assuming he gets exactly like a dex saving D6. throw. He definitely will get a dex saving throw because that makes sense. Because he's watching this cart lift up and float over toward him. You know, I'm doing this fast. This is happening just in like. Yeah, it's a happening in seconds. six seconds, just like every well, round. <laughs> well, that's not my full turn. The whole, the full round, the full turn for me is six seconds. This is just right. part of my turn. Got it. Okay. We were just talking about dropping tanks. Okay, so I'm doing totally. this like fat. This thing is like shooting up 25 feet in the air and then lurching into him essentially. And it's happening right. fast. Yeah. Okay. So how much do you wager this object weighs? A wooden cart that a horse would pull that could probably carry a lot of shit. I mean, a couple hundred pounds? A few hundred pounds. Yep. Like four or 500 pounds probably. And it's falling 25 feet. 
Okay. So the falling damage alone is like rounded against the player 2d6. Rounded for the player 3d6 is 25, not 30. And they only do the shit in increments of 10, which irritates me. Um, but uh, well, I'm going to say 2d6 because this thing's heavy. So the weight is going to do most of the damage, not necessarily the falling. Um, let's see, 200 pounds or more, the object deals 1d6 points of damage provided it falls 10 feet it's it's only going to be like 3d6 damage according to the rules which makes no dropping sense. 25 feet 400 wait, pounds? wait 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 yeah. never mind there's math involved i just right. saw the chart um dude it's gonna be like 10d6 damage that's what i was thinking oh, that's nice. big. yeah yeah because it's around 200 pounds we're, we're guesstimating yeah. and it's falling 20 feet yeah it's 10d6 damage this thing is way heavier than 200 pounds. Really? It's stri uh, yeah. How much do you think Ooh. one wheel weighs? What, what's your guess? I'm gonna I'm gonna Google like it. 50, 60 pounds. How much does a wooden pounds. wheel weigh? Wagon wheel. Wagon wheel. A wooden or, wagon yeah, yeah, yeah. wheel. It depends what it's made out of, but they're, they weigh a lot. Yeah. Oh, it says six pounds. Yeah. If it's wood fur. Let me see uh, here. Average yeah. large carriage weight is in the neighborhood of 1,800 pounds. Yeah, 1,800. Yeah, but that's, yeah. that's a carriage. That's this a carriage. A this is a cart. This is like a... So like a quarter a of that. And if it's 1,800 pounds and you're brand new to psionics, I ain't letting you lift that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly. a house on I, somebody. I would right. say that thing is right. 200 pounds max. I would say 10 D... Absolute I don't know. I think 10d6 is, is a fair amount of yeah, damage let's to do drop it. on For somebody. For level 5, 10d6 is thank you, DM. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so go. Uh, let's let's say a dex check. I'm gonna say it's a large object that's right in front of his face that just lifts up and flies over toward him. He doesn't have a lot of time to react. I don't know. DC 15 sounds reasonable to me. Okay. What do you think? Fairly difficult, moderate. I wouldn't You're, say impossible. I, I would say slightly because it's a large object that he sees floating above his head. He, Correct. He's like. He knows something's up, even if right. it does move pretty fast. I kind of agree with that take, but I think 15 because it's happening quickly. Like, we're talking yeah. a couple of seconds here. 15 sounds fair. Yeah, let's do it. It's moderately difficult. Yeah. I'll have him roll. Oh. He rolls exactly a 15, plus his modifier is an 18. So, he will take, I don't know, some damage from the, uh, from the splinters, I'll say. I'll be generous. Um, he dives out of the way so he doesn't get hit with the brunt of it, but Soma, go ahead and roll 10d6. And, he'll um, half. he'll take half, yeah. 10d6, so pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like That's a mage average. dropping a huge spell. You know? That was a lot of fives. Yeah, so he's gonna take 21 damage, which is still really good. That's great. Uh, for and for he goes this way. Yeah. Dives okay. out of the way. Okay. So yeah, you drop the card on his head. What else are you doing? Okay, so can I... Is the window big enough to squeeze through and climb out? No, these windows, as you can see, don't even consume five feet. And that's probably like a one to two foot narrow window. Big enough for an arrow to go out of, though. If you broke it, yeah. And I don't know yet if there's other ways out of this place, do I? Correct. And out of this room, the only way you can see out is the doorway and the stairwell that Donnie is on. Right. Hmm. Damn. Decisions, decisions, decisions. The guy um, in the doorway is pretty fucked up. I'm just going to tell you that right now. He just got pelted with a bunch of shit. He is not in a good way. Right. Um, I will step forward here okay. to uh, protect Bobby, and that's going to be my turn. Oh. Okay. All right. The guy. So the card explodes. You move up to step over a Bobby. The guy gets out from under the giant pile of splintered wood, <laughs> and starts, um, uh, moving over. I think he's just gonna move up, and make a ready to action. He will. Um, I'll give him the yellow token so you can see it. He's going to ready an action that if anybody comes out, he's going to try and 
uh, and comes into his range, he's going to attack them. Okay. Um, so he just basically draws his war pick, raises his shield, and uh, gets ready to fight. Copy that. Roger right, that. Now, it's Captain's turn, and he only has one thing he can do this turn. Run away! Pretty much. He's got to do... What is it? He has to dash? He has to much. move away and dash. So he just has to make double movement as far away as he can. As far as he can, for a full yeah. minute. As a DM, I fucking hate turn undead when I'm deploying yeah. undead. Uh, it's it's <laughs> the enough. biggest amount of BS, uh, and I'm sorry I used it, but, you know, I had Every to. Every spell you have, Alan, is the biggest amount of BS. You have spirit guardians. BS. Yeah, you have spirit guardians, you have turn undead, you have, like, a bunch of crazy shit that yeah. DMs hate, but that's yeah, in the rules. All right, exactly. um, Soma, how do you? What's the macro for making that planned movement arrow thing? And uh... it was like shh, click token, hold shift. No, hold on. Hold token is it control? No, what is it? Forget what it is. Is it alt? No. To do the thing where the arrow like joints down and does all this movement. Anyway, can't remember. Uh, I'll figure it out. Just a quick question. Uh, what time of day is it? Uh, it's evening. It's nighttime. Copy it's that. Late at night too, right? Yeah, it's like midnight. Yeah, I was gonna say midnight. Right? Um, there's not enough space for him to move sixty feet away, and he's not gonna run off the map. But he is uh, gonna run. Then, that's fine. Uh, if he has no room to run, he would have to do. He has to take dodge actions. That's fine. Okay. He just jets the fuck out of there and uh, is taking the dodge action then. Yeah, his men are probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, He's he just leader. gets this look of fear in his eyes and just bolts. I love so, it. That's great. Um, the guy, this guy's like, I'm the captain now. <laughs> All right. I wouldn't trust a, a motherfucker that just ran away. I feel like, fuck yeah, that Yeah, that guy. is... Uh... It's Fuck a, that, well, guy. That's weak sauce. I, I, I feel I feel like the undead understand that there are magics out there that <laughs> Yeah, I know. And make them want to bolt. Um anyway, actually, this is a great opportunity. As he is jetting down here, we see a familiar face. Soma, you can drag the camera south if you want. Um Ooh. 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 And uh. Boom. We see Grimfist. Well, cloaked, walking through the streets at midnight. <laughs> what, what do you want to say as you see this guy looking absolutely terrified, <laughs> running down this like streetway? I, 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 I have a thing about how I, I, I should have told you this before, but how I wanted to be introed in this fight. But it's okay. if, we're, if we want to do it this way, that's totally fine. We'll do it this way. Um, I've already decided. Okay. I had a super anime intro ready to go. <laughs> um, well, you haven't intro to the party yet, so you, maybe you can save your your, your anime. But for sorry, the crowd, I, I you don't have to do anything on this turn, by the way. Yeah, I accidentally... Uh, sorry, I didn't pause there. I accidentally kicked the cord out of the computer, so I didn't have a mic. Um, I see him... Fleeing the scene. Yeah, and he just fucking is running by you. Like, he wants nothing to do with you, and you're just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just whoosh. Like, I have my hand on my sheath. Yeah. Uh, with the sword. Sword and sheath, hand on the... The handle. The handle. And I'm just like... I stare, and I let him run past me. Yeah, and then he runs past you and cowers in a corner. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, well, what the fuck? And then you can you can have your glorious intro later. But now the camera and the audience knows. Uh, Grimfist is in town. Or a mysterious blurred figure, if you will. <laughs> well, no, because after that, you can take your hand off the thing and just like, poof, like blur somewhere else. You know, All right. you do it however you want. However you think would look cool. Okay. All right. But anyway, what I'd like you to do is add yourself to the initiative order. That was the main purpose of that. Copy that. Um, because we're back, we're back around to the top. Nice. I see two 11 Zs, but I'm pretty sure my dex is higher. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I'm fairly confident. 18. <gasps> There's three 11s. You're before Bobby, too. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right, you have been added to the initiative order. Congratulations. All right, so he fucking runs away and cowers in fear. Uh, yeah, this guy, he's pretty fucked. I use telekinesis. No, but what you will need to do is each of you start to notice a horrid stench coming from the creature, and I need everybody within five feet of him to make a DC 12 constitution saving throw. So Ooh. I'm good. You're good. Yeah, it's mainly okay. Corrin and Nevrin to make a constitution saving throw. You pass oh, out damn. some heart fumes. <laughs> no, rotting death smell. <clears throat> I've smelled worse. That's the best <laughs> you have. Okay. Remember the so fucking sewers? <laughs> so also, you guys are immune to that stench now for 24 hours. Nice. After the sewers of Dragonfall, that ain't shit. Remember, we literally had the diarrhea pouring noise. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Didn't we uh, fight Pooh? murdered by the Rat King was uh, pretty epic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is Fucking true. Rat King. Gaul went down in a blaze of fur. Um, and a suicidal blaze. I mean, excuse me. He, uh, he did his best, is what I meant to say. It was heroic, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just got so tired. That he, he got died. so tired that he wanted to sprint into his death. Because that makes sense. Yeah. No, he couldn't move away. Did anyway. Um... Now, now, children. Uh, <laughs> so this guy's going to bite at you, Soma. Ew. Okay. Nice. He's going to miss. Okay. And then he's going to, he's going to, well, he hasn't pulled out his war pick yet, so I think he's just going to claw at you. Miss, Does miss. 17 hit you? I don't think so. No, sir. All right. So, yeah, he gnashes and, and bites and everything. Um, and, yeah, I think that's it. All right. Corn. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I, I look at these undead and I'm like, by the Soul Forger's will, be gone, abominations. Nice. And I cast Spirit Guardians. Oh. Because shit. why wouldn't I? Because huh? it's bonkers. How big is the radius again? Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 15 feet. So he's it's a getting DC it too. 15. Yeah. 15 feet, you said? Yeah, uh, it's a 15 feet foot radius. Right. Yeah. So, bam, bam. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And it's like little, uh, little like dwarven smiths, like, appear, like blue, like, iron looking dwarven smiths appear, clanging their hammers on, on these guys. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, they get a DC 15 save, though. Okay. Wisdom. Wisdom. I rolled a crap, though, so. I save on the first one. And on the second one, I don't. Three and seven. Okay. So, seven damage? Yeah, it's seven damage, uh, so three to whoever saved. Oh. Oh, yeah, three. Okay. Um, yeah, that that was right. Then. Radiant, if that does anything? No. Um, let's check, actually. That's a good point. No, Radiant doesn't do anything to them. I mean, it does damage, but... Yeah, 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 but nothing extra. Gotcha. Yeah, correct. They are not vulnerable to Radiant. Anything else you'd like to do? Nope. Roll better? Yeah. <laughs> well, Runon. What everyone wants to do. Yeah. Hmm. Is it Runon, possible? It's your turn. Would it be possible yeah. for me to climb up on top of one of these houses? You would have to make an athletics check. I mean, yeah, I just wanted to make sure it was, like, possible. So. Yes, it is possible. All right, so I'm going to take my little movement here real quick. It's 5, 10, 15. So I'm going to go there, and I'm going to try to climb on top of the house. Is hey. it athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. Climbing is always athletics. 
and I am strict about that as someone who used to climb for fun. <laughs> it is not acrobatics. On a cyborg <laughs> street? Uh, okay. Nice. Yeah, a 20, you're definitely on top of the house. Good we'll just stuff. put you up here, and I'll give you a little arrow that says you're up a layer. Nice. Climbing is considered an action itself, right? Correct. So you've used your action. I'm just going to use my bonus action up here to hide. Okay. Go ahead and roll a stealth check, please. Big brain just... move. Big brain move. Respect it. Respect that. It's getting the altitude, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I have the high ground. Oh, so oh. I, I crit the fucking... Yeah. You I... disappear on top of the roof, Tenchu style. I love it. Nice. And then... That is my turn for now. Must have been the wind. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, so this guy peeks around the corner. He's like, aha! And nobody's there. He's like, hmm. Just like in the movies. Yeah. He's like, Son of a bitch. It's just a box. <laughs> so he's going to kind of look over his shoulder and see that his friends are, like, fucked. And he's going to start running back that way. So. Sweet. So that's the rest of his movement. You can get that far. Um, and he'll ready in action again. Uh, Grimfist, it is your turn. <clears throat> All right. So I will see the situation and I will approach with great haste, burning a key to make myself dash as a bonus. Okay. To appear right here behind this guy. And you guys don't really see. If you guys see me, I look literally blurry mm -hmm. um you're like so you guys probably wouldn't even be able to identify me it's night i'm literally blurry uh and you just see this guy come up behind one of these guys and say see a blur pop in behind somebody that's kind of sick. and he says be like water my friend and <laughs> die <laughs> be like water and die that's my favorite <laughs> Uh, and that is when I unsheathe my my uh, long sword. You can call it a katana. I don't want to. That's too anime. <laughs> oh my! I have an anime it. intro, but I'm not going <laughs> to use an anime sword. <laughs> I did say I'm not going to use an anime sword. I'm just saying, well, let's not call it that right now. I love you, Eric. Uh, and I will two-handed <laughs> slash across his back. Ooh. Okay. Nice. You're gonna hear in your head, uh, Runan's like, a strange man has just appeared outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm watching the psychic foul self beast up. in the uh, or seven damage. The the stinky yeah. monster. And <laughs> as I'm slashing, as What's my the damage, uh, seven. Okay, it didn't show up on roll 20 for some reason. All right, it rolled up on mine, so I don't know why it didn't pop up on roll 20. Um, hmm. but yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with my answers. Uh, it was a seven. Oh, uh, there. I just, uh, I just how'd you it. do it two-handed i clicked yeah. that sorry oh that was so much clicking. i clicked okay. it yeah sorry yeah um but yeah it, it, it was seven damage and as i'm swinging through with the blade i'm raising my foot and roundhousing him in the back of the head nice like <laughs> oh wait a minute now i only rolled just the attack damage hold on Basically, psionic cell phone. A oh, 17 would have hit, so we'll give you the five. Okay. Nice. All right. Uh, that's my turn. Good Sweet. stuff. Bobbity, 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 bob. Bobbity, bobbity. Can I moonbeam this guy? Can you see him? Yeah. Yeah. You can see him. The yeah, you can moonbeam him then. So. Stencil time. I like this part of the song. Sounds cool. I like it. I like the music. Dungeons and Dragons. Moonbeam. Ooh. He's going to make a con saving throw. Okay. Yeah, no. Seven, kill me. Yeah, I feel, I feel you. <laughs> um, my next question is: is can I uh, 
is the window big enough for me to shoot an arrow at him? Yes, oh, yeah. but yep. Soma's like right in front of you, so he's gonna have like pretty much full cover. Like it's one thing to like point a spell at him, but to like make an actual ranged attack. No, this guy. You've got like it's a, a body. Magic arrow. Oh a wait, are, are you shooting the guy in the doorway? Because you got a pretty clear shot at oh. him. The guy outside yeah, the window, him. not so much. Yeah. yeah, I'll shoot him. So yeah, there's the moonbeam. Blast! That's gonna miss. It was, yes, it, it is. Cheated on that seventeen too. That was. I am done. You got honey dicked. Yeah, it was a dirty one. Um, seventeen. Mortimer, boy. what is your what's your dex? Is it a sixteen? Just so yes. I know. So next time you and uh, Bobby tie, because it's actually happened a couple times, you can decide who goes before who. Oh, because we literally tie. Yeah, you have the same dex. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but Mortimer, it's your turn. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna blast. Blast! What a surprise. I'm gonna blast. <laughs> uh, I've got all these was this gentleman looking with a cursory glance? Um, hurt? Okay. Hey, it's, That's it's, good. it might be blasting now, but I feel like Warlocks, like, um, the mid to end game are just sick. They really, it's know. high levels where they get gross. Well, Azzle. the thing is, Eldritch Blast is a high damage cantrip, so... Right. Right. Kind of As an in game warlock, yes, we do kick Dixon. It just yeah. takes a while to get there. It's a lot of blasting until suddenly, whoa, you're scared. So you get as like fuck. four Eldritch invocations and like a oh. bunch of class features. Exactly. I still mostly, I still mostly Eldritch blast, but you know, I also. It's like four of them, yeah. and they do a fuckload of damage. Yeah, right. they still do the same damage. It's oh, just they four do? of them now. Yeah. Okay. Well, still. Anyway, Mortimer, um, you hit him for thirteen damage. Yes. Is there anything else you want to do? I give him a frown. <laughs> <laughs> I give him a I frown. I give him a stern look. Give him the bold, vicious mockery. Yeah. No, All right. Man, it's your turn. All right. I slash at him with my revenant double bladed scimitar. Like a man in the doorway. It's better than viscous mockery, trust me. It's a 22. Viscous mockery. That's a hit. Minimum oh, damage, damage because good times. I'm going yep. to attack again. You guys are like rolling really well to hit and <laughs> like shit on damage. Literal minimum damage yep. again because wow, why wouldn't it be? Uh, cool. Uh, but it kills him, so it doesn't matter. Nice. As I see him drop, my eyes, my eyes sort of. Uh, I get this like. I don't know, this like sheen of bloodlust in my eye, and I run out and I immediately slash at this guy with my bonus attack. Okay. Because I can see him out the window. Mm hmm. And that does seven damage to him. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Yeah, I sort of, uh, I, I slash at the the dude's the dude's face twice and as i cut into his face he's sort of like his his nose pushes into his face and i just see blood erupt from his face and he crumples uh into a heap at my feet and i step on his body and step over him and run right out and slash at his buddy hmm. Hmm. i slash him in the face so hard it squishes his nose into his face <laughs> Okay, that was intense. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on one second. I love the horse feather old fashioned. I got something different from horse feather tonight, sticks. What did you get? I got the and poke. Why bowl. didn't you get the burger? Because I had in and no, out today. <laughs> That's why the poke burger is good. No, I got the poke bowl. The, the, the I mean the bowl. Sorry. Yeah, it was delicious. The, the only reason I didn't burger? get the, that would be the, 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 I got the poke ball. I'm, I'm making that. No, I had in and out today, and uh, I was like, I can't <laughs> eat a third burger. I had two double doubles, like a fee. Jesus, I mean, you you could. no <laughs> fries. <laughs> it was two double doubles and a water, people. Okay. Oh, Whoa, I'm starving. 
Yeah. <laughs> longer in his shake. <laughs> Dude, it was yeah, fucking good. You forgot, no. the, you forgot the shake and the fries animal style you also ate. You I didn't eat any video. fries, no shake. I've never had a shake at, at in and out actually. I don't even know if they're, they're good. No, it's, they're fucking liquid cement. I don't, yeah, I've never I don't had know what to tell you. Yeah, I've never I had don't one. like shakes anymore because they're impossible to eat. So, I like um, I don't like shakes because I'm literally drinking dairy diarrhea. <laughs> like I just I know, ice cream pretty I'm, much. It, I'm looking at delicious sugary diarrhea and I'm converting it. I'm seeing a <laughs> I'm seeing a cup of diarrhea that tastes good and I'm converting it into a toilet filled bowl of diarrhea. That's all it does. Yeah. It hurts my stomach also, way too much. Update, Alan. There's eight more rounds on your turn undead till it expires. Holy shit. Wow. Is it this guy's turn right now? Um, it is the guy that Soma just bonus attacks turn, and what he is going to do uh, is roll, roll a lot of saves. Yeah, he's going to roll a lot of saves. But before he rolls any saves, this is an action that has nothing to do with saving throws. Uh, he's going to let out a sharp whistle, oh. and that's all he's going to do. Then he's going to roll all of his fucking saves—a wisdom save and a con save, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, uh, DC fifteen. So he targets, he saves. Okay. If he's so a that's for changer, spirit guardians. If Roll he's a damage. Changer, he has disadvantage for mine. Holy shit! That. Wait, what? D twenty for spirit guardians. Oh, three. Wait, what? Three D eight. It's three D eight. Oh for shit! Spirit okay, guardians, I saw the twenty. Saves. And then I saw green he nineteen. Saves on, I was so um, confused. He's not technically a shape changer. Um. Okay. They have a disguise, but he's not changing his shape. Okay, it's, if he's not a shape changer, then he doesn't have yeah, to This is his natural shape anyway. Okay. Um, so he passes both of those. Um, uh, well, his it's not a wisdom save for uh, Bobbity, right? It's a con It's save? a con for me. Oh, I thought I clicked con. Oh, shit. Well, what's the modifier on con? So it would be one less. It would be a 20 instead of a 21. Oh, all right. Yeah, on the con save. So, okay. so we're there you sure. go. Yeah, so he he saves on both, but you guys did a fuckload of damage, so it's gonna be like five damage and eight damage, or no, nine damage. Not, yeah. So fourteen damage total just for being alive. Great times. Um, and he's gonna attack Neverin because that's literally the only thing he can do. Um, so he's gonna bite at you. Miss. He's gonna miss, and he's gonna war pick. And he's hit. gonna hit. War pick is his like weakest attack too. Six damage. Uh, as he swings at me and tries to hit me, I I laugh at him and I just fling my hand up and I react with a uh, um, a why can't I think of the name of it? Psionic. You're gonna reduce the damage. Protective field. I was thinking it was psionic field. It's protective field, which is. A 1d8 plus 3. So let's do that. Just fucking and it did zero damage. <laughs> Six. Um, no, I mean, you, you reduce three of that, right? Three plus no, three. why is it six? 1d8 plus oh. three. It didn't show the plus three. Yeah. That oh, was just a 1d8. Three. That's annoying. Yeah. Okay, well, since you used your reaction, he's just going to run away. <laughs> That's fine. Um. Yeah, so he is going to... Honestly, I, I wouldn't even take an op attack. I want to save my reactions. That's fair. Yeah, he just he just bolts out of there. Okay. Um, all right, seven turns remaining on cowering in a corner. Should be eight turns now, right? Because he just got his turn now. No, he did it on round one. Yeah, is there a round counter? Count. So it's ten turns, round one, and then I, I have a round I counter. Only ca then I only count it. Then I only. Then my next turn, I did Spirit Guardians, right? Oh yeah, it's two of your turns. It's not on yeah. his turn. That's why he's right. had three turns. You've had two turns. Exactly. Okay, I was just going by top of the round. Initially. Oh yeah, yeah, that's but fine. I just, if I was it's just by like, your turn, then then we'll do it by your. Turn. He's trying to fuck know. you, dude. He's trying to screw you over. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to actually like use the monsters I created. <laughs> of um, I know, oh, I poor fucking guy. Oh, I feel uh, bad. Not. Don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, I don't. Bad. More to the initiative order. <laughs> no. Alan knows better than to feel bad for me. So. I mean, hasn't he killed like two of your your characters so far? Like. Yes. Okay. 
But still, I'm running a campaign right now with two clerics and a paladin, and I send a bunch of vampires on them. That was bad a idea. Stupid, stupid idea on my part. That's yeah, hilarious. That's it's not a good idea. That sounds like a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, my, my girlfriend is playing in a Curse of Strahd campaign, and the DM was mad because he, in an earlier part, they're like jumping into Curse of Strahd from their original homebrew, and just for a break. Uh, and so, like, he's mad because they got a detect undead item, and so now they're using it. And I'm like, well, he could be mad, but if they had a, if you had a cleric or a paladin in your party, he'd be just as fucked because you could just like divine exactly. sense. Yeah, exactly. And just yeah. be like, yeah, there's there's a there's a fucking yeah, there's a vampire in this room. There's there's three vampires in this room, and it's that guy, that guy, and that guy. <laughs> like it's, it's divine sense is busted. Um, Speaking so, of busted, there's a there's yeah. a new. Uh, uh, character. It's gonna be Corn's turn, by the way. When that we finish this. I've been working on. It's a uh, swashbuckler rogue oath of vengeance dex pally. Oh, that sounds fun. It oh my god. It is oh god. fucking unfair. We might, if you guys make it to level 10 or 12 or something, I might just unlock multi classing for fun, just for shits and giggles, and I'll just up the difficulty on the fights. Yeah. I just, we may just have to do that for yeah. the funsies. It, it, there's so many cool uh, multi class. Anyway. Let's continue. Anyway, yeah, it's super fun. And uh I'm still a purist, yeah. but yeah, there is some sick builds. Yeah. I'm a build guy, that's why I like multiclassing. Anyway, Corin, it is your turn. I move here. And uh he needs to make a wisdom save. Mm-hmm. And I'll look at the glory <laughs> guy and be like, Don't come any closer than that. I don't want to accidentally hurt you. Okay, he fails his save. How much damage does he take? Thirteen. God damn it! Damn! Damn it! Damn. Okay. Anything else? No, I'm good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> nope, that was good. Should have done. Damn, should have giant circle We're rally. Done. I'm fine. <laughs> exactly. I'm the, the pinball of doom. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Wait, no, Hawk. You can't. You just choose who you want to damage in that. He, he didn't see you whenever he cast it. I didn't see you when I cast it. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're uh, not in the you radius. Can... You're just outside of the I know. You're I fine. thought there was yeah. something you could choose, though. Like, it's no, I it, When I cast it, I could choose it. I could choose who I don't want it to hurt when I cast it. If he could Got see it. them. Yeah. If I could see them. But I couldn't see you, so you're SOL. Because it's Correct. a third-level yeah, spell, and I'm not recasting. Oh, wait, have you guys even met yet? Al, meet Eric. No. Eric, meet Al. What's up, boys? No Hi. Hi. Good, to meet you. Good to meet you halfway through <laughs> combat. You know what? <laughs> We're meeting how our characters met. It's fine. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> never mind. You guys, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just going to... Yeah, you guys are in character right now. It's fucking great. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. in character. The surprise is genuine. Runon, what do you want to do from up on your roof? Are you loading up the car 98? Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna move my dude right here so I can actually see the tokens and shit. Uh, yeah, but you're still on the roof. I got yeah, you. Yeah, but I'll be, I'll be attacking from that square. Advantage, gotcha. by the way. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, I know. Why? Well, I get it well he's hidden well. and he's got height, but he doesn't. You gotta take that elven accuracy, and, motherfucker. And yeah. there's fucking Eric right next to him. But yeah, basically, I'm on the roof. I'm getting ready to quick scope this dude in front of Grim. <laughs> so I'm loading up the Scion. Like, you know, the psionic. I'm the psionic there's Barrett. There's a loud psionic sound in my hand right now. Yeah, and he's getting it. All right, I love it. Don't roll double ones on advantage. I've seen it happen. Don't say that, Jeep. Yeah, come on. Hey, I gotta give myself any advantage I can get. Okay. It's it's very I mean, unlikely. You got, I got some piss boy damage, so you can have that. Well, the story of the whole fucking episode for you guys, but it doesn't matter. You're still kicking the shit out of everything. All right. I think he's officially bloodied now. Nice. Hit him with the bonus attack as well. Fuck it. Okay. There you go. Might Might as, as well, well. Just pour it yeah. on. I mean, you're pretty safe up there. And he's preoccupied. I don't think you're getting attacked anytime soon. Yeah. Be extra 8 damage. 6. Oh, wait. No, okay. it'll be 6 damage, my bad. Okay. The sneak attack damage. Yeah, and I'm going to chill on the roof. Okay. Nice. 
Can I like... Oh yeah, I'm gonna go prone on the roof. Okay. So that ranged attacks have disadvantage on you? Yep. Smart. That is very wise. Man. And because I'm harder to grab off the roof. You essentially have full like, cover and disadvantage. Yeah. yeah well, my thinking was that I down. just don't want someone to like try to like reach out with like one of those like little boomer grabber arms that you use to like get stuff off the shelves. I just don't <laughs> want them going Excuse me? Oh, those, those claw arms? Like, yeah, I, I can't someone... bend down to pick up the my mail. I'm going to use the, the little... I'm going to use the long stick, and I pull the trigger, and the three little metal Dude. arms come out and grab the letter. I know what you're talking about. Well, there's that, or there's, like, hooks. Yeah, or, that. or that. that. Or that. Yeah. I just don't want to get yoinked off, basically. Yeah. Word. Okay. You don't want to get Word. death knight death gripped. Correct. Um, okay, well, this guy's just gonna move here, I guess. He's saving throw. I know. Um. Come on, no whammies, you son of a bitch game. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, how much damage? Eight billion damage. Seven damage. Oh, that was, like, so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. I was, like, bracing myself to, like, have to remove, like, 20 damage. Okay, um, I guess, Eric, you're getting attacked twice. You can try. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna hit, so. Um, this time he's gonna attack with his claws. He's gonna sheath his warhammer and critically yeah. miss. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Alright. That's his turn. Well, does he take the op attack to just get the fuck out of there? He might. Sure, Good make luck. an attack, Eric. Um, uh, sure. Let me get this out. He's gonna move to there. But you can give him one parting shot. Nope, you miss. No, that was the damage. I, I keep on, yeah, I know, I keep on pressing Oh, you keep off. doing it in reverse. Okay, no problem. Uh, and it's not showing my attack roll, so let me try that again. What are you doing wrong? I don't understand. Well, that, that was the attack roll. No, yeah. that is the attack roll, because yeah, this would be the damage. If yeah, you click that's the an pink, example. click the pink thing to get your damage. Oh Correct. yeah, you, you haven't played since they updated. Roll they 20. updated the UI. Yeah. Uh, so you are doing the the nine was your attack, and then it. when you want to roll for damage, you can just click on where it says silver heart long sword in pink. Got it. And it'll roll your damage. Bam. Yep. Which of course, when I roll your damage, it's max damage. So. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So you miss. You go to attack him, and you're. Uh, foot grazes off the armor as you try to kick him or something and he just gets the fuck out of there so hmm. uh, actually he should be here um okay so they're all running away Grimfist it's your turn yeah that's nice but I outrun everyone so Boop. I know I didn't <laughs> he got in game front game. of him like nah bitch yeah he like starts taking off and then all of a sudden he like he's like looking over his shoulder and running and then he like turns his head back around and you're just like sitting there like hey what's up dude <laughs> that is some fun. monk shit right there oh it totally is 17 that's uh that is a hit or no wait he has a shield up that's a miss Ouch. you go to kick him and he raises his that, shield that was and my sword foot finds the shield that was my but, sword Oh, that's your sword. Okay, yeah, you go to strike him and you just raise his shield. Yeah, uh, now elbow and a knee attack. Okay. The martial Jeez. arts combo. Jesus they both Christ. miss. Like, yeah. you're hitting him, but what's happening is he's wearing scale armor. So it's just like it's hitting him, but it's not doing any damage. No, goddamn, that's... I'm glad I'm getting my shitty rolls out of the way now. Exactly. Because yeah. when the boss comes back into play... Yep. Uh, yeah. So, I'm Al, he should be at seven now, right? Because your yeah. turn came up. By the way, seven, seven more turns on the counter. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Bobbity. Bobbity, bobbity, bob, bobbity. I'm gonna move <laughs> twenty feet, and I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna put my moonbeam on this guy again. Nice. Okay. Um. Get to the map layer. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot a uh, arrow at him after he rolls his save. Nice. Yes. Save. Oh. 
Wait, I thought that was Bobby rolling for a second. Shit. Jesus fucking oh, Christ. Oh my god. I saved. Yeah. <laughs> my god. Wow. Would have like obliterated him. Okay. And then I'm gonna shoot an arrow at him. So you can get obliterate. Oh. And that's miss. a miss. That sucks. And then I'm gonna back up five more feet, and I'm done. Nice. Yeah, that cart's not there anymore, by the way. <laughs> it's a yeah, pile of wood why, over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, hold on. I'm gonna find some more music. I think our one hour of music already ran out. Oh, shit. Holy shit. <laughs> nice. Mm. We even clapped someone in this fight yet? It's been an hour? Holy shit. I think we've... We killed one guy. Yeah, we killed one guy. Yeah, you've killed one guy. It's loud. Yeah. God. It's loud for me. I yeah, it was, turned it up way too Okay. I'm gonna Sorry AFK about that, chat. I'm just like a bullet. I'm gonna go AFK for a second. I'll be right back. No problem. Uh, Mortimer, it's your turn. Sorry to mute myself because I don't have headphones on. Uh, the fucking music was just like. <laughs> 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 That's how I felt too. One, two, three, four. We don't have. Uh, five. Uh, is this a cart right here? It was a cart. It no longer <laughs> exists. It's like shattered remnants of splintered Excellent. wood everywhere. That's the one I, I dropped. I shall mount the shattered remnants and okay. uh, shoot this fella. Okay. The re the remnants are really right here where I'm at. Okay. I yeah, would, there's yeah. nothing really there. In the yeah. empty dirt where the cart yeah. once stood. So now... Yeah! <laughs> there it was. I was waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will, of course, move my hex onto this guy since the guy I was using on died. Right. Uh, and I believe this both hit. That's twenty-five. And what's your hex Double damage? Six. He explodes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I smoke, I, I do a little like twirl with my wand. And Finger guns. Yeah. yeah. The non existent smoke. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I chased down the guy that struck me, and I used pretty much my full movement to oh, run It's not him your down. turn yet. It's not your turn yet. It's not? A new nope. challenger has entered the fray. Oh, God. Okay. Actually, two new challengers. Fair enough. Yeah, you pissed off the undead guards of this town. Fair enough, fair take enough. That. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. Still gonna run this guy down. And chop him up. Here we go. Slice and dicey. Okay. Sli oh, yeah, baby. Um, he does get one attack against you before you do all this, but these all count. So your crit counts, but he's going to make an attack against you. Okay. Because um, you just killed him right there. But before he dies, he gets one parting shot uh, with Whoa. his claws. And he misses anyway. And then you kill him. Okay. Uh, as soon as I the bloodlust continues, and almost this, like, the faintest hint. No one can see it, but this, like, purplish, like, glow. Uh, kind of, like... Flints in my uh, glints in my eye, and I run right over here. Actually, I'm out of movement, aren't I? Yeah, I think I only have five feet left. Shit, that blows. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll move my five feet, and I whistle, and point at this guy, and kind of like, almost mock him in a way if I can. I mean, it's an incidental. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, I just whistle at him and kind of just. Like, give him, like, a goading look. Like, come on, bitch. <laughs> right. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, right. Ghoul Captain is going to do what he always does. Corrin, it's your turn. Real quick, um, did I attack the guy who apparently ran for me again? No, he's dead. He got exploded by an Eldritch Blast. And then I a new guy showed up. Oh, so that's a new guy. Okay, got it. Yeah. That is a new guy, yeah. Cool. I'm on that detail. All right, Corn, it's your turn. I think I know what you're going to do. 
Yeah. He's here, and uh, since he enters it, he uh, makes a wisdom save, and then I also attack him. Okay. Give me one second. All right, you guys are going through the phases. You're doing a good job. Good job. So far. I mean, you've been rolling piss poor on damage, but that doesn't seem to be mattering very much. Um, okay. So, wisdom saving throw or con? I forget. Wisdom. Yeah, no. Nice. How much damage? Oh. 15 from that, and then I attack. Okay. Oh my god. With your magical hammer of magical? Yeah, but... That's only a 17. Does that hit? No, this guy's got his shield out, so... It rolled, it rolled over from a, a fucking 20, though, which is Of course it did. Sucks. Yeah. yeah, so you swing hard, and he puts up his shield and deflects the blow. Um, this guy over here does not have a shield. He's just wearing <laughs> the scale mail armor. So just so you guys know. All right. Uh, Runon, I guess... Let me see. Who can I see out here? I don't know. But, you know, since Eric wanted to anime stuff, I decided the anime battle music might work, you know, for, <laughs> for funsies. Uh, stand, standing up is how much of my movement? Half. Uh, half. Alright, so that matter. Okay, I am gonna move here. Still on the roof. Now I'm gonna slap the man behind the boxes. Okay, he does have some cover from you, but you have advantage, so. Uh, plus two to his AC, but you have advantage, so. All right. He's gonna get this anime damage is what he's about to get. Yeah, that's right. Runon turns SSJ6, so. Plus ultra. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen my hero SSJ, god, Runon. Um, okay. I'm um, here for it. 25 definitely hits, though, so 17 damage. Does he get the sneak attack? Yeah, were you hidden? I don't remember saying yeah, you were yeah, maintaining I... your hide. Because well, you I went think... prone, remember? So you... I did get prone, but if I have advantage, I think... Let me recheck sneak. Oh, yeah, if he has advantage, it counts as sneak attack. That's yeah, right. pretty much yeah. any time I have advantage, I'm getting sneak attack. That is right. Damage. You're right. Anytime... This is why you need to get that elven accuracy, bro, so you're rolling 3d20s. God so damn. Be bananas. Holy right. shit. Exactly. Anytime you have advantage, you roll super advantage. It's yeah. fucking yep. stupid oh good. Gosh. With the bonus very, very well. good. I'll Thanks be getting it later. Broken. Yeah, I'll be getting that later. Yeah, every elf in the universe is like <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it on accuracy, another so. character. <laughs> on, a, on your half elf warlock paladin yeah. bananas character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't I'm wait a, to a run vengeance, James with vengeance, that. vengeance paladin with, with uh, Hexblade. With, oh my god. With Elven, Elven accuracy. accuracy. <laughs> it's gonna be good. There's gonna be um, a menace. <laughs> and for another seven damage. That was almost a crit too. So oh, sad. Sure. Yeah, your bonus to attack can't get sneak attack, right? Is that why you're not counting it? Yeah, it's only the psychic yeah. damage. Only one gotcha. attack a turn. Also, sneak yeah, attack also you only get it once a turn. Yeah, 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 that's right. I keep forgetting because I keep confusing it with like Divine Smite, which you can just be like, if you have multi attack, you're just like, I smite twice. Mm -hmm. Get wrecked. No. Um, imagine, imagine smite plus sneak attack plus attacking with advantage as an oath of vengeance swashbuckler pally. Oof. Exactly. Oof. And having uh, fancy footwork and defensive parry. Yep. It's, there might be a better it's pretty for that too, but uh, it's insane. It's yeah, quite swashbuckler is my favorite rogue class for sure because yeah. I like melee rogues. Um. Anyway, Grimfist, it's your turn. I say hello, friend. <laughs> Prepare to be returned to the afterlife as I charge up to this guy. I loop around him. Okay. Just so I can get, like, seeing everyone yeah, else. Yeah, you, fighting. like, police slide over the crates. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I love it. <laughs> and let's see if I have better luck with my attacks this or time. Or you can do the one handed cartwheel over the thing. It doesn't matter. Take uh, no, yeah, police man. slide. Police <laughs> slide. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just thinking like kung fu movies. Okay, so longsword hits, unarmed strike number two hits. Yeah. So are you attacking two-handed or one-handed? I, I always do two-handed. Okay, so five can... and five, so ten total damage. 
Nice. Wait, huh? What? Well, how yeah. is? Oh, why did I say that? God damn it! What? <laughs> you, no, it's just. So you do always here. attack Janna, though. Know, yeah, no, it's I, just his his two handed was worse than his one handed roll. Right, 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 right. But it's that's fine. why it's... I don't like when it rolls both damages. It's it's annoying. I kind of agree. I kind of agree because you see what you missed. Like, yeah, I, I hate that. I, I I don't know if there's a way to change that. Unfortunately, so there's not. Yeah, there's not because it's a versatile weapon. Right. So it just automatically rolls it all. Yeah. Um, Actually, I all right. think there is a way and a versatile weapon it's where you click on the D, &D beyond character sheet you can make it so it only clicks the like the one the, damage yeah like so you know how you can click the entire like the little cross sword symbol you know and yeah that rolls everything and then you can just hit the hit dc button and that just rolls it's the, the attack. attack and then when you go to damage you click you the just two click handed the exactly you click the two-handed damage one and then it just rolls two-handed yeah try that next turn Eric. yeah try that next time yeah I was see if it makes a yeah. difference. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put my moonbeam on this guy. Okay. Nice. Whoops. Sorry. It's still your turn. On on Neverin. Okay. Cool. I like this. No. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> that can't trust those hill dwarfs. Oh, the moon. I'm not a werebear <laughs> anymore. <laughs> well, no, werebear in this fight would have been savage as fuck. Um, yeah. Uh, so he's gonna make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, yeah, please. You know, what we should have yes. done is had you change all of us to werebears, and then we could have been like a, like a whole group of werebears. And then send you into the Feywild? Yeah. And now I'm going to shoot him with an arrow. Okay. Okay. Alright, shoot him with the arrow. Dude, oh. your arrows suck. They suck. Lost for words. Go. Alright, well... That guy is, I guess, going to attack Corrin because he has no fucking choice. He has oh, to do a wisdom true. and a con yep. save. I know, you <laughs> sons of bitches. Uh, the chances that I get... Whoops, that was double con. Uh, let me... No, that was wisdom and con. Wisdom and con. Oh, it was? Okay, right. yeah, he fails both. How much fucking bananas damage does it do? Uh, 14 for me. 13 Jesus for me. Fucking oh, Christ. Christ. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. I you know what I am happy about, even though Alan's class is busted? It makes me feel good because I've been like an apologist for forge clerics for like years now. <laughs> Finally <laughs> someone's playing one and just being like, Yep, they're fucking busted. Yeah. <laughs> like feels good on one end. Yeah, you put it in my head to play this. End. This is your fault. You're like I've been forge wanting cleric, to forge play cleric, a dwarven forge cleric. forge cleric for literally years now. So I'm like, yeah. okay, I'll play one. <laughs> yeah. Well, so far, so good. Oh. Sky blue on fucking RPG bots guide. So there you go. That's all you need to know. Um, all right. So uh, you are tangled in, uh, no pun intended, Mortal Kombat here with this uh, ghoul, Eric. And this is the one without uh, the shield. Hey, the other one right. didn't attack me. Oh, he didn't attack you yet. So let me do that first. So before I do Eric's attack, this is the attacks against Alan. So uh, he's going to get a bite and a warhammer, I think. So the bite hits you, right? 24? Yeah, it hits. All right, I need you to make a DC 11 constitution saving throw, and you also take 14 damage. Whoo! Yeah, you're lucky these guys haven't been hitting you. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, you almost I'm got the fever, bro. What does the fever well, do? You'll we'll talk about that out. after the fight. <laughs> and I pass, uh, I pass my uh, save. Right, but my you still take 14 damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I pass the concentration save, too. Oh, for con. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll subtract the damage from your token. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so he gets one good hit in, uh, and he gets a war pick attack as well. Which does not hit. And that's his turn. Now we move over to Grimfist. This guy, since he doesn't have a shield, gets to attack with a bite, a claw, and a war pick. Does an 18 hit you, Eric? I don't remember nope. what your AC is. 19. I see it now. Okay. That's a miss again. And the war pick. Oh, Oof, man. That was slid close. off the 19. All right, so yeah, he just thrashes at you with everything he's got. He kind of lunges at you, biting, slashing, 
swing in the pick, and you dodge out of the way. Very yes. slick like in every single attack. Yes. Very slick like. Okay. Anyway, never and it's your turn. I don't think I got to go. Oh, never mind. Mortimer, it's your turn. Then it's <laughs> did Bobby turn. get That's to go right. as well? Yes, I did my turn. Yeah, Bobby went. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to blast. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a simple man. He's about to die. The man is simple based. I will move my hex onto that guy as well. Okay, one of those hits. All right. Oh. Min damage. Fuck me. Eh. Eight. I feel it. I mean, at least it's extending the fight a little bit, because <laughs> yeah, if you guys have been rolling good damage, we'd already be fucking done with the whole fucking fight, probably. Yeah, I'm going to try to level up. <laughs> I'm just going to get close to Bobby. And technically, you guys have already leveled up, but we'll, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. Uh, that'll be our intermission, is talking about our level ups. <laughs> uh, Never, and it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to just chase this guy down and finish him off. Sounds great. Slash him up. There we go. Okay, there's one attack. Eleven. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see something. That guy's that not guy, on the initiative he's board. He's not on the initiative board. I'll add him now. Oh. Oh, this oh, good. guy's new. Yeah, okay. I, I, I put him on the board, so he's there. Um, okay. Let me just throw his initiative on so he's officially part of the party. Holy shit. Okay. Yikes. Um, so, you're 26 for 11. That hits. I'm going to add a... Uh, Sonic Strike died to it. Okay. I'm going to add one more person to initiative because... Of course, minimum damage, so plus four. Okay. Then I'm going to follow up with a bonus action attack. Okay. And my final attack. Oh, so I'm missing four damage from him as of right now. Uh, yeah, so those last two miss. We're legit cursed tonight. <laughs> Soma just did the Daisy Rage. <laughs> I love it, dude. Face cam too. God damn it! it. <laughs> yeah, when it's you take face good. cam it's off. It's all good. It's fine. <laughs> I know, dude. I feel you. I've had nights like that. It's fine. Dude, it's My big up, bad dude. character is fucking exiled right now. How the fuck do you yeah. think I feel? I know, bro? right? I know, right? <laughs> Um, but you are going to get a couple of attacks, man. Actually, you're going to get three to be precise, because this guy doesn't have a shield either. So, Chomp. Miss. Claw. 20? That's target, I think. Um, so, I need you to make a DC 12 constitution saving throw. You also take seven damage. Talking to me? Yes. Oh, okay. Seven damage. You're being attacked by the guy who ju you just attacked. All right, so let me make my con first. Okay. Fuck off. Piece of shit game. Slid into 19. Yeah, I saw that. So you are now paralyzed. Okay. For for one minute. At the end of every turn, you get to make the save again. Where is he? On He's the around the corner behind a building. Um... I have to take my advantages where I can get them. Fuck. So, paralyzed, which means my war pick gets advantage. Twenty-four hits. This is going to be an automatic crit, so I have to force critical. Um, I don't really know how to do that, so I'm just going to roll an extra d8 on this. Or just double what you roll. No, 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 I'm not going to double what I rolled. That's not fair. Um, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. So, nine damage on the crit. I'll subtract your token if you want to subtract your Wait, what? You were really muffled just now. What would you say? Yeah, your mic died. Oh, um, I was saying that he hit with the war pick, and since you're paralyzed, any hits an automatic crit. So you took nine damage from his crit because it was his weakest attack. Got it. So, grand total of damage you took there was 7 plus 9, 16 damage. Copy that. And you're that. paralyzed, and on your next turn, you get to make the saving throw again, the constitution save. Copy that. To get unparalyzed. 
All right. All right. Guess what my big bad boss is doing? Jack shit. <laughs> All right, Warren, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, it was unlucky. How many more turns really is on that? Um, on uh, six? six. No, actually, it was six before. It's now. Five. It's five now. Uh, nineteen. AC nineteen hit. Um, yes, DC nineteen definitely. This guy even had a shield, and you still hit him. So. Uh, that's 14, Jesus 14 and yeah. And that's total with all your magical stuff? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's everything. And he doesn't have to make a save on your turn, right? It's only on his? No, no, it's uh, if I had done, like, the movement thing that I usually do, but I didn't yes. okay. And I'm going to cast a uh, healing word on myself. Okay. That That's my turn, so you could skip me. I'll just do that. Yeah, just add it to your token. Runon, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to stay on my roof and slap the man in front of Grim. Okay. What was this? Plus two to his AC again? Um, yeah, because he's in the same spot. So he's still got that limited cover. Um, so 23 hits for 19 fucking damage. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, you thwack him real good. Another psionic blade shoots out of the night and hits this guy. Nice. Then he's going to get it again. God damn it. <laughs> be five damage. Okay. So I'll tell you one thing. The good news is that the DC is really low on that fucking... Oh, it's all good. Save. Shit happens. Uh, no problem. No, I get it. All good. Uh, fist. Fist him. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to like oh, do a little bit of slashy and then a little bit of like double roundhouse. Got to hit him with some anime noises, too. <laughs> That's the Liu Kang noise. Everyone's watching Mortal Kombat right now. Right. Ugh. Oh, get fucked. Uh, what's the AC on this one? Um, the AC on this one is 16, so two of those, your two unarmed strikes hit. There we Damn. go. Proper damage. 15. Uh, Ooh, he's looking yeah. pretty fucked up. Yeah. All I'm right. saving my big boy maneuvers for the big boy. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, Bobbity. <clears throat> um... Moonbeam first. Yeah. How how is that current guy looking? Really hurt. Really hurt. Fuck. I know I'm gonna miss. Uh. Let's tentacle rod him. Okay. Now we're getting into some anime. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Drag <laughs> tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, how far away is he right now? 60 feet. Can I move Moonbeam onto this guy? Um. Because I can move onto it. Onto which 60 guy? Feet. Uh, the guy over here. Sure. No. Yeah, I can move it 60 feet. And that's like where it is. Okay, so he has to make a. Well, mm -hmm. hold on. Roll damage first. Because it might not matter. Uh. 11. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, he's dead. Even nice. if he saves. Okay. Um, and then I'll try to arrow this guy. We'll see. Oh. You finally hit. And that guy's way dead, too. Nice. Good stuff. And then I'm gonna move here. Good job, boys. And Mortimer. Mortimer, the courtyard's clear. Ah, oh, there's no enemies. Uh, Soma ran this way, though, right? Or I should say never. Yeah, never. ran this way ish. Yeah, the way I'm going, I think. Right. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna stay behind him. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Six. I don't see anything, do I? Uh, I think we're good right here. No, I don't think you see anything. Yeah, I'll stay put. I don't want to dash and get messed up by some bad guy. It's a smart move. All right. Do you want to hold any actions or anything? Like that? Yeah, I'll hold a. I'll hold an Eldritch Blast in case I see uh, one of the one of the dudes, one of the blue people. Okay. <gasps> oh, this guy can't be holding anything anymore. Um. Okay. Great. Uh, 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 uh. That's gonna move there and hold an action. Never in make your constitution saving through, please. DC is 12. Alright. Uh. Oh, fuck. You are oh, still paralyzed. No. Sorry, man. All good. Um, yeah. And this guy gets three attacks, so that's not going to be great. Um, let's see. Yeah, you might go down here. Oh, for sure. Miss. Well, no, he misses on his first one. Miss, miss. Yeah, so first attack is a miss. Hit. Second attack is a hit. This is going to be a crit, too, so... It's going to be an extra 2d6 on top of this. You don't need to make this save again because you're already cursed. So. Extra 2d6. So it's 13 damage. Okay. I think. Yeah. Um, and then a war pick. Which does not hit. It's only 13. Not that bad. All things considered. Pretty lucky. Um, yeah, pretty lucky. The gods were with you. And that's his turn. Uh, Captain Guy can't do anything. Corn, it's your turn. There are four rounds remaining on his. I have the fear fever, kite. by the way. A um, minute. A minute is ten, right? You do not have the fever. It's just the. Oh. Yeah, dude. Two. If you fail two consecutive, yep, you have the fever, uh, and I'll tell you what that means. It's not going to be pertinent within the first twenty-four hours, but I'll tell you what it means later. All right, no, I he, need he to start a roll this and save. For two or more rounds. I uh, failed wisdom too. save. He failed two saving throws. It two doesn't consecutive. Count the first one. Oh, it doesn't? No. It's only when he's paralyzed. Oh, that's a good point. That's true. No, but it says two or more rounds, the victim fails at least two saving throws, consecutive or non consecutive. Uh but that that's when it's that's when he's paralyzed. It doesn't count the first one because he wasn't paralyzed. You're right, you don't have the, the fever yet. I have you to fail it again. Fever. I have to fail it again and I get the fever. Yeah, I had to be paralyzed for two or more rounds. Well, you were, technically, but eh, whatever. Um, oh, my oh, I, well, we got to think about it. I mean, I failed it and became paralyzed, and then I that failed one for while round. paralyzed. Right, so that's, that is... Well, that, that, that wouldn't have been paralyzed for a round, because it would take a round for it to be a round. I see what you that mean. That makes sense. I, know, I don't, I don't, know, who, I don't sense. know who's right, to be honest. It's very confusing. That yeah. seems just like DM discretion at that point. Yeah, I would say it's I'll up think to about you. it. I'll think about it. Um, I won't make a decision yet. I will let Alan's spirit guardians thing happen. Wisdom saving throw going out. Sorry, you shouldn't have had advantage. It's a 10. Um, so, how much damage does he take? Uh, 11. I and hate to see it. Yeah. <laughs> hate to see those red numbers. Yeah, it's still an 11. I'll take it. Uh, and I'll uh, Healing Word. Uh, and I'll Healing Word Neverin, and I'll drink a Healing Potion myself. Okay. I'm going to Healing Word at uh, third level, though. Wait, actually, what, what? how much damage do you have? Oh, you're like half health. Yeah, third level. Okay. But what? Roger. So you get back 12 hit points. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty much negated the last turn. Good stuff. It's right. good. Yeah. Okay. I like. Right on. Okay. Right on. I don't see anyone. 
If I hop down from this roof, it's half movement? No, it would be an acrobatics check to see if you land clean. And it's your, oh, it's pretty much your action, because you're making an ability check. Yeah, I'm gonna front flip off the roof. Okay. Um, <laughs> make an acrobatics check. Yeah, you're good. So you're no longer prone, obviously. And yeah, then um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my bonus action, I'm just gonna hide here. You were hidden. That will be my turn. Grimfist. Dang, Eric's muted. Eric, are yeah, you muted? Sorry. Sorry, no, yeah, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I wasn't pressing push to talk. No, uh, that's all good. Seeing that the only other thing I can attack is surrounded by a violently radiant bubble. I'm going to saunter over here. here. You could. Uh, yeah, you could try and flank if you want. Nah, I'm going to... I assume you guys got that handled, and I'm going to... Oh, I see that guy over there. This guy in a red circle. And I will immediately change my course of action, which probably isn't going to be too far. i got to do the math now, because I didn't see that guy before. Yeah, so uh, there's a guy over here that he is referencing. Copy that. I think I can move to right about there because I ran up to the well and then I'm like, right. oh, wait, there's someone here. And then you backtracked. Okay. Yeah, so I backtracked. Uh, I'm not going to burn a key yet to just get in that guy's face. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's... I cool. guess I could get in his face, but I will stand right there and ready a slasheroni for him to come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> a slasheroni. Um, Mortimer, <laughs> Mortimer, is that guy in range of you? Donnie. I, from, yeah, I knew I was muted and I kept talking, anyways. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, 120 feet. Yeah, so if you want, he's in your range of an Eldritch Blast. Yeah, I'm going to blast him. Nice. Because you were holding that one. Yeah, I'm going to hit him good. Yeah! Hit him no. Yeah, <laughs> he pops around the corner and you misfire. Can I, like, airball it where, like, I, I just shoot it too short, like, it just in, like, curves and hits the dirt? <laughs> <Yeah>. Sure. <laughs> oh. It, like, goes through this window. <laughs> Okay. Strikes um, from fist. Sorry, it's Bobbity's turn. I skipped a bunch of turns. Uh, I'm going to move the Moonbeam onto this guy. Okay, so that's a con save. That's a fail. Come on, damage. Ooh. Damn. Nice. That's pretty that's good. A fuckload of damage. Okay. Um, okay. And then... Move here, and I'm gonna drop Archer form, and bonus action do Chalice form. Okay. And I'm done. Cool. All right, Mortimer, it's your turn. Just excellent. Um, wait. Oh, I'm yeah. aware. Neverin is in mortal danger around this corner. Yes. I don't know if you're aware he's in mortal danger, but you're but aware he's in... that he's there. There's there be some trouble afoot. You can just you could pro you could probably assume that. All right. I'm Given how the night has gone, <laughs> and I'm gonna move my hex to this handsome young man. Yeah, it's really weird when you come around the corner. You just see Neverin like frozen in place, <laughs> like not moving. You all right there, sweetheart? <laughs> he does not say. <laughs> <"Hi."> <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's dog fist. The second there one hits. We... Oh, max dangage. That's what we like to see. <gasps> it was almost a six. Uh, 19. Damn. Wow. Yeah, you fucked him up with that shit. 
I shot that one between Neverin's legs. <laughs> you just bowl it. Yeah. I like braced my arm, like I like uh, used. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, you could use the top of my head. You know, yeah, it's like harder than me. Yeah. And these corns head as like a little brace and just pew right through Neverin's legs. <laughs> All right. Nice. Uh, now it's this guy's turn. Uh, I don't think he's going to run into a slash aroni. That sounds bad. Um, this is an anime song right now. Oh, totally. I, I, by the way, chat, I do not vouch for this playlist. I just found battle music and press play. No judgments. No judgment. No judgment. That's fine. It works. I mean, it's bad. I'm but judging it works. you. It's a, I'm judging you. It's, it's, it's horrid. It's yeah. definitely not my favorite. Um, yeah. This guy's going to dash out of sight. Peace. Later. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, self preservation. Bro. Yeah, he's like, fuck this. Yeah, I get it. All right, Nevrin, go ahead and make your con save, please. All right, better pass this one. Oh, if you fail this one, you get the disease. It would not be good. You definitely get the disease. Ooh. You save. Well, you're at least no longer paralyzed. Judgment is still out on the disease. I will make a judgment by the end of combat. I Diseased. To read about that. Diseased. I might say yes, but it might not matter because Alan's a cleric, so who cares? Who cares, yeah. really? Yeah. Um, um, my turn still, that, right? That is your action. Yes. Action surge. There you go. I'm going to use that. You may. I'm going to move around him. Okay. And I'm going to attack. Okay. Max damage on that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, he's still up, but yeah. And then... Let me do my second attack. Yeah, because you get one attack action, so you get all the attacks, right? I don't get a bonus, but I do... Do oh. I get no? I don't get my bonus. I just get my two attacks for the action. Oh, that okay. one was uh, six damage, so eighteen in total on him. Oof, he is barely standing. He is not looking good. All right, um, I'm gonna slap a sonic strike on top. Bam! That's an extra six force. Yeah, he did. Yes. All Revenge right, is sick. sweet. I spit on his corpse as he crumples in front of me, and I <laughs> I step away from him. And I look, no. look, uh, I look this way. Okay. Okay. Give me one second here. No problem. Yeah, that was, that was a very lucky bounce. That, so it was going to miss, and then the damage dice hit it. And then it bounced the fucking D20 before it was finished rolling, and then it rolled into a hit. Zarian in the house. Look at this bastard. What's up, buddy? Well, there's a name I haven't. Uh... There's a well good man curated right there. playlist. Come on, dude. This is literally a <laughs> compilation from YouTube. It's so, so bad. bad. <laughs> it is. It was the first thing I saw. Uh, uh, hey, it's it not, works, dude. I will be a. I will be avoiding this one in the future unless we're doing a mega Dragon Ball Z fight. And then... If, if you let me go Super Saiyan once, I'll be happy, Will. Right, exactly. <laughs> just one um, spirit bomb. As a monk, you want me to, uh... Just one spirit bomb. As a monk. You want me to try something with the music real quick? Oh, God. What is it? Can't be worse. I don't it's say like, that. Pirate metal or something. Pirates? Uh-oh, what do we got? And my cousin Kyle, his band is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this should work. I like this. I'll take it. Nice. There we go. Cool. Less anime, more whatever. I don't know. Um, are you moving anywhere else? Oh, you already moved. Great. Yeah, I'm done. Ghoul Captain can't do anything. So but now we are down left. to three rounds. However, that, actually, that before be. it's your turn, Corin, some more shit goes down. Oh, no. We are entering phase three. Oh, you guys are doing so well. Fuck. 
Corrin, there's two more turns left on your thing, right? Three. Three? Three? Okay. Because you, uh, I casted my Moonbeam the turn. Same turn as you. So. I'll be right back. One sec. No problem. That's an initiative roll. I, for I forgot to click my token. Oh my god. Disqualified. Broke your own Disqualified. Roll. Um, so that's a four. He doesn't get to join combat now, right? That's the rule. No. <laughs> <laughs> but he did roll very poorly, so effectively you're kind of right. Um, okay. Um, that means, Corrin, it's your turn. I'm just going to move down here, cast uh, Cure Wounds on this guy. Call it a day. Oh, that was terrible. All right, so he gets six hit points back when he gets back. I'll just do that now on his token. All right. Anything else? Yeah, I'll just move you there. Okay. It is eerily quiet. Uh, Runon, it's your turn. All right. Combat is not over, chat. Don't even fucking think about it. I am a hidden. If I use like a misty step, does that keep a uh, stealth? No. Doesn't. Okay. All right, then I'll just use. I'm gonna use my regular movement, and I will move to this corner. It's all the strange elf men come down here looking for something. I don't see him yet. So that'll be 20, 25, 30. I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna, I'm Sorry gonna about stay that. here and uh, <laughs> ready a psionic blade. I'm back. I'm just gonna hold my action. You got six hit points back, dude. Everybody, pray I put for, him on your token. Everybody, uh, put out your your good energy for Bisha. He's got a fucked oh, no. up. He's got a fucked up eye. He, no, no, yeah, baby, Bish. Crystal had to drive him to, uh, shit, where, where did she drive him today? Like, almost all the way to San Jose to see an eye specialist. Shih Tzus rub their faces into the carpet, and they get eye infections, like little short snout yeah. dogs, and his eye is, like, at risk of popping, unfortunately. So we have oh, to yeah. monitor him. Yeah. He'll be all right, I hope. It's kind of scary. Oh, yeah. He so we put a cone on him, and that motherfucker is smart as hell and knows how to get the cone stuck on something so he can pull his head out and he can shake it off. Oh he's my God. he's really smart. He'll like get, wedge it on something and then like wrench his head out. A little bastard. Yeah, how about he's a little a, fucking maybe, smart bastard. Yeah. What about a doggy eye patch? We're yeah, we're we've ordered something new, something that's a little is more a confining on his face, but yeah. Essentially, we used to think it was cute when he would like put his head down, and, like rub himself into the carpet. Yeah, we're like, oh, look so how cute. cute. They do that. And then we're like, wait a second, you're rubbing your eye out. You got to stop. So now we yell at him. We're like, stop it. And he's all scared and shit. But I'd rather yell at him and have him be scared than lose an eye. So, yeah, girlfriend's parents cat lost an eye, sort of similarly, got infected. And the cat lived for a while. I mean, it was an old cat anyway. But Beach is 12, so this kind of shit scares me. Like, I, yeah. Dude, you're never gonna see me cry. But if Bisha loses an eye, you're gonna see me ball up like a bitch. Like I yeah, can't let sure. it happen, dude. Dogs do that Animal stuff, dude. Thing. Animal yeah, stuff. Man. I'll cry every time. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I you can like you can gut a child. gut a man in front of me, but you fucking put an eye out of a dog. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> uh, six. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold an action and ready to sign a blade. He'll be alright though. What's up, Fish Friend? He'll be okay. We've been Grim calling him fist. calling him Pirate Boy. Fucking Grim baited me. I saw him like run over. Um, me. Like, oh shit! <laughs> so I'm uh, add six hit points back to your character sheet. I already did your token. You got oh. healed. I uh, seeing oh, that. My character sheet's full. So am I at thirty-eight? You were at thirty-eight. Yeah. I was at thirty-eight. 
So not 40. Still no, still at 38. Copy that. 38 is the accurate number. Roger. Go ahead, Grim. Are uh, seeing this new person attempting to attack whatever was out there, not seeing anything. I grow weary. I reapproach the well in the center. Uh, because the long sword is versatile, I am going to hold it with one hand, like the the back, the upside down way. So I flip it in my hand. So the blade reverse facing... grip. Yes, thank you. That's what I meant. Uh, reverse grip it, and I'm gonna pull out one of my throwing shurikens, and ready a uh, thrown action for anything that comes to the center of town. Cool. Uh, and then I turn to this other guy to the west here and say, "Hello, friend. Good to meet you. I am Grimfist, Shadowborn." I think he's talking to Bobbity, right? Uh, sure. to the west, you said, right? Yeah, um, I don't recognize people by their tokens right now because there's new people. Is, is it the uh, uh, emo guy? We've, we've, we've or the emo uh, guy or dwarf? Or the, the dwarf. dwarf with the circle around him. The dwarf. Wait, no, I have met Bobbity. Never mind. Yeah, you haven't met Corin. He's the other dwarf. And you haven't met Runon. That's right. Even though it's like Eric sees me right now, though. Oh, I saw you. What's your passive perception? Really high. Hold on. Uh, where is my passive? Oh, wait, it's only 13? That's... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see me. No, no, it's 16. For some reason, rolled, or the Beyond has it at 13, even though it should be 16. My no, stealth was 22. Stealth for standing up there. You jumped down and ran. I re Then I re-hid. Yep. Bonus action. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Who cares? You move to the well, you prepare a star. Bobbity, it's your turn. Um, you have a moment to breathe here. I'm going to move my moonbeam to here. To where? To here. So it's close to me in case I need it. Um, and then I'll just ready a guiding bolt. I like the music. I like the percussion. It's cool. Especially right now. It's a calming Mortimer. moment. Yeah, I got, I, this guy on uh, Spotify has like a whole bunch of uh, yeah. playlists for like D and D. Oh, that's cool. I will one, two, three, four, five, six, and I will hold me up. Eldritch blast. Well, I guess okay. I mean, this is kind of meta, right? We don't we, we we have no reason to believe we're not done, right? No, there's the main guy still yeah, that we, we do yeah, know about him. You have not killed everything you've seen, so I'll yeah. put it that way. Well, I won't hold an Eldritch Blast. I'll just run over and be like, well, that was cool. <laughs> I think we're fine. Fair enough. That's reasonable. Yeah, that's fair. All right, Neverin, what are you doing? Okay, well, let's see here. Um... Hmm. I will. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I'm going to dash to the center of town and ready in action uh, with my double bladed scimitar. And my bonus action will be my second wind 1d10 plus 5. Six health back. Okay. There we go. That's it. Okay. Um, a new challenger enters the arena. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> It's not what I meant to do, but it's kind of what I meant to do. But yeah. oh, I hate that spell. In that due time. Levels. So, a ghoulish figure steps out of the shadows to about yay. And yes, you will get your attacks on him. But first, uh, he casts Evard's Black Tentacles.
Uh, give me a second. And he puts it there. And I need everybody in there to make uh, a DC 14 dexterity saving throw. That's something you don't see every day. Yeah, a monk fail a dex save. Yeah, that's weird. Soma, when you get a chance, dex saving throw, please. Okay. Dex saving throw. Sorry, I was sending a text. It's okay. Uh, okay, rocked off the 20 and hit a 2. Very good. Hey. All right, both of you take 11 damage. Twinsies. They had tentacles in their manholes? There's just tentacles erupting from the ground, wrapping you guys up. Bobby, what did you do? How do you and know? I'm th I'm considering getting rid of the digital dice and just having it roll a number. I don't want to get I'm... I don't want to get cock teased anymore. I hate it. You hate getting tilted. You're also both yeah. restrained because you failed your saving throws. Change your okay. dice, dude. They all have different physics. No way. Yeah, that's an actual thing. So they made it so that you can put your dice in dice jail? That is actually great. Wait, really? Um, That is great. Yeah, I'm like, a big fan of that. So, like, metal skin die will have, like, different physics from, like, plastic skins and shit. That's ridiculous. Oh it's my so God. dumb, but it's actually... I actually kind of love it. I'm not going to lie. Okay. All right, so you're both restrained. Uh, and what restrained means is that your speed becomes zero and you can't benefit from any bonuses to speed. Uh, attack rolls against you have advantage, uh, and your attack rolls have disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws moving forward. Okay. However, however, with uh, Evard's Black Tentacles specifically, uh, when you're restrained by the tentacles, you can use your action on your turn to make a strength or dex throw your choice against the DC to, to uh, free yourself. Okay. On your turn. Um, so that guy moves there. That's one, two, three, four, five. And I guess he'll duck back around the corner, even though that doesn't really save him from rune on. Can but, I, do I get my guiding bolt before he ducks? So, yeah, here's the thing. Um, you can, but hold on. Let me see your line of sight super quick. Because I can see him. No, I know you can see them. I'm trying to see if, if the well was in the way, but they're not counting the well, so apparently not. Uh, technically, all three of you who had an action, um, maybe except for Grimfist. Uh, throw it, I think it, uh, it's a matter of if he's in range, because I had a dart ready to rock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's a range thing. So all three of you, I think, get an attack against this guy. Okay. Yeah, mine's at disadvantage, but yeah. Yeah, yours is a disadvantage, but you still get it. Mm -hmm. How do I set this thing to disadvantage? Uh, I think it's control click on the attack. So try control Precisely. click in the spell in the DC. You'll see the minus symbol pop up. Okay, so the thirteen. Uh, let me see if that actually hits this guy because he's not like wearing crazy armor. Um, the thirteen actually hits. Thanks, guys. So nine. Okay. Uh, no, that is... Oh. Yeah, it's nine. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll get it all hammered out. Uh, and then Bobbity and, uh, and, uh, technically Runon. Fifteen hits. Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh I don't know why that was so many. I'd only rolled four of them. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. Yeah, that's really weird. Alright, Runon, roll your shit. It gets advantage. Right, yep. Shit. Do I get the, I get the bonus? Oh, actually, I don't get the bonus here. Cause... But yeah, I do because I hid and held action, so I don't use it. Yeah, it's also a guiding bolt. It's also a guiding bolt, so you have advantage either way. Yeah, mm. these dice fucked me. Yikes. Yeah, you miss on both. Jesus. That would have been 21 damage. Now he ducks back behind the corner. Still get the bonus attack off the other one, because I held the action. Do you want a reaction? 
Would it be a reaction if it's like those yeah because an op attack is always a or a held action is always your reaction for the thing unless i'm unless i'm mixing it up with something else but i'm pretty sure that was the case whenever you hold an action it's burning your reaction that's you don't get like a full turn action oh, that, that, that's on a held action it's like one attack Okay, uh, Captain's not going to do anything, but now he's only got two turns left on his counter. Gorin, it being your turn. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to move a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'll move. You guys can skip me after that. Are you doing a dash? Yeah, I'm just double moving. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're a dwarf, so you got 25 feet, huh? Yeah, so yeah. I'm like slow as hell. Stunted legs. Runon, it's your turn. You can still see this dude, so... Isn't there a feat, like, Dwarvish Movement or Mobile Dwarf? What is it called? Dwarven something. There like, is one that increases your movement. You get more movement speed than something else. I can't remember. Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a waste of a feat, but still. <laughs> it so, is totally a waste yeah. of a feat. What I am going to do... Maybe if you're a Dwarven I'm, Monk, maybe. I'm going to use Blessing of the Raven Queen. Oh. That's my bonus action, and I'm going on top of this building. Nice. Uh, right across from me. That's pretty sick. That sounds so crazy. So basically, what you guys are gonna see is like this high picture of it, like a like a black portal with like ravens coming out of it. It just opens up in front of me, and I just step through, and you see me appear on the top of the building. That's pretty key. Nice. It's pretty key. I like that. And then uh, this bird vision sake uh i'll be attacking from the top of the roof with advantage so that dude's getting sneak attacked okay nice pull up to the proper attack here hear that djembe i love playing djembe i'm bad at it but it's so fun yeah he gets 15 damage and okay. then uh, on top of the building, I will step back five feet and go prone. Yeah. All right, Grimfist. All right, let's break out of this. What's up? <clears throat> Get fucked, you stupid fucking <laughs> virtual dice jesus I, dude i know it's the the dice all fucking night you. i've been rolling like ass buckets all night i, I would happens with real dice dude, too. i i wouldn't okay. mind failing if i didn't see the dice slide on a 20 just to knock over to a one i would be way less ragey <laughs> but I all right uh you're also so gonna terrible. take another 3d6 bludgeoning damage from the tentacles whapping you tentacure as per yeah. as per the um the spell description. It says any creature that starts its turn in the area and is already restrained takes 3d6. It's so a good technically, spell. you should be taking it before you even make your saving throw. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So you failed your save anyway, yeah, but you take fucked. another 16. You my turn, you bitches. <laughs> you take that fucking you take that fucking spirit guardian's bullshit and get fucked. Damn, dog. Oh, what the dog, dude? Why would you put me in there? Why would I put you in Excuse there? Excuse me. No. No. Oh, my, oh, my spirit guardians are. Yeah, I would have. I would not have done that. <laughs> oh no, dude. Yeah, oh uh, no. I'll drop it. I drop spirit guardians. Yeah, but it's not your turn. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not your turn. Take the damage this round. Drop, but if I moved there, I, I'm not going to do damage to him. I, I, you know, like, I will just drop it. It's not. It's a free action. It's not like it's a uh, costs anything. Yeah, but I'll, I'll blow my reaction. Turn. I feel oh. like I feel like one. There's got to be one turn of damage. I sure. feel like there does two. Yeah. Like, I and I hate to right, say sure. that. I hate sure. to say that. I it's hate only to do, fair. Make, well, hold on. Roll a wisdom still check. Gets to make the, yeah, still uh, actually, no. It's actually it's not. Check. It's not just one turn because it's when he entered it. When I entered it, he would have had to roll a wisdom check then. Oh. It would be two then, huh? So, so I would have noticed that he got injured from it, and I would have dropped it. Well, that's up to the DM. Okay, at well, this he's point, still got to take. He's still got to yeah, take sure. one round then. So, make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Hi. 
eat a bag of fucking dicks. <laughs> Everyone's getting salty tonight, dude. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going on. It's not rolling anything. Hold on. I need to put that better yeah. dial on, better TTV emote in. All right, so 12 damage. The okay, finger wag. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. I'm down He's on my next turn. You're He's okay. fucked. I'll drop spirit guardians, mm -hmm. though. Okay. Dropping spirit guardians. Yeah, just ignore the second roll. I, I clicked it a couple times because it wasn't rolling. You're I am dropping <laughs> your... <laughs> oh, poor bath did... That sucks. There you go. Oof. Okay, Bobbity, I guess it's your turn. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, Bobbity? Rival? Rival's muted. I'm Rival. muted. I'm level two healing wording, uh, our monk. Oh, wait, He's you're in gonna... chalice form too, huh? Yeah, so you're going to take, you're going to get nine plus. And then what else? Yeah, you're about to have that rage immediately get turned around because... Ten. so, uh, yeah. 19 total. Wow. There you oh, go. Boom, right back to 23. powerful fucking I can heels. live with that. <laughs> Don't worry, you got a couple of Tasha's classes in your in your group. You're gonna be just yeah, fine. you're okay? fine. And then I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna move. I'm gonna move here. I normally <laughs> hate Tasha's, but since it's saving my balls right now... <laughs> Dude, I, I love I, I really like Tasha's. I, I mean I'm not Tasha's, a damn. Tasha's took an easy game and made it ultra easy. So uh, no, 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 hold on a second. I totally dis dude, no way. This yeah. game is hard D &D. if the DM wants it to be hard. The easy game is up to the fucking DM. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I know, I'm is, sorry, but long rest healing no way. getting stabbed in the gut is not a thing that should happen. Uh, this, many, hey, listen, many, many other issues. I, I agree, have. but that's D and D I, in a nutshell, dude. Like, no, you can't. You no, gotta no, let that go. Not at hey, all. Hey, everybody, this is the deal with D and D. Is D and D basically an easy game? Yes, because the DM basically has to be borderline unfair to make it difficult. Like, it's that's not true. designed you're right, you're well. Right. It's you're... poorly designed for, for and, what we're talking about. And, but it, what, what the game is basically about is killing shit and taking their stuff. Exactly. And it does that really well. Exactly. So, I mean, how often are you dying in video games if it's not a Dark Souls game? Like, not that often, right? Yeah. Um, but when, but when let's the, be when real the, here. Yeah. Sixth edition? Can we all agree oh, that I'm it's going to be edition. funny and it's going to be easy? Unless they really surprise us, I'm expecting sixth edition in a couple years, three, four years from now. To be face roll easy with just... I'm, I'm expecting... Wait, you get to make your own background. There's no races anymore, and everyone's the same gender. It's like already it's gonna in the be, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's already, 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 already yeah. in the game. That's oh, and that, they've added it in yeah. now. They, this is sprinkles they're putting on a Sunday that's been melting for years. Wait until right. they pull out a new fucking Sunday <laughs> hey, covered in cherries and okay, fucking guys, rainbows. and. Yeah. This is what I will say to assuage you from this argument. The next campaign we play won't be D&D. I promise you... It will be a different game. It will be... Uh, you know what? I'm saying it now. I'm just going to say it. I want to run Star Wars with this group because I think you guys would fucking love that game system. I think Dibs you would on love being Ray. I just I want everything. Cool. We're, not, we're not doing it in the fucking can new prequel po? timeline. Can I be I'm going to be a really cool pilot. As long as I can be a, as as can be a gray pilot. Jedi, I don't care. Sure. Yeah, I want to you be could literally like be an edge lord. Gray Jedi, so boring. It's like I don't want to pick a side. I want to be in the middle. <laughs> I I am boring. Coward. But but honestly, um, what I was talking about pre-show, and we'll dive right back into combat after I say this, was doing a Star Wars game, but that's uh, from the Imperial side during uh, between uh, Episode three and four. So you're like working with the Inquisitors to expunge the remaining Jedi and shit like that. Oh, I'll be a Sith. I'll be a Sith all day, yeah. dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yes. what I mean. I think it would cool. be fun. And there's no alignments to fuck everything up. It's like totally up to me how the story goes. I want to be like a like, hardcore force user. I want like force yeah, and lightning if, and, and shit. If you oh, become, yeah. like, and if you become strong enough with the Inquisitor groups, who knows? Maybe you get a meeting with Vader or some shit. You know? Like, oh, who knows? Oh, oh. That would be badass, right? We so still I'm have saying, like two years with this campaign, though. Yeah, <laughs> nah, not at the pace we're going. You guys are almost fucking level six, dude. We're, we're cruising. Dude, we anyway. cruising. We've been playing this campaign for four months. 
All I'm saying is by next year, by the time Kenobi comes out, we might be starting a Star Wars campaign. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) Yeah, I feel that. All I want to say is a big big thing I see uh, with campaigns that actually do make it to endgame, even if you get to 20, the DM's like, you made it to 20, GG. What about like you know playing as level twenty for a few it's seconds? Yeah, they're they're like they actually, and they're yeah. Not as fun as I you would think do that. There might not be as fun as you Make think. But if we get to end game, it's like leveling to sixty in World of Warcraft and then logging off forever, like and then that never doing anything at sixty. At I want to do something end game, you know, like I if we get to that. Least. Least. Yeah, I want an epic like, boon. I want to do a crazy thing. No, I want there will least, definitely be like yeah, one last grand quest line when you guys hit. Just just imagine like ding in 60 and wow and then logging off that character forever it would just suck that's, you know? that, that is wow end game you hit 60 you, you hit 60 and, and the game and starts you never do it no way when you hit 60 the game start, back in the day when i was sweaty hit yeah. get to max level as fast as possible and then play the game you know but no, I, that's I the agree. way i look at it though listen i agree with you and i was i was a fucking hardcore raider in in fucking classic wow you know yeah, like, yeah, spending yeah. hours and hours so oh I are you it. guys all gonna play uh yeah. bc classic bc um i'm going to dabble but please tell me you're gonna play yeah, d2 yeah, resurrected gonna, with me i'm gonna play we need it we need to play d2 resurrected right like everyone's playing oh, I'm that right so ham in that i'm going yeah. ham in that bc no, will be bananas. off stream shit yeah yeah, I'm gonna. Anyway, I mean, I D2 it. resurrected might endanger my job if I go full. <laughs> like That's what I'm mode. saying. I'm just gonna tell my team and They're my creator success agents that they gotta give me a little bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, All right, guys. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get play. back in the game. We've been it's hanging on Donnie's turn for a thousand years. What yeah. are you doing, Donnie? Yes, I have to go pee too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna go here and then uh, hold Eldritch Blast. In case he go. pops out again. Okay. Nice. All right, you, you may now pee. Thank you. Thank you, master. Should we just all path. take our break now? It's 9.15. Yeah, let me uh, get to the say, top of the batting order again, and then we'll take a break. What were you going to say, Al? I was going to say, like, let's, we could try to get through this combat first. Let's get to the combat. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, through, like, yeah, two just, streams that I'll write. If you have to take a piss in between your turn, do that. But let's just you at can. least finish yeah, this. Yeah. Exactly. You can just no, run. you can't. When never I went to go check turn, on Bisha, I took a piss. So I mean, yeah. yeah, no, uh, never. You're gonna take a certain amount of damage. Okay. You'll take half if you make the if the saving throw. Oh, what's my saving throw, Con? Uh, strength or Dex, your choice. Strength or Dex, my choice. Okay. Or no, 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 no. Oh, you take, you take the full. I'm sorry. You take the full, but if you get free if you make the saving throw. So you do take the 11, and you fail. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, being wrapped in these tentacles, I'm not blurry, so anyone who knows me will recognize me now. <laughs> well, what was the blurry thing, anyway? What was that? Yeah, well, it's a cloak of displacement. You have a cloak of displacement? Yeah. It's not that that It's a rare it. artifact. You guys have like most of you have two rare artifacts. That's pretty it's, it's, good. It's not an it's artifact. A good one. It's just that's not an artifact at all. It's just a magic it's item. Super good. I think it's excellent. I love that fucking item. Um, yeah, even I, though I'm restrained, yeah. I can still use mental abilities. So I'm gonna use my final psionic die and lift this motherfucker out and move him 30 feet away from the tentacles to like Aww. here, here. Yeah, I'm gonna save his life. Did that guy take damage since he's cast the uh, tentacles? I can telekinetically yes, he took, like, rip a him right out. He's taking a right, so who? that concentration who? 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 check, who? buddy? Wait, what are you talking about? The guy. Oh, the you're talking about. Oh, yeah, good true. Point. How about good this? Point. Good point. No, he got hit a bunch of times. Nobody called me on it, and I forgot. So true. I, then I we start now. Then. With, I will make one with a higher DC. Okay. You balance it out. But he rolled a 21. Yeah. So he yeah. maintains yeah. concentration. Yeah. What's but up, th- Maka, thank Belly? you for calling me out on that. Yeah, I just was like, I had to almost murder No, that's fair. Ever. No, no one ever fucking remembers concentration checks. It's ridiculous. I, right. just, I always do. I just didn't. I missed him getting hit. I would have called you. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I, still, I still pulled you out of there 30 feet away. Yeah, I just moved back in case he broke concentration. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Now get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Is it, like, do the tentacles like tickle you, Eric? When you're, tentacles? Like, moved out of them? They tickle me in a very uncomfortable way. 
Uh, and they have like little spikes coming out of their suction cups, so yeah. But did you like it? I liked it before the spikes came and tried to pierce me <laughs> in my pee hole. Yeah, I, I yeah, violently I telekinetically ripped you out of those tentacles. You're lucky you didn't take damage. Like you, you're sitting there strangled and you literally get whiplash as you feel this invisible force pull you away and the tentacles, even the tentacles are almost surprised how violently you're being ripped out and you sort of fly backwards and land on your feet right here. Surprise tentacle. Surprise tentacle. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't uh, love a surprise tentacle unless you're in prison? Yikes. Yeah. Um... Hold on, I'm deciding what I want to do with this guy. Surprise tentacle here. Or you're at a church. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. okay. Um, my least favorite spell of Dungeons & Dragons, Chill Touch, which is neither cold nor a touch attack. Fucking stupid. I've anyway, um, <laughs> I fucking hate that so much. It is It is a bad spell. I agree. Or um, I no, think... It's a great spell. It's just the name, or, it, the name is dumb. Named badly. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, he's the spell gonna itself cast is major, good. He's going to cast mage armor on himself. He can get a bag of dicks. <laughs> As a bonus action. <laughs> As a bonus no, action. action. He's, he's going to get a bag of dicks. <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got no, a question. It's an action. <laughs> I misread that. I thought... <laughs> sorry, I clicked on something else that was a bonus action. I got a question, but, uh, Sticks. Yes. Can other players help pull another player out of tentacles? Like, if someone came here to pull me out, is that something that can be done, or am I on my own? I actually um, don't know. Well, it's technically it's your action that you have to drag yourself out of there. But Got it. Correct. Okay. Got it. Okay. But I, I feel like, like if a player I feel like to... you could make a ruling that if someone helped you, you could get advantage on your. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. It'd out. be advantage on it. Yeah, yeah. It would be an aid action technically on the other person's thing they're making their action to assist you in some it's, way it's an assistance action yeah exactly yeah it's the help action or whatever help, it's help, called help is, yeah it's help yeah okay. I, okay i just wondered so i i mean according to the rules yes I don't, I don't see why not anyway i'm gonna give him mage armor um so now his ac increases and then uh He's going to pop around the corner, so Donnie, you can shoot an Eldritch Blast at him. You're damn right out. Now he has a higher AC, and maybe that'll save me, and maybe it won't. Who knows? Pew. Answer is no. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Oh, wow. And now, Donnie, you silly, silly boy, you're no! going to take some damage. You stupid boy! I have a story about that. <laughs> you stupid, stupid boy! I have a story about that. My friend's dad went into a uh, retail store we were working in, pretended to be a foreigner who was mad at him, and like they did this whole improv skit <laughs> where like his dad was yelling at him, and he literally goes up to the service counter and he slaps him across the face and goes, "You stupid boy!" And everybody wow. in the store freaked out. <laughs> and then he's like, "It's cool. It's my dad. We we're just fucking with you guys." It was, <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. That's, That's actually pretty funny. Him. I love that. That's good. I like that. It's so good. His dad's a total prankster. He plays the same prank on me whenever I visit him, and I'll tell you that after I roll this acid splash damage. Oh, there's a dead fish in your bed. Ah, gotcha. Is that what he does? No, not not quite that bad. Oh, uh, my, my like uncle's a saving dick, throw, then. Donnie. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, you take three <laughs> acid damage. Whoop the shit. I'd yeah. be so pissed if someone put a dead fish in my bed. No, uh, the the thing he does to me is the first time I ever met him, he uh, had Chronicles of Riddick on the TV, and I was like, oh, mm. I love this movie. He's like, oh, you seen this movie? Every time I go to his house now, and he knows about it. Chronicles of Riddick will be on the TV. He'll look me dead in the eye and say, "You seen this movie?" He's been doing it for years. <laughs> one time, oh, what a dad! What a Dude, dad! One time I show up at his house. He has a bald cap on. He's wearing like <laughs> swimming goggles and a black tank top. And he looks at me and, and I was like, "You have got to be fucking kidding me!" And he goes like, he goes like, he looks me dead in the eye and he's like, "It's an animal thing." And I'm like, "You fucking son of a bitch." He is That's the greatest person oh, in the world. That's fucking funny. I love funny. that. I like that guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, skipping the boss turn, he has got one turn left on his counter. <laughs> that is oh, so funny. Shit. Oh. 
It's such a good joke. It's so good. It's so Sorry dumb. Sorry if I laughed too loud, yeah. Sorry if I laughed too loud, chat. But that was funny and worth so it. So that was great. No, chat lulled too. We're you good. You can you can laugh loud enough to peek the mic, just like me. It's okay. I don't know, but I don't know how loud that is on my end. So yeah, no, you're good. Oh, I, whenever I when, I when I look at the highlight and hear myself laugh, I have to take my headset off. So it's all good. Just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, laughs are loud. Get used yeah. to it. But uh, hey, by the way, my audio setup, the new one, still sitting on this desk, literally have not had time. Yeah, I was going to say, it it's going to happen. Like you're talking into a no, sure mic yet. I'm not. I, I just have not had time, and I'm going to be gone all weekend. It's sure. going to happen soon. I just, when you work all day long, you just want to go to bed at 9 p.m. It's, what are you going to do, you know? All right, Corin, it's your turn. What kind of armor is this big boss guy wearing? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's insane armor. Wait, um, big boss yeah. guy? The one just that the just casted that mage armor, or the other no, one that has no, no, scale no, no. armor? No, no, the no. one that who's next turn, he's gonna he's actually gonna get a turn next turn. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that is guy's got metal? armor. Yeah. Right, well, you said he did. You said he had. You yes. said they all had armor. Yeah. Well, you I said they had he... scale no, armor, I was like talking, scale. I would, no, 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 no. That, those were the other guys. Oh. Yeah. Like, this if guy you, does. Have, he's wearing a breastplate, so technically he has one piece of metal on his on his person. The rest okay. of it is metal. not metal, but his chest piece is metal. Okay. Got You're it. casting heat metal, of course. I mean, when I, I yeah. I hate this. And how, how? What's finish the sentence thing? What he cast heat metal on him? No. Yeah, when, when in Rome. Rome. Whenever. I don't know why my. Uh, D&D Beyond is super slow. But oh, there you go. Eight, eight damage. Are you anchor manning me right now, Eric? Is that what you're exactly? Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. What yeah. I me, doing. me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Al? Or is that it? Uh, that's it. It's my turn. Okay, Runa. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm going to step back up. Wait, the, the guy who did mage armor ah. is wearing armor? No, 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 the other uh, one. No, the other guy. Uh, there's okay. two, there's... You can't see him. Okay, got it, got it. Wait, who's the red token guy with uh, 10.17? Uh, there's another... Oh. <laughs> that's the guy who ran away. That that was the, no, that was the guy who ran away, and you guys still haven't pursued him yet. So. Right. Well, that bitch is long gone. Shit. He ran far away. He went off the screen. Sure. Uh, Tentacle Man is... He's getting it. Don't forget concentration check if it hits. I mean, if it hits, this guy's fucking toast. He's not Whoa, good. really? He's gotten f that fucked up? It's a mage. <laughs> it's oh, like I, no I, I was I was AFK uh, when this guy was introduced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got he got fucking annihilated. Um, so yeah, oh, that's wow. sixteen damage. Yeah, this guy's way dead. So yeah, get out of here, tentacles. Yeah, yeah, and the tentacles are gone too. Damn, I wasted you are my no fucking longer restraint. dice. That sucks. Thank you for the thought. No problem, buddy. Eric, um, come to Tahoe. Come on. <laughs> come on, I want to drink Speaking with you. Speaking of Eric, it's your turn. Yeah, I'm just going to stay on the roof, and it, oh, yeah. I will use my bonus action to hide. Okay. I move here, and I'm like, oh, wait. Now he's gone and dead. <laughs> what a waste. Well, I'm just running all over the place. Like, why? Why is everything getting killed before I can get to it? I'm fast AF. Uh, it says 16 on the hydro. Track okay, again. Barely enough. And then I just backtrack again, and I'm like, okay. Uh, but I, as I run, I become blurry once more. Nice. And you're supposed to roll with disadvantage when you attack me, but every time you've attacked me, you haven't even gotten high enough, so I've just, like, ignored that. It hasn't mattered? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, well, I should know that. But anyway, um, yeah, Bobbity, it's your turn. So, Sticks, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, so, I can move here. If I were to want to cast Spike Growth, as the map is right now, I would probably cast it on myself. Yeah, and then is Alan's the, fucked. Is there a way to cast it at a smaller no. size? No. Hmm. Spike Growth is what it is. 
Right. The size of it. You want me to make this it's easy ass no, 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 game no, no, no. that we it's just a, berated it's a for an radius. hour? It's a 20 <laughs> easier? Radius. Is it on you or is it on? No, a, it's any it's point. at a point of his choice. I have 150 so, feet to choose. Uh, I mean, yeah, just like choose just, inside the building, right? And it would be oh, like that's a good point. You know, but also then you're not really maximizing. It's kind of a shitty use of spike sure. growth. Yeah, I mean, if you ask like, me, it's not a good Norman. time to use it right now. Anyway, Correct. I, get, yeah, I agree. Fair. I would, um, like, real quick, you want to use it when he's across an open space from you so that he yeah. has to go through it. That's like ideally when you want to use it, not when he's like pinned in a corner. Real quick, Kim, before the next turn starts, Oops. can I just retcon and uh, pop a potion while I'm running? As your action? Yeah, sure. Go for it. So plus two to that. Yay. A total of five. Hey, man. It's better than zero. Oh, um, yeah, what I do you want to do? Um, Bobbiter. Let's bonus action. I'm gonna healing word soma. Okay. Hey. Oh shit. I was just gonna get six, and then I'll just keep the heal on you because you're the only one who needs it. Okay. Uh, you get a you get fourteen total. Thank you, sir. Um. And if he's getting a turn. I'm just gonna guiding bolt him then. Did I do the I'll math wrong? I think that's 47. Uh, you should be at 47. Uh, I'll guiding bolt him as well. Okay. Because he's getting a turn anyways. 19? Uh, yep. It Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why it's so many. Yeah, it's a mistake. Yeah. It's, okay. it's just the visual, because it, it does it correctly. Yeah, it does the math right. Yeah. 15, okay. and then that'll be my turn. Mortimer! God, I got a heavy buzz from two old fashions, and I have two left. That makes sense. Jesus. Oh my god, you got four. Uh, well, as far as I understand, we have no idea where anybody could be coming from, right? No, I'm, I mean... They were my doubles. Down here. The dwarves know what the fuck is up, but yeah. Oh, we have one guy I where? Uh, down oh. by me and the guy who's uh, been cowering in a corner for ten rounds. Yeah, me and Corey. Uh, oh, sorry. And me I see and like the room. edge of one where I'm at. Has this yeah. been localized to me at all? Uh, no, I'd no, actually you not. Heard it by now. Well, well I'll take a leisurely. You might have heard them cast spells somewhere around the corner down the street, but yeah. that's about it. Okay, sure. I'll I'll run this way. You guys okay? And I don't see anything, so that's my turn. <clears throat> Do I have to wait till it's my turn to talk? It's, it's Guard Thomas, right? It was. Yeah, this is, Guard Thomas is over here. Uh, cow in corner. We're trying to kill him. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to attack you with uh, disadvantage, right? Yeah. Excellent! But, but my AC is now 17. Okay. Eric, you should totally move your person... Right there. Right there. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, he misses with all of his attacks. Big surprise. Neverin. Okay, I see Grimfist. And I sprint toward him. He's all my movement. I stand right there. And I say, We always seem to run into you at the most opportune times, friend. And as I say that, I slash out. And attack this man. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I don't know what dice Whoa. I'm using, but Those are Whoa. Crazy. wow. Okay. Well, they're that... rolling better already. Does that hit? 16? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay, 12 damage. Yeah, he's not using a shield, so that's target. Okay, attack again. I like these dice. They're like ice that's or something. That's max damage. Oh my god. Okay. And then I will follow with my bonus action attack. Well, shit. All max damage. Wow. Big balls, big damage. I like these dice yeah, so much. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. 32 damage. Okay, so that's 32 damage. Yeah, Fuck big... me. That was awesome. Yeah, wow. you just fucking Darth Maul this bitch. Into, into vroom, oblivion. Vroom. I haven't been using my light cantrip, I just realized. I gotta make sure I, I'm casting my weapon. Can I just you know what, say what that I have do? that on there? Is that okay? No, when you, yeah, sure, but when we get to the Elven Lands, we'll just make it permanently glow, right? Yay! Get some Elven Smith to, like, okay. do some... Sh 
to like you know magically touch. Okay, so his turn counter is gonna go after this turn, but no, in he the can meantime, go now. He took damage. He's oh, okay. Wait, that what, changes say? what I was gonna do. What I missed? No, he, he took, took damage. damage. He the go. boss took damage. He's he's in the fight. Oh right. Bobbity. Yep. Prepare to eat oh. shit. I'm okay oh, with God. that. Oh God. He has disadvantage actually, though. Oh, because of the thing. Yeah. God, there's five tokens on that, bro. Holy shit. I well, guess you yeah, can probably take off the turn. A couple of them are, res are resistances. You could probably take um, off the turn as well, if he has an icon on that. If he's being turn, if turn undeads on him, and there's an icon for it, you could probably. Oh take yeah, there off there him. is an icon for that. No, yeah. it's trying to help. It's trying to help, sir. <laughs> can I say? It's trying to help. Uh, you're you're good. I I like help. Um, I love gold. I love uh, gold. Okay, so yeah, he's got disadvantage because fuck you guys, and then he gets <laughs> to make. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's um, right. Oh, he's gonna make four attacks with his longsword. Music change oh, yeah. up with the boss boy. Okay, I love it. Okay, first attack. Babber. Yeah. Does a sixteen hit you? It sure does. Oof. Yeah. Damn, this guy has a ridiculous. Sucks. Well, also he has a really high to hit. Right. So, first attack does 19 damage. Wait. <laughs> he said, <laughs> this motherfucker said, wait. Wait, no, I'm cool with that. I just, I, I'll take the damage because I said it was, I, I said the wrong number. Uh, my AC is what? higher, but I'll take it. I wait, it was... no, fuck wait, no, that. What's your AC? No, reads my, 14. My, my AC, I didn't have my shield on, and I don't know why. If your shield's on and just click... No, Has his AC this... would have been 16 anyway. It would have been oh, target on uh, the yeah, first yeah. one. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. The it last would one would have been. But, uh, yeah, it's 17 right now. Why would you have three? Your token says 14 for your AC. No, uh, so I have my Vend armor, which gives me 15, and then I have my shield and gives me two. So you have 17 AC, so nothing hit yeah. you. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I, my shield wasn't equipped. I don't know why. Well, that. Okay, we'll give you a break on that, right? If you didn't click the square box in your character Am sheet. Am I going to give him a break? Well, I mean, he didn't equip his shield. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you got to like give said, the guy a break if he didn't hit yeah. the box in the if character me, sheet. I, I don't no, no, no. Know on his next turn, it doesn't even cost him an action. He can just put his shield on and be like, whoa, this dude slaps. I need to have my shield out. Oh, yeah, oh I see what you like, mean. He okay, needs okay. to say that he put his shield on his Fair Yeah, enough, otherwise, enough. we can't just yeah, assume. Yeah, you know, I, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's player error. Anyway, so you only take one of the attacks anyway, but it's 19 damage. 19? So. Okay. Yeah, key. Yeah, this guy slaps, so be careful. Um, and he has, like, fucking plus eight to hit, so disadvantage. Yeah, it's good, you, you're, it's good that you have disadvantage on this guy, but um, we'll mitigate some of it. Anyway, Corn, it's your turn. What are you doing? One second, I'm moving. Uh, I haven't. I, I think I know what he's gonna do. Let's just put it that way. Well, I'm actually gonna do like something weird. Five. Then I'm moving here. Uh, he gets an attack up. Okay. I will take that. God damn it. Still has disadvantage. I know. Yeah, he missed. Okay. And then I finally end my turn here and I will attack him. Blanked. Even though he already had advantage on him. Yeah, he also takes 2d8, which will roll at some point in time. Somewhere in the myriad of Alan's turn. <laughs> he takes 8 damage, and I don't know why, but my internet's super slow right now, so uh, okay. d and does not want to talk to uh, roll 20. Are you attacking as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thirteen. That is oh, no, I have, no, uh, I have, I have uh, advantage. something advantage. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I hate this game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, it'll roll. At least I've killed two of your characters in this campaign. So far. <laughs> Jesus what Christ! A dick. No, I mean no. <laughs> I two All right, my turn's over. No, what I mean by this that game's is just... easy as two no, PCs died. Thinking, no. One, no, what I was thinking was in the Star Wars game that I ran. I don't think anybody died. <laughs> so I've never heard of any characters dying in any other role play game I've ever heard. I've only ever heard of people dying in role playing games in D and D. That's the truth. 
You've never played um, Call of Cthulhu. I was going to say Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> Literally everybody dies. Um, but that's uh, kind of yeah. the point of the game. Yeah. No, my campaign, you know, three or those who don't survive survived. are like insane. Yeah, like if you survive, you don't live a happy. There's no happy ending in Call of Cthulhu. Is my point. Runon, it's your turn. There's a house in your way, so you can't really see what's going on over there. I probably hear like some shit going on. Yeah, you can hear stuff, but I mean, you have no line of sight. Yeah, so I am gonna jump the gap. Acrobatics check, please. Or no, you don't even need to do that because the new rules fuck my life. Um, what is a running jump? It's like you gotta run 10 feet and then you can jump the equivalent of your strength score I'm in feet. Honestly, yeah. I'm fine just doing the check. That rule is dumb as fuck to me. No, no, it's the rule. Just jump. You can If you can jump oh, 10 this, feet, you can make that gap. That is so cheesy. Uh, yeah, it's not cheesy, go... it's it's based on stats. Yep. If, yeah, you, were a, if you were a strength-based, slow-ass fucking barbarian, you would have missed the jump. But you're not, not true. It's based on your it's strength. Or not opposite. strength. Sorry, yeah, not strength. If you were a, if you're big and strong, you can jump further. Sure. Uh, if you were a weak ass wizard, you would have missed the jump. There you go. There you go. Fair enough. So basically, what I'm trying to do is like stand on the edge of the roof and smash this guy. But the I can't like put my character. No, I think the building is in the way. Is the reason. Well, it's yeah. If you're shit. like way over there, I don't know. Yeah, oh. there's no way because like think about the height of the building and looking down, like he would either have like full cover or like you couldn't even see him at all. Yeah, it's like hanging off the building. Yeah, or it's just because of the angle. Like being on that roof is not going to help you out a whole bunch. Mm. So I was here. So that was five. So it was fifteen to jump or is jump like double movement. No. So. Um. Hold on, long jump. Move 10 plus feet and jump a number of feet up to your strength score. When you make a standing long jump, you can only leap half that distance. You made a running. It doesn't really say, but I imagine it's just your movement speed. It doesn't say that it counts as rough terrain or any shit like that. So. Right. So I've got, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm just going to hide again. That's fine. And then I'll hold an action as well. That if something comes in your sight, you're just going to unload on them? Okay. Yep. All right, roll your stealth check, please. Thank you. Oh, wait, I forgot. I you're good. I thought All that right. was a one for a second. <laughs> All right, Grimfist, it's your turn. Uh, hearing the commotion from the distance, I turn and say, your friends sound like they need me, and I will slash... Uh, this guy in front of me. Okay. Yeah, when you say that, I say, uh, yes, leave this one to me. You're much faster. Jeez. Run. That's a hit. Now I'm, who's mad? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, and I'm, I want him to make a constitution save as I'm going to stunning strike him. Okay. Nice. Nice. I think it's Constitution save alone. Yeah, double it check is. for me. I think you're right, but save one of them stunning strikes for the boss. Yeah, too. A con save. Or <clears throat> con save. It's DC fourteen. Oh, he crit he's fails, yeah. so he is stunned. nice. He fails no matter what the score is. Cool. Um, I'm still gonna use my action to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I had a friend who had a monk that every attack he did, it, he made a monk based off a of kung pao. It was pretty hilarious. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah. Auto crit, right? No, incapacitated. So all attacks have advantage on this guy, and he is stunned until the start of my next so turn. So he's not stunned. He's incapacitated. Well, it's, yeah, incapacitated means he can't do actions or reactions. Stunned. I know what incapacitated yeah. means. I just think it's funny because there is also a status called stunned, and yeah. stunning strike doesn't stun them, which is fucking stupid. That's the dumbest like, thing I've ever heard in my life. Once again, D&D &D writing things Wait, incredibly what? poorly. I thought they were paralyzed. I didn't think they were stunned. That's yeah, what no, I thought. No, they're stunned. Paralyzed. No, no, he's yeah. stunned. It's stunning yeah. strike. Uh, target oh, is stunned. A stunned creature is incapacitated. Sorry, that's fucking confusing. Um, I yeah. see it now. 
Yeah, so... They can't move, they can only barely speak, they automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws, and advantage on attacks against it. I see yeah. that. So, you'll have advantage on confusing. your next attack against him. Okay. Uh, I kicked him in the balls for nine damage. <laughs> nice. I'm going to use my... His ghoul balls? What if he yeah. doesn't have balls? Oh, whoops, well, it's, it's nine damage worth of punting, so... Fuck, yeah. I don't it's remember what his... Pelvic damage. <laughs> before that shit. Okay, the well, wrong thing. Uh, I guess he's dead. I no, guess I I did a total of 17 Shut damage. Up. He was at 21. I did a total of 17 damage. I stunned him. Uh, and I'm going to use bonus action key burn to dash to the next guy. I think I can make it. Jesus, Monk Christ. The fuck? Wow. You just did all that and you're dashing away. That's crazy. Yep. Holy Welcome shit. to Monk. Yep. <laughs> so I just. Fucking yeah, that's pretty good. Slash, stunned, ball kick, sprinted, and now I'm at this dude. Ball kick. That's some super speedy shit. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's pretty I mean, key. That's pretty key. Monk's that, cool. That's why the most important thing is to protect your balls, according to South Park. <laughs> <laughs> it's also why you don't shoot a guy in the dick. God damn yeah. it, boys. Yeah. I gotta find the fucking stunned icon. I can't even find it anywhere. Anyway, um... Oh, there it is. The goofy face. That makes sense. Alright, Bobbity, it's your turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pop a moon... I'm gonna use my last slot, uh, moonbeam him. Everybody's made I, a nut shot spell. I also, uh... <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I also blew my, uh... I, I blew his reaction, so you could move away. I kinda wanna tank it so you maintain... I mean, I'm just going to move around and get advantage because uh, Grimfist is here. Oh, is he? You're like, I blew his reaction yeah, I can't, I can't as if that him. matters to me. <laughs> yeah, he's on the other. He's literally on the right hand side of me. Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, I'll moonbeam him and he'll make a save. And then I'm going to heal myself. What are you? What, wait, what uh, are you doing? I'm. Uh, I said I'm moonbeaming this guy. Okay. And he's um, gonna make a save. This is a new moonbeam, by the way. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna heal. Oh, myself. that shouldn't be with disadvantage, but he rolled like shit anyway, so it doesn't matter. So he takes thirteen. Mm-hmm. And then six. Fourteen. Okay, I'm done. Oh, oh, wait, no. Yeah, five, I was gonna say 10, move. 15, 20, 20, 20, 30. So it's Mortimer's turn. Sorry. I'm Excellent. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move my uh, hex onto him. And I think we're gonna blast him. The gangbang commences. Mm. Hide your kids, hide your wife. And those both hit. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Alright. Jesus. Uh, that is gonna be 28. I Jesus. I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> All right, Soma. I guess you're getting attacked. Okay. He's stunned. Oh, yeah, never he's mind. Stunned. He's, yeah. He is stunned. <laughs> he doesn't get to make a save or anything to escape. He's nope. just fucked. He's okay. he's stunned until the start of my next turn. Oh, okay. Oh, I never think mind. the end of my never, next. and it's your turn then. You have he's advantage. He's about to die. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. He's way dead. Yeah. He's just gonna, oh. he's gonna die. Yeah, until the end of my next turn, so, yeah. There's 11 damage. Yeah, those new dice are fucking doing some shit. Not that time. Okay, well. And then the final, actually, 14? No? Probably uh, not. Probably, I don't think no. so. No, no, definitely not. They actually have a decently high AC. And there we go. Eight, so eleven and eight. Yeah, 19. he's in. Okay. Uh, 
And then I 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, start running toward uh, the rest of the crew. Word. All right, what shit do I have to do on this turn? Uh, uh, can't save. Uh, it shouldn't be with disadvantage, but you roll like shit again. So, my turn to have bad rolls, I guess. Take seven. Okay. Nice. Anything else? I mean, if he wants to try to take his armor off. You know how stupid that is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not happening. He's However, like, time out! He's like, time out, long everybody! Sword yeah. Four longsword attacks with disadvantage are going toward, I he's don't like, know. He's like, big T, everybody. Yeah, uh, probably Grim Fist. He looks the most uh, wounded. I wish disadvantage could stack. Super disadvantage? Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't think so. 20 hits you. I know that much. Yeah. Eat shit. 15 damage. Uh, he's got two more attacks. 18? Nope. I made sure to hit that guy and make sure I got my 19 AC. Alright, last attack. <sighs> Alright, yeah, he almost <laughs> went down. Alright, uh, so that's his turn. Uh, he's not taking damage from the metal, or is that your turn? Uh, it's on my turn. Okay, so right now, how much? Uh, Iscaf, yes, we are playing on Rule 20 so and takes, using D&D Beyond character sheets. So he takes four, four from that. Uh, I'll cast Healing Word on Grimfist, okay. and then I'll move into attack position and attack him. We got okay. This is here, by the way. So you get five hit points back. Flankage. Let me add yet another tiny token. Actually, flank might already be on there. I just didn't remove it. It is. Oh, thank God. Uh, 27 to hit. Christ. 14 All damage. Right. It's 15. Uh, yeah, 15. Sorry. Or no, it's, it, it added the total. My bad. Yeah. It's bludgeoning, radiant. Yeah, 14. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess, Runon, it's your turn. All right. Is this like a raised portion of the building here? Oh, I want to move like south. What's up? I'm sorry, say that again? Is this like a raised portion of this building? Let me, let me look at my height map really quick. Um, so you're technically on a top floor, and um, you're technically on like a third story roof right now. So then that this one right here is lower. No, all th yeah, so this one here, this uh, rectangular section uh, here, is also a third floor, I think. Yes, and then this section is a is a uh, second story. It's like a shed that drops down. And then these these three buildings in the corner are all three story buildings. Okay, so like just to be clear, I, if I move directly south, it's still three stories. Like, just Correct. Story. Correct. The only place that's lower in height is this. Hmm. You know what to do, Runon. Yeah, I kind of. I, it's really only one option. I'm not going to say it. That's to try to make the jump. <laughs> yeah, that's a three story jump, so you're definitely making an acrobatics check on that shit. Yeah. All right, I'm going to. And you're, if you fail the acrobatics check, you're taking like <laughs> 2d6 falling damage. Uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't been hit at all this entire fight, so. Yeah, and you're not exactly melee, so it's not like the biggest thing if you take some damage. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna back up ten feet. Plus, two d six averages out to like seven damage. You're like, come on. Then I'm gonna jump across. Oh, yeah, well, you're gonna do the big jump. I'm gonna do the. Big What's your jump. strength stat? What's your strength stat? Twelve. Um. You can only uh, jump 12 feet, so you can't make that jump. That's okay, a 15-foot jump. Fuck. Never mind. Like, there's literally nothing for me to do here. 
Like, I mean, I guess you can I try could... and jump off the roof and make an acrobatics check to like land on your feet. Like yeah, fuck it. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna front flip off the fucking top of this building and try to like land on my feet. I'll like Xena and Hercules. I fucking love it, dude. Go for it. Make an acrobatics check, please. Uh, it's three stories to land on your feet. I'm gonna say it's DC 15. Okay, let me side bolster this. Well, there you Big go. target. Actually, there you go. So you land without taking any damage. You land, you roll on the ground, and uh, you are good to go. Yeah, so then... Uh, you are not hidden, though, anymore by any stretch no. of the imagination. But I still get advantage, and the big boss man is getting it. Why do you get advantage? Oh, guiding... No, uh, guiding bolt's off now. That was only one. someone's point. within five feet of him. Well, you don't get advantage. You get sneak attack. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So it's not advantage, but you do get sneak attack bonus damage. So go ahead and roll a regular attack roll. Ah, every turn with a rogue where we need to relearn how sneak and advantage and how no, a rogue works. It's just confusing how they write it's it. But so it's so fucking really confusing. Bad. I know, it I've sucks. Got it, I've rogues got, are I've weird. I've got it down to a science because literally in every game I play, I have people who main rogues. And so now oh. I have it like, I have literally four years of experience of DMing rogues. So I like, think I, I think rogues it. are complicated. They they can be. They're really they annoying be. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Do you miss your barbarian? Uh, okay. Aspects of it, yeah. I think fighter is super fun in fifth edition. Gaul, Gaul was favorite. literally just run up, slap somebody, don't die, run up. Gaul slap, was fight. awesome, and I miss that character. I wish she didn't yeah. commit suicide. You didn't, didn't commit suicide. I'm always gonna say that because it's funny. Okay, it's gonna I mean, happen. Forever. It did kind of look like he committed suicide. Yep. I mean, everyone thinks so. So, I mean, you know, everyone thinks so. <laughs> except except sticks. at all. It's except fine. sticks. But I mean, I, I I'm just saying, we need someone to think it's suicide. <laughs> he flipped a people. coin. All right. it. He flipped a coin. No, no I like that he. I like that he played your character, dude. I like that he played your character, man. Saying it, Chad. The Air Force is anti gaul <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it. Oh man. <laughs> okay, uh, Grimpus, it's your turn. You can All attack right. with advantage. We're gonna get crazy whenever the shift click. When Craze and Sticks come out uh, to visit me here to build the PC, we're gonna get we're gonna get Craze drunk, and he's gonna admit it. <laughs> okay, if he admits it, I just shut the fuck up. I mean, Ooh, that's going to be really through. hard because I handle my alcohol oh, like a fucking barbarian. Oh, <laughs> look at that. So how do I read that? 12 damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, 12 damage, and I'm going to attach a stun to that one as well. So he needs to do a constant. Hold on, wait a minute. How much damage is Nine plus three in the two hand. Oh, okay. It's the two handed. Yeah, it's 12. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he needs to make a whatty? Con 14 save. Okay. He has a decent con, so I might have a chance at this, but knowing how I've been rolling... Uh, this isn't with disadvantage, by the way, so it's the first number. It's 12. Fuck. Yes! <laughs> so what is he stunned? Yeah. Basically, he can't do anything, and we get double advantage. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> you don't get double advantage. Shut the fuck up. Why are you flanking him? Stop being stupid. Um. Oh, double advantage. <laughs> nice try. I'm not. You know. Oh, <laughs> right, uh, oh this is a funny, funny session. It is a good one. Um, it Double is no, he's done. He's he's got nothing. I got nothing to uh, defend it against that. So nice. In other words, he's basically dead. So it's a matter of time. Bobbity, it's your turn. But, uh, my other no attacks. Wait. Your other attacks hit, of course. Uh, so ten, nine, Ooh. nineteen. Yeah, yeah he's, this he's is done. this is a formality at this point. Um, yeah, he's like status affected to hell. <laughs> like there's. Bobby, what are you doing? Oh, guiding bolt him. Well, he's also got his moonbeam, so roll damage for that. He has so many. He automatically fails his on him a dex right or... Wait, he automatically it's fails. I know. It's I gotta read the. I know. I gotta read the thing for stun. It's strength and dex, so he still gets to roll con. Okay. That looks like a six to me, not a four. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's some bullshit. What? 
Speaking of fours, um, <laughs> yeah. so five radiant damage, which is I was talking about the dice. It it, it, oh. it gave five radiant damage because it said it was a one and a four, but it looked like it was a one and a six on my end. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that sometimes too. it does that and it glitches out. But that's it, fucking yeah. weird. Okay, and I'm also rolling uh, guiding bolt. All right. Well, will Bobbity Dragon Slayer become Ghoul Slayer as well? Probably. You have advantage on this, so. Oh. I mean, the first one hit, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So just roll damage. 46. 8 billion 15. dice. 15. Yeah, this guy's dead. Good Yay! job. What does it look like when Bobbity guiding bolts this guy into oblivion? Um, I think my chalice form is going to slowly fade off as this just beam of light shoots out of my hand and just... I don't know Ooh. if he vaporizes, but... Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and he just vaporizes yeah. into yeah. gold dust. There you go. Nice. There's a pile of dust at your feet, Corn and Grimfist. Nice. Damn, what a battle. That was a three hour battle. Yeah, it was. Those motherfuckers are hard. Well, not necessarily hard. This the rolls are ridiculous. Dude, we were rolling like ass for the first In the beginning. Three like hours. my yeah. my first like five hits were all one on the die. So <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. kept crit failing after crit failing. That was bad. I brought up, yeah. but you guys, you guys really did a good job of keeping them separated. Because if they would have been able to gang up on you, it's like you learned the lessons from all the times you got your ass kicked by the hobgoblins. You know, what? What? Like uh, really do impressive. they have pack tactics? They don't have pack tactics, but the problem is that um, since they can chain attacks together, if they group up on any one person, it's just like your odds of surviving are very low. Because they have like three attacks each round. <laughs> and yeah, the purple guy had four. Luckily, he was out of the fight the entire time. Yeah, if you guys, like, if he would have gotten the jump on one of you, one of you would have just gone down immediately. And yeah. It just would have been like... Alright, so, all of a sudden, the battle's over. We kind of we kind of look around, and... Uh, the town square is quiet again. Yeah, I shout you just out... Hear the uh, flickering of the torches. And, yeah, I shout out, Gather the bodies and bring them to the well. And then I, I look to Mortimer and I say... Uh, find the leader or the mayor of this town. Bring him here immediately. He needs to. Well, when you say bring the du the bodies, I guess um, Corin just picks up a bunch of dust yes. <laughs> in front of him, like into a bag. Well, he doesn't have disintegrate, so I'm kind of confused on how that's happening. <laughs> he didn't disintegrate him, but that's that's you know he he got hit with a guiding bolt and just turned into radiant goo. That works. That's. Yeah, there we go. Goo. We can we can like we can just we can just drag all the bodies to the pile of gold goo. <laughs> we see Corin like yeah, sweeping the yeah. corpse over to the one. I'm yeah. just like kicking it with my foot. Just Yeah, just we can let his his, his his armor is there, but nothing uh, else. Oh, uh, Mortimer. I'll, I'll pick uh, the armor. Yes. Tr try to convince the mayor to wake the fuck up and see what we've done in his town. I don't even I think he up. knows what was happening in his town. Does anyone know where the mayor lives? Yeah, you guys haven't met the mayor. Uh, no. I don't know. Hello, but if, mayor. if anyone can convince the man to wake up, it'll be you. So Surprise I think what happens is the, the, the dwarven innkeep comes out. Well, it's funny that you say that because the dwarven innkeep comes out. And he's like, he's like, what the hell is going on over here? Also, hello, my friends. It is good to see some of you again. Yeah. I give. I mean, uh, this fight in D and D years literally only took like twelve, fifteen minutes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I uh, not even. It, it, it was like a took minute like and a three half. Minutes. Yeah, it was like two or three minutes <laughs> of fighting. Yeah, I say, uh, Grim, how the hell are you down here? You are always around at the most opportune times. Like I said, always a pleasure, friend. Always, and I give him the gladiator hand. Yes, for Gaul. Gladiator. Where is Gaul? When he says that, I, oh. I grip his arm and I lower it. I, I drop my arm and I just kind of shake my head, lower my head when I whenever he asks. Uh, seeing this, I bow my head, put my hand on my chest, and do a prayer of my people of mourning. A quick prayer. Damn, Gaul's getting the respect still. Because he was a good character that you killed. 
I mean, that died. That died. That died. That died. Sorry. I killed him. I will not have you be smirch mine. I am always going to give him shit forever until he admits it, and then I'll let it go. <laughs> I mean, I didn't Technically, kill I killed him. Okay? That's true. I can't true. let you get away with that. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to... Dude, I have certain friends, Crazed and Eric, that I will always shovel dung to dude, because they can some, handle you're it. You're on some GN on shit out here, dude. This is like the conspiracy. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. <laughs> it's so manon, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So manon. Ooh, I like that. That's so manon. Ooh. Dude, and that's, the, your new that's the name of my new startup, Somanon. Yeah, he's going to start posting in Discord. Well, actually, here's the 100% <laughs> evidence that Gaul killed himself. <laughs> so oh Somanon sounds like a, like a weird In the basement of a wizard. pizza parlor in New York. <laughs> <laughs> actually, D&D. &D All right, the next parlor. part of what you're going to say, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it'd be it'd more be like, well, if you actually listen to the bot and you listen to his keystrokes, you can tell that they were reverberating as he was typing out his new character sheet. <laughs> exactly. He was designing the character while Gaul was still. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh, my um, goodness. Yeah. All right. Hello, so. Babidi and Mortimer. It is good to see you as well. Yes, of course. What, um, yes, what brings hello. you south? I am heading back to my people with their reports of the comet in the sky. Ah, mm. yes. That's gotta perk Bobbity up. Hmm? I mean, I don't, I cannot read it. It is a secret letter. Yeah, I pull something out, it's sealed magically. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. It's still so fun. I know, but I must return. <laughs> I take it you all were heading south as well. We'll get to yes. that in a minute. Um, we'll, before, we'll get some rest and eat, but. Before that, we must take care of this mess. And I, I'll start dragging bodies over myself if I have to. I want to yeah, I want to yeah. show the leadership of this town what the fuck has been going on, because we're well, about to get a reward. The interesting part is when you bring the body of the guy who is the mage over. Um, the innkeeper looks a little distraught, and he says, "Hmm, curious." Is he like so, standing uh, next to us, or? Yeah, he's like he's probably like by the well right next to you. Okay. Um, and he's like, this one is wearing the clothes of the alderman. Oh, the what? Never in. I found the mayor. What, what's going on here? I'm gonna detect. I'm gonna cast detect magic. Oh, oh, you said the mage is wearing the clothing of the mayor. Yep. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice. You said you're gonna so, cast what? Cast detect, detect magic. magic. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Um, Soma's sword lights up. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. hammer lights up. But I mean, like the half the of what Runon's wearing, like half of your gear just starts glowing. Um, you don't really detect any magic coming from their corpses. This is their natural appearance. This is what they look like. No, but I meant like the armor and like the clothes, right? Like oh, you're trying to see if they have any magical items on them yeah. or something. Yeah. No, none that you can tell. All right. Um, I will describe what the guards that hired me look like to the dwarven innkeeper. Okay. Does he, like, know who they are? Yeah, and he was like, oh, well, I assume they're asleep in their houses or in the or in the barracks. Yes, could you if... wake them and bring them here? Sure. So, you know, a few minutes go by and he comes back and the two guards are, like, rubbing their eyes. And they're in their common clothes and they look at this pile of bodies of these weird ghoulish creatures and they're like, Oh my god, uh, what, what is this? That is an excellent question. <laughs> and then he sees the armor of guard Thomas, like, laying on top of a pile of gelatinous goop. <laughs> and he sees the clothes of the mayor and he's like, So we were right. There was yes. something strange going on. Yes, but, well, strange and deadly. They were doing some sort of assimilation, from what I can understand. Um, do you know how far this reaches? I would be concerned this is not everyone. Well, I don't know. This is a good quarter of the village. He looks at, like, ten corpses on the ground. <laughs> it's like, um... I don't know. We'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled, I suppose, but um, 
Wow, this is more grave than we thought. Oh, uh, thank you for your kind service. I'm, I don't know how we can repay you, if at all, but uh, we would be doomed without you. Yes, well, I'm sure we can find a way. Well, if I may, if you don't have a way to pay us, any time we're here, you treat us like kings. Does that work? He Might looks over at the innkeeper, and the innkeeper kind of looks around. He's like, oh, I suppose. Seems I fair. I have a second idea. <laughs> we'll huddle the boys together. Okay. Um, we, we discussed, like, we were joking, but we discussed how they have, like, oak-aged whiskey in, like, this town. Like, that was, like, their export or whatever. Well, th that amongst other things. Mainly wood crafting. Like, they make the barrels and stuff like that. They do have wood. a whiskey and shit yeah. like that. But, like, anything wood you like might these need carts for this like, village you're yeah. kind of maybe building. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Right, um, right, right, right. They right. might be able to, you know, you got dwarves who can build things for you out of stone, but these guys, they're expert wood crafters. So. We do need some uh, nice wood flooring because that's what I'm putting in the map. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Damn. No, but uh, they are good. the largest supplier of wood in, in the Dragonfall Kingdom. Area. Just imagine what sort of guard towers could be built. Yeah, or or just houses for your village, or a, a mansion Both. for you guys. Whatever, dude. Like, it doesn't matter. Keeps right, being well, built, but guard towers and homes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the keep is mainly a, a military structure, right? Exactly. The, the keep is like your guys's base of operations, though. Stronghold too. Yeah. base of operations. We'd sleep like there a, for houses and stables and things like that. You'll need wood. The keep is more of a fortified mansion that has Correct. all the stuff we need. Correct. So we're going for like the village vibe, but yeah. Yeah. For the village, you will definitely need wood. Poor yeah. eyes, bud. <laughs> Imagine all being right, Canadian so and then Twitch is like, "Ah, eh, you're French." <laughs> we assume you're French. Yeah, oh, that's that's actually really funny. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's what we want to do. We want to negotiate for that. For the wood? Building yeah. supplies? Yeah, I mean, it's like building supplies and maybe like discount stays at an inn or something. Decision I mean, I think guys. building supplies should be more than enough. That's the priority, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we can pay like, what is it, like a silver to stay the night here? Like, <laughs> I mean, rather have more supplies. True. The building supplies is pretty fucking good. Yeah. All right, well, me and my friends have deliberated, and um, it's my understanding that you export plenty of wood here. And, um, Aye, we do. Quite the fine craftsman as well. Some say that, yes. He's being humble. <laughs> ah. Well, we happen to have ourselves a uh, fresh property just outside of Dragon uh, Dragonstone. Fall. And we are in need of fine craftsmen, such as yourself. Dragonfall, sorry. Um, I was thinking of my Targaryen friend. I apologize. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I want to play. A, I want to play a Game of Thrones fucking RPG. That well, sounds fun. Well, I have an idea about that one too, but that, that requires us fun. to do some fucking homework for the game system I want to use. Um, if you want the intrigue part of Game of Thrones, that is. Um, but anyway, I, I want to be a fucking blood witch or whatever like melisandre that'd be sick you want to be an edgy character imagine <laughs> my shock yeah exactly. eric <laughs> you might be a simple man but i'm an edgelord yeah, come on so am i <laughs> to <Yeah>. be fair <laughs> I just, i'm always an edgelord i <laughs> have to be an edgelord because it's just me i can't help it um they, they bully me about my so education. here's the deal so <laughs> you want to try and secure them to to provide wood or provide wood and labor? What is your deal here? Wood and maybe discounted labor is probably like our best bet. Okay. Well, um, I mean, yes. what are we building here? Are we building a house? Do we need like, do we need the, you know... You're building a village. We're essentially yeah. starting a village, but we're going to need like good woods craft like wood crafters and shit for like our McMansion because we want to ball out. Dude. <laughs> McMansion. Imagine like, like, good labor and dragon. I mean, I think we're also going to need like you guys are also going to need like quarries and stone workers. As they well. already have that. Oh, already have it. Right. Yeah, yeah cool. we got the from the dwarves, dwarves that in. they saved. All right, yeah, yeah they yeah, got that cool. locked in. 
got it. We're building, done. You know, we're building a house. We're not building an art piece. Like I think Tom the Builder and Dragonfall could do just fine. And probably... Well, the dwarves are building your keep. So that's it, the stonework. It, what we need is yeah. just materials. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. So so then you'll hire craftsmen from elsewhere. Yeah. I mean, to, if we if we can get discounted labor, or just like, have people move in who are displaced in other there places. You go. That yeah, works too. We can figure well. labor out. Let's just get resources. In my opinion. Okay. Yeah. For resources, they'll agree. Straight up, you don't have to make any rolls. If you were going to try and get labor involved as well, then I was going to make you roll for it. I would, I would say we try to get, I think we should try to get labor. There's no, like, if we have to pay, like, a little bit less, like, who cares? Like, let's just, I think we should go for labor. Like, they're all in on, on giving you a portion of their harvest on wood, oh. right? But if you want to try and get some labor at the same time, you'll have to do a little convincing. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. I mean, we we're bad gonna people. Step up. <laughs> we just it's... killed a quarter of the town. Like, we we're going to be like, <laughs> send Ru more people to come build our house, too. <laughs> uh, Ru Runa Runa's going to step up. And it's really like, we thank you for the materials, but we are also in need of some labor. Do you have, could you spare a few of your best craftsmen? Are you sure you want Runan to have this conversation? Just gonna okay. say, who has the best, who has the, the I am not charismatic, person? yeah, I can't. Yeah. Never in the dick. Like an 11. I mean, I'm, I'm alright. Donnie, yeah. the weird, awkward dude, strangely enough, has the best charisma in the entire. He might yeah. look yeah, awkward, yeah. but he's soothing and sweet, and people trust yeah. him. Yeah, and people just trust you don't. Him you don't have to be hot reasons. to be charismatic. You just no. have to be someone oh, you that you can convincing. trust. People yeah. just got to believe you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got to be likable. Yeah. But Runon, if you have decent charisma, you could go for it. Sure. Yeah, twelve is decent. I mean, I have 12, too, and I, I ain't have, saying shit right now. I, mean, I have 14. <laughs> you have a C have plus a in, in charisma. I have That's, 14, but uh, what do you guys want again out of this Mortimer's guy? Mortimer's got like 18. So if you talk, I'll give you guidance. We're, we're trying to get, Mortimer's trying to get 20. labor. Like, Mortimer is 20 labor. I, I think Morty doesn't feel good about asking for both when we just killed a quarter of the town. You know, it's just like, man, man they got I don't problem. know. If, if Mortimer won't ask, I, I will ask. Like, I. My friends. The, these are my friends and my companions. And we are building a base to help people like you in a town like this, where deception and evil can be anywhere. And we aim to purge every town of this. Would you but loan us some supplies and some labor? We can create a base. We can create safety and haven for all. A safe place. <laughs> <laughs> nice and safe good space. And I, that was a good my, speech, Eric. That was good. I Even though you don't know all that background. You don't know that background, but we'll give it to you. I, I know enough about you guys. Yeah, yeah, let, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. You're right. I let my hair softly blow in the wind. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll a persuasion check for me. <laughs> Guidance! Like, they're basically like, well, that sounds nice. Guidance? 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 Like, Guidance is going to do anything, bro. It's a D4. Like, it'll make it a 12. Can I, uh, can I try something? Can I, like, <laughs> assist? I oh, it it's 12. a 4! He crit on the 4. Come on. 25% yeah. chance. A 12 total? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> You're asking a town that literally lost a significant portion of its fucking population. Not just like, move to hey, our guys, new town! Why don't you just ditch this <laughs> shithole and just come over to our place? Well, actually, <laughs> I should have said that. I mean, actually, unironically, it yes. can work. Yeah, yeah, I mean, cool yeah. with all the shapeshifters. I that's hilarious. I'm glad we did that. Well, this town sucks. I mean, but, they have, but they're here for a reason, because they have the best wood. Why would they leave Correct. their resource? They're not, they're not yeah, going to leave exactly. Here. Yeah, they're not. Going. You would have to make them a pretty fucking compelling argument to get them to leave here. Because, There's no way. This is money. Yeah, this is. Yeah. Think about it this way too. This is generations. A village built on generations of craftsmen of a very specific, specialized type, and to ask them to just up and do something else is not yeah, possible. You know, it's it's ask like asking the old coal coal miners in West Virginia, like, "Hey, it's cool, just learn green tech." It's like, it's fine. Don't yeah, worry. Learn to code. Learn to code. Learn to code. It's easy. Like, it's just like it's kind of a it's it's a reach to ask that, right? That's true. So, maybe maybe yeah. asking to leave is a bad idea, but it's like they're probably not going to give us free so, labor. No, this is what they're going to do. 
they'll give you the materials, but they're but they're gonna stay staunch and like we have to stay here. It's all we know. We've got to rebuild the town. This is an important place to Dragonfall. Maybe maybe if your town gets big enough, maybe we leave Oakwood at some point. But can that's I not something them, we feel good about doing uh, right. We now. can we, we can pay them. materials. Materials are enough. We either pay them or hire someone at Dragonfall. Yeah, getting right. a I'm shitload assuming... of the best wood in all the land is enough. That's huge. But I'm assuming yeah. we want and there are craftsmen craft in Dragonfall too who know how to work wood. Yeah, it's a it's, fucking yeah, huge I mean, city. There's yeah. no way there's not someone. The, there this now. this town's main deal is harvesting and exporting the wood. That's where they make their lumberjacks and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, let's just thank them for their wood and a good time. And... Thanks, Daddy, for your wood. For your wood and a yeah. good time. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your thick oak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> May your forehead grow like the mighty oak. <laughs> it's like, should we just like rest and then... well, let's go take a nap? Yeah, let's go yeah. take our let's go take our long rest and go to level six, please. Yeah, let's let's do that. But before we do that, go get yourselves a long rest. But let's take a little break here. Everybody, I'm sure, needs to pee and stretch their legs. Yeah, let's and then take we'll come five. back. No. What we'll probably end up doing to finish off the episode is um, doing our level ups and shit. Getting everybody leveled up and doing all that. I, and I'm down to play longer tonight, if, if everyone else is. It, it depends on everybody else's schedule. Yeah, I'm, I'm down yeah, to go I'm another another, another hour and a half. I got another 40 minutes in me, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Well, we okay. can level so, and then continue on on the road, then. Well, we can level and reconvene with Iliandra and see what's going on and see where we're at. But, yeah. Let's let's just do that. Everybody, let's take the break now instead of spending like 10 minutes arguing what we're going to do afterwards. Okay. Let's and take then five. We'll, we'll come back. Okay. Five is fine with me. All right. Uh, we'll come back at uh, 25. We'll come back at, at 10 25. 10 25. Nice round number. All right. See you guys in six minutes. Yeah. You can find.
Hey everybody, back from the break. What is up? Let's jump back into Discord. Hi, Coles. What's up, boys? Mm -hmm. Howdy. Sorry, I took the whole break and realized that I never got my final old-fashioned and had to run back to the, the kitchen. Cheers, everybody. Chat, group, cheers. Cheers. All right, boys, are we all back? I agree. Yes, sir. I think. Okay. Beautiful. Soma, what'd you get for level six? Oh, I need to level up. Oh, are we taking our long rest or? Yeah. Yeah, we took it. Okay. Take your long rest and level up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Which means I get my wheeler, wheeler whoa. Oh, I'll do that right now. So what I'm doing is I am taking a... F Neverin is not a werebear because the party got a cleric who immediately removed the curse from him. Exactly. Uh -huh. I'm uh, taking resilient decks, and now I have proficiency on three saving throws. 
Dude, I get evasion next level. Oh, gimme, gimme. So now I now have 20 decks. I have 20 AC, plus 8 to attack, plus 5 to damage. Skills have gone up, and I have proficiency in decks. Wait, I mean, you... what a sick fucking level up. You boosted your stats? What? Yeah, every two levels with a fighter. They're yep. busted. Oh, yeah. you're a fighter, that's right. Yep. So I took resilient decks. 20 decks. I have STR decks and con proficiency. And uh, 20 AC now. You and everybody else. Yep, I get one at 8 too. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> at 8, I will be taking Open telekinesis. Uh, I cannot wait to take telekinesis. That's when I'm going to start mean, shoving people. I'm going to start pulling archers off cliffs and shit. It's going to be fun. Hey, I get evasion next level, so that's gonna be. Get fairy fire. Uh huh. Um, you might want to take it though, because I, I was only gonna have... say, should I pick it up? Because you don't have very many slots, right? Yeah, I can take it okay. off because I really have not used it at all. Okay. Yeah, I I will pick that up. Okay. And I will trade that as. Yeah, I feel like as a warlock, like these weird little nuke spells are kind of the move. Mm -hmm. Like so, like weird cannon. like some sort of like. If you only have a couple spell slots, you might as well make that one spell do something incredible, even if it only affects like one creature once and there's like a weird saving throw or something, right? Yeah. But that's just the way I look at it, though. If Sticks unlocks multi classing for us, I got a fucking meme build. Oh, God. <laughs> no, nah, dude. Multi classing is going to work this way. It's going to be. Um. If I allow it in this campaign, because we started one way and I kind of want to stick to it for a while, the way I would do it, it would be like, we, you guys all get to level 12 and it's like a milestone or something like that. And then if anyone dies, the next character you make can be a multi-class kind of thing. Yeah, no, I, I, That's I, how I, I would do that. it. I wouldn't allow like respecs or any of that bullshit. Oh but, yeah, no, um, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I would, then everyone suicides their player. character. I mean, everyone wanna, suicides uh, their character to build like a fucking gish machine. If, go. if I died again, I would want to remake my Ultima oh, online character. Fucking stealth thief mage. That shit. Oh, you could have been an arcane trickster. Same yeah, thing. I could have, but I mean, it's a rogue. Like, there's just something about like being a mage that can stealth and drop like fireballs and shit. That's pretty tasty. Yeah, but I don't think you can sneak attack with spells in fifth edition. I yeah, I'm not, sure. I'm not sure. I'd have to look. I don't think you can. Still cool as fuck though, just getting the stealth. Do I think Warlock should have more spell slots? Absolutely not. They're super strong. Yeah, invocations help boost all our spells. And the spells we do get are usually pretty awesome. And the other reason you get them you back don't on a them... short rest. Yeah, and you get them back on a short rest and not a long rest. If you gave warlocks more spell slots, they'd be better than sorcerers and mages. Like, and that's well, sorcerers yeah. need to be taken down a peg, in my opinion. But that's just me. sorcerers are really strong in fifth edition. I agree, but they sucked in third edition, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, and then yeah. wizards get a bunch of buffs and fucking, you know, every time every time there's any sort of update to the game, the wizards of the coast nerds. <laughs> love to jack off the wizard a little bit more and neglect other classes. Well, no one played wizard in 4th edition, so I see why they, why they fucking buffed it. Yeah, they are, like, really like, edition, are really strong. Like Wizards are really strong. They are, but I feel things. like Sorcerer is stronger than Wizard Wizard in 5th edition. Yeah. Because like, Wizards, wizard, the good thing about Wizard is that you can have an insane repertoire, but you have to prep your spells every day. It's like a very tactical sit down and think about what am I going to use today? Like, are we going into a dungeon? I need to prep these spells. We're just general adventuring. I need these this loadout. It's That's like having different loadouts. Fun as fuck though. You actually have to think. The Sork about it. is just like, oh, anything I know, I'm just going to cast it. Like it just you're just limited by your slots and meta magic stuff. Sorcerers are just cool. Like wizards are better if you if if you have to really boil it down in terms of if you if you make sure the spells that are ready in your spell book if they're perfect for the encounter you're going up against then yeah the wizard's better 
But overall, I think if you think about role play and just innately what a spellcaster could be, sorcerer is just cooler. And then meta magic, come yeah. on, meta magic well, is the shit. Meta magic, meta magic is only sick. being a sorcerer thing is a fifth edition thing because really? you used to be able to get meta magic on wizards. <laughs> like, I think it was in fourth. Meta magic was the thing. I for never any played fourth edition. Yeah, I never. Yeah, played. well, I I didn't either, so I have to lean on what my friends have told me about fourth. But I'm pretty sure meta magic was a thing. For any spellcaster, that's in, that's fucked. Yeah. In uh, in fourth edition, I forget how it worked though, so don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure it was wizards and sorcerers could both get meta magic points. Mm. But um, yeah, I mean, to me, the be all end all is: do you want more spells to cast at will, or do you want to have basically an infinite repertoire, the ability to literally learn any spell in the game that's a wizard spell? I mean, you can't learn a cleric spell as a wizard, but but it's cool because if you get like that spell or the scroll of scorching ray, you just jot that down in your book, and now you know it. Now you can add that to one of your loadouts. You know, that's the cool part about wizard. Uh, I just thought, like the idea of like a wizard having actually having to prep shit just seems more interesting to me. Yeah, and it is for a lot of people. It's just a different style of gameplay. Hmm. We brought up tactics. I know. Shit. Well, we're not done with the session yet. Let's continue oh, no, on. No, we're not. We're just talking about our levels. Is everybody done leveling? Yeah, I am. I'm yeah. done. I have to decide on a new Kensi weapon, but other than that, yeah. Um, Donnie, what are what's your hit point maximum now? I am forty five. Oh, yeah, so you and Runon are just always going to have the same hit points. Okay. So should we do like a montage yeah. moment here, go to sleep, and then it's the morning time and we talk to uh, Eliandra? See yeah. what's going on? Maybe we all wake up in the inn here? Or... Yeah, I'm just going to put us on the big map. That works. Okay. Yeah. It's time to go to the big map. That works. So chat can see what a long-ass journey you have remaining. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me let me zoom out and actually scroll. Yeah, zoom out and scroll a little down. Um, and we can show them where the object of your first voyage will end in Baratin, and then you'll have a moment, a couple of days, I think, of respite in Baratin. Yeah, you chat, can we're in Oakwood right up. now, by the way, just yeah. for reference. We're here. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you guys will have to do a journey down to here, which is about a week away. And then you can go, if you're going to take the boat to the Elven Lands, you go to New Harbor and take the boat. Um, for Grimfist, he will probably actually go south from Barrowton to Winton and then on to his monastery, which is off map. It's in like this over direction. Here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like where this river ends or begins, rather. Um, well, so that actually works really well for next week, Eric, if you yep. can join, because the travel to Barrowton is that. Yeah, you can so be part some of that, sort of like really cool. Split ways. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm assuming some sort of cool uh, event will happen on the road if Eric's traveling with us. But we're just still not done with this with this uh, uh, session. So let's so continue. You guys uh, get your rest. And you wake up the next morning feeling reinvigorated and a bit stronger. Nice. And um, you can head back to uh, Iliandra's magical carriage, basically. Um, and, uh, you know, you knock on the door. The door opens. And uh, when you step inside of the richly decorated, it's covered in silks. There's, like, food and, and uh, drink all over the place. Um, at your, like, it's kind of like when you think of things, they just kind of appear as well. And then, um, you, uh, um, you speak with her, uh, if you, if you would like, I mean, I guess she's going to say, um, how was your night in this boring backwater town? Oh, it was all right, I suppose. There was some trouble, but um, nothing bothering you, Worth. Hmm. Well, then. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yes, I slept rather well. It was quite peaceful. Whenever whenever uh, Mortimer says that, I kind of make a, huh! 
sort of laugh, <laughs> and that's it. And I just look away. Oh. <laughs> that's it. Well, that's all. Yeah. Well, uh, I think we should get moving. We have a long way to go. Unless you have anything else you'd like to do here. And just to be clear, the people of this town know to send supplies to our village? Yes. Okay, cool. Like, we're assuming that you've told them where to send things. Um, we should show chat on the map, if you scroll up, Soma, where you guys sure. were thinking about building it. I think we settled on a location, right? It's near the pass. Yeah, right behind Dragonfall. Isn't it like here? Yeah, it's like basically on the other side of the pass. Like, it's going to be your town, and then you take the mountain pass, and then Viderheim is on the other side. Are we north of the river or south? Probably north, right? Near the... well, it's up to you guys. I like assume, that, I'd on assume that angle. I would assume like we're on... close to the pass, but like hidden away a bit, but we could get to the pass so like fast. Kind of here. Like here. Like in okay. the, like like nestled in, amongst the rocks here, you know. Okay. It will probably just be like a small like little hideout, I guess, for people or village. Yeah, it's, it's a little a, hamlet. Sure, I mean, but... imagine it could turn into a three times what Oakwood is. It'd be like this village like amongst the mountains here. Imagine like a yeah. mountain town that's on the foot of a mountain. That's right, exactly. Yeah, the yeah. the thing is you'd probably want to be close to a river. Yeah. Because we're gonna we're is... gonna want to be right here. Yeah. Yeah. We because, need water. Uh, yeah. Well you need water because you can also put if you have if you cut your own wood up in the north, you could have lumber mills right on the river. You could use water mills to turn um fucking grindstones and make your own like wheat like your own bread like you could you could let's, water let's, for anything let's think of it this way viderheim is a town it's this is like the last chance kind of a town we're the last yeah. chance we're going to be the last chance town chance on that side on that side pass. because i, I have like to it. imagine this journey is not going to be the same as walking flatly across grass this shit right here is probably scary, right? It's probably hard. It's probably like um, bandits and weird mountain people shit and yeah, the just crazy shit. Like this is going to yeah. take a week to get through the mountains, right? Not a week, yeah, sorry, like but a few days. Four or five days, like four or five days. Yeah, I can't imagine this. Imagine all the terrain. crazy shit hiding in the mountains too. Like, yeah, we're the last, the last pass. It's like three just days. Just on the, uh, the west side of the mountains. It's Our like a three-day trek, and we're provide, like if people move there, like one of the products could be armed escorts because we true. Attack, we tax. Well, them. think about what our what our business is. Yeah. We fuck shit up and fix issues. Yeah. Yeah. So our town, yeah. this this, I don't know what Viderheim does, but I'd imagine our town is a t is a. They're like you said, they're a last stop. Before yeah. you go over the mountains, or the first sure. thing you see when you get across, you know it's a, it's a it's, it's a an oasis, town. it's a respite yeah. town. But our side of the mountain is it's a respite town, but also a oh, someone's fucking with you, town. Let us know. Hmm. Yeah, right. It's a good way to put it. Yeah. And you're on the main, you're on the old dragon road, which exactly. goes all the way across. I think it makes a lot east. of sense. It makes a lot of sense. But I still, I can we not play for another hour? Come on, God damn it! It's it's up to rival, man. I'm sorry. Rival, he's got, he's got a pumpkin time. Uh -huh. Rival, what do I gotta? What do, what do, what do I have to pay, Palia? What? <laughs> rival, what time zone are you in? Uh, West Coast Pacific. All right, I am, I'm on the East Coast, and I'm down to play for another fucking hour. Yes, right? and he's got to get up early. Yeah. But rival, don't you work with kids? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Okay, so we had to factor that in. <laughs> so, time, are you good for an hour? <laughs> yeah, Rival has the hardest job out of all of us. He works with okay, kids. Okay, how about this? Yeah. Rival, can you make it to, like, 1130? I, I can make it to 12. I'm fine. Yes! Well, that's like an hour and a half, bro. Jesus. Rival, I will no. buy a pudding cup for all your kids. Oh, it's an hour and 20 minutes. I was going to go to 11 anyways. Okay. Okay. So, Dude, that's only adding an hour. Rival, yeah, if you need me to pay, pal, you let me know. Do not pay. <laughs> How about this? We'll go for as long as I have prepped. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That works. Okay. Dude, rival, just watch out. There's gonna be like a. Because at that point, you guys don't have a choice. But 
<laughs> There'll be a mysterious box of pudding cups that show up at your work for all the kids. And then I'm gonna take them home and eat them for myself. There you they go. They don't deserve pudding. They don't deserve <laughs> pudding. Fuck them. They fucking don't. They're kids. No, they're evil. They've been evil this week. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Alright, so. You guys prepare yourselves. Okay. Get in the enchanted cart. And you guys head on down the road. Um, the first few days on the road from Oakwood South to Barriton, not very eventful. It's pretty peaceful. Um, it's just a wooded trek for several days. Um, camping by the road with the mountains off to your side and the deep forests that make Oakwood all of its money. <laughs> surrounding you um, and as I would say like when you get to where you can see the mountain river that leads down to Barrowton probably about here um, <laughs> you happen to notice that things are starting to shift uh, you are no longer in within the realm of the kingdom of Dragonfall anymore you are now in the southern realm where the main city and the lords that rule over this land call Barrowton home. Uh, and this is an area of industry. You can see when you see these mountains and, and the rivers that come down that there are logging camps, lumber mills, stone quarries, and they're churning out massive amounts of, of uh, raw material. It's all being sent by boat down this river to Barrowton. Um... And as you get closer and closer, you start to see guards stationed outside. And uh, there's a sigil that they all wear that is different than if... Has anybody in this town ever been to Barrowton in this party? I'm sorry, anyone in this party ever been to Barrowton in their history? Not I. Uh, I think I no. probably have traveled. Probably, yes, Grimfist probably definitely Grim. would. Yeah. I, uh, I probably have. Probably been around a little bit. Yeah, I would say it's possible for Donnie. You you would have. The guards are wearing a strange sigil, that is different than uh, the old house grave sigil that used to adorn Barrowton, which is literally just um, a white skull on a brown field. Um, that flag still flies, but underneath it there is another flag, and uh, I. I I think I have the image somewhere. Alan, you kind of invented it or picked it out. So you want, oh, you want me to just send it to you real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post it in the post it in the disc and I'll upload it. But you see this you see a new sigil of um of a house that has risen to power. Um and uh maybe you'll learn more when you reach Barrowton. Uh, but things are different. You see posts along the road. They're um Stopping carriages that are coming through and stopping workers and checking them for something. And when you get far enough down the road, you can uh, you can see um, that they have stopped um, the cart in front of you, and you can hear them speaking to the cart. Is there anything you want to do at this point, or do you just want to wait your turn? Can we eavesdrop? Yeah, you can totally try and eavesdrop if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, I would say since we're still in a journey phase, where are the journey I'll rules? To you directly. Okay. I'll yeah, can you recap thanks. journey rules, Sticks? Yeah, so journey rules right now, we have um, the guide is Corin, scouts are Mortimer, or uh, is Mortimer, sorry, hunter is Bobbity, and then lookouts are Nevern and Runon, and uh, I guess the guest is... <laughs> Is Eric, unless you want to fill in to uh, a scout or a hunter, depending on whether you value perception or survival. I'm a you. much better scout than a hunter. Okay, so I'll just add scouts are Mortimer slash um, Grimfist. Okay. Cool. Great. So um, I'll have the lookouts, Nevern and uh, Runon, try and eavesdrop because you're the you're the perception people. Okay. Do you want perception rolls? Yes, from both of you, please. Guidance? Definitely. Yeah, always. 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 You have two people that can cast it, so 
Yeah, it's yes. just a part. If only we could stack it. <laughs> Oof. Nice. Thank God that you can't. Yeah, I know, no, right? That'd be broken. Okay. Yeah, we on, almost Norm. got perfectly identical rolls almost. Yeah, that was good. God, God damn it. Hold on, give me one second. Just for extra measure, I'm side bolstering. Yeah, the dice. Yeah, the dice are cool, huh? I'm loving them. Really sick. Did you have to buy those? Where'd those come from? No, I think they. Well, you know what? I it's been so many months. I think that I did make a purchase and they came with them, but I can't Which remember. It? Maybe it came you, with like blushes or something. I'll just show you. Yeah, you look look at my. A, if you look at my stream. Yeah, they look crazy. Oh, you know what? They so, were in, they were included with buying a book, I think. Yeah, that's that's but, usually yeah. how you get them. Yeah. Yeah, I so think when I bought a when, this when I bought one of the sigil. books. Yeah. This is the sigil. Oh. That okay. you guys oh. see flying under the the grave sigil. That looks terrifying. That's not ominous that's, at all. That's Raven something. It, yeah. Yeah, that brings Rune on a little bit of comfort. Yeah, Rune on sure. should un well, would should I get that. This I... No, not specifically. You wouldn't recognize this specific, but you know it is Raven. It, it is yeah. a Raven, and yeah. that's usually a good sign for your your. Yeah, queen. so I can assume like there's probably some Raven Queen. And this uh, is flying sure. where? Where are we noticing this? Um, so anywhere where there's like a stoppage in a camp setup, there is flying at the top the Graves flag, which is a brown flag with a skull in the middle of it. This yeah. is the ancient ruling house of Baratin. They founded the town. Um, their history is that they, um, and Donnie and people would know this in the party, but their history is that they were all uh, uh, like undertakers and gravekeepers. And there was a big battle that was fought here centuries, like millennia ago, and they were the last people to survive, and they built a town around a giant graveyard that they dug. Um, and then they started investing into industry and raw materials, and they got super rich, and then Barrington became this really rich city. Um, this flag, um, Donnie, you could try and make a history check, and then I'll tell you about your perception check. If any of you want to be like, maybe I've seen that before around town. Or maybe I have knowledge of the uh, the great houses of uh, Baratheon. Nev Neverin's got no idea. Right. No. Definitely not. Uh, I Donnie is idea. a bookworm, so that's why I'm kind of letting him roll this. Uh, um, so, 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 so it's grim. <laughs> grim, like, come on. Are you really, like, invested? I, I have, like, a proficiency in history, and I'm going to Okay, yeah, yeah, then roll it. That makes sense. Yeah, you travel through here regularly now. Yeah, so my my theory on this is that Grim, while you travel through here, you might know the customs of Baratin, but you've never really sat down and read yeah. about like the history of their houses or anything like that. Yeah, I'm whereas, just a wanderer, but I whereas, read books. Yeah, whereas Mortimer has read about this. This is the sigil of House Hellcan, which I will spell out in uh, the D and D chat. Oh, um, take a note. They are. Um, uh, they are an old house, and um, what you do know is the reason that their sigil is the Raven is because they do show some reverence for the Raven Queen, and they are one of the few Raven Queen cults on this side of the thing. So the 20, you actually are like, I've read about these guys, and they're fucking different <laughs> than the other people. Mm -hmm. There's several of their houses in Baratin that are standard nobility that do some politicking and some boring shit. Hellcan is like the weird cult dudes. Um, hmm. uh, not in a bad way. They're not like evil or do sketchy shit, but they're more of a religious occultish, and I say occult to mean that which is outside the norm, uh, kind of a house. Um, is the lives... Raven Queen a known entity in this world? Is she yes. an elusive? To the elves, to the elves, yes. Okay. Yeah, you would know about her. Like a you would know about her. She is she is your culture's god goddess of the moment of death. Got it. So when someone is on their deathbed about to die, the elves would say a prayer to the Raven Queen to to bear their soul to whoever the overarching, you know, judge of the dead is, which in this case is Kelvin because I'm using the Forgotten Realms gods. But, Basically, um, I worship yeah, a dead god. Got it. Kind of. Kind of worship. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yep. And then um, also you might... Uh, I'm going to say that never since you left like Eldemar and weren't like super invested in um, 
getting embedded in the culture you know you were kind of counterculture while you were there correct well, well correct i i wrong. get the culture and i respect the culture right. what i what the reason why i left was the pressure of joining an entity that would take thousands of years of my life away from me the military right sure yeah. so okay then you i i, I just want I personal still freedom think yeah. No, I understand that. I just I'm trying to quantify whether you would know about this family because they do trade a lot with the elves and in their origin. History is important in Evern. Some of them, no. some of them were um, originally elves that then intermingled with the noble house of of Baratin, kind of assumed. Yeah, uh, I'm proficient in history, and I never cares about the past. He wants. Okay, he well, wants just knowledge. roll me a roll me a history check, and I'll see if you know the if you. If you assume the, oh, I cannot speak. If you um, have the requisite knowledge, the twenty-three. So you might have heard that there is that this house. Like once Mortimer is like, oh, this is this house. You'd be like, that name rings a bell, mm. and this is why. Um, so there's there's a couple connections you're making, right? Okay. Um, Helkin. Al, if you want to jump in, because you created like most of their backstory, um, you could tell them about the connection between the elves and yeah the tell me what i know yeah tell me yeah. what i know so, tell them what uh, Neverin would know that's actually a better way to put it elf haven right that's the uh the port the, yeah the port right so <laughs> when uh helkins were some of the first uh humans to actually come to elf haven and uh started to like do business with the elves there and are some of the only humans that actually continue to do trade with the elves and that's actually how they uh have maintained like you know a financial i guess like backing so they're, they're humans that stuff. worship the same death gods as the elves and there's an understanding yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. there's and, an and understanding and there's, there's a little like, bit of like inter, a mixture intermarriage, of like intermarriage yeah. with some of the earlier humans yeah so there's so, there's actually, a lot of like, half elves in this town there's a lot of half elves in hell right. well not a lot but they're there are they're they're not Hellcat. rare yeah hmm. well they're i mean they're still rare but in this like, town in this town yeah uh in more in like elf haven it, um there's they're not rare but here there's only you know maybe one or two half right but hellcan house does have more than most uh Correct. humans yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay they are kind of like the elves would probably view them as and this is probably a fallacy, but they probably view them as like a half elven sort of based house, even though that's not entirely true. I would say that the elves are arrogant enough to probably think that, um, and be like, "Oh, the Hellkens. Oh, you mean the yeah, half elves?" Yeah, never. Like, well, that's this. not entirely ne never true. Heard, but... Never has heard of this, but probably has misconceptions. Yeah, that that's fair. Yeah, I would. I mean, I'll, I'll just I'll just RP that. I'll, I'll I'll RP that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, like. Um, there's like one specific uh, thing. I don't. I don't know if you wanted me to. If you want me to keep going into. Tell me, please. I mean, it's 23 history. I, I mean, come on. So like, uh, yeah. the leaders of like the Raven Queen religion in the Elven lands, like uh, the daughter Ilmar, uh, is was rumored to have rumored to have been married to a human at some point. This okay. You guys are giving me some new info dump. Can I get can I get a little bit of background on that? Well, so like you know, obviously every church has like leadership, and right. the, yeah, but know, who's so this elvish woman? I, I need more info. Elvish woman is the daughter of like the leader of the church of, of the, the Raven Queen. Queen. Okay, and she was she went on a trip to uh, Elfhaven, met a human, and married him, and stayed with him for a couple of for you know couple of years and they had a you know supposedly had a child and now she's back in the elven lands but you know but that's like the biggest she lives a long time he thing. doesn't right yeah right yeah time goes on and she's still alive and that motherfucker yeah. died at 70 yeah exactly oh, yeah, yeah 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 right he is makes dead, sense right? like i mean time oh, yeah, goes yeah, on. No, he died he died years and years ago at this point. her yeah, kid will live right. hundreds of years she's gonna be alive for yeah yeah. Makes sense. Right. Okay. Okay. But so, in, like, the moon, like, Hellkin, and you're like, oh, yeah, wasn't that that, like, weird lady who, like, you know, like, married had, the like, mortal. Buried and... the mortal, like, you know, like, 
because it's like one of the more famous elves to have married a mortal, you know? Yeah, this yeah. this is probably a common story, and she's still around, too. Yeah, so... Right? Oh, yeah. Well, she's we'll have to see when we get like, to... Uh, well, she yeah, could I be mean, dead. I don't know. She could be dead, yeah. Okay. When you left, she was in my mind, she was alive when you left. Correct. That's a good way to put it. But with the calamity that is occurring in the Elven Lands, who knows who is alive and who is not anymore. That was my point. So anyway, that's what your history checks both get you. I know that was a lot to absorb, but um, where are you seeing the flag? You see the Graves flag up top at these encampments, and then right below it would be uh, usually that space for a smaller flag is reserved for um, kind of like the most high-end noble house. And it's like a sign that the most powerful house in the town or in the kingdom is subject to directly to the graves and serves them in a high capacity. So basically what the flag structure is telling you, uh, and this is more on Mortimer's side, um, is that House Helcan is now top dog in terms of all of the houses of the south under the graves. Would I know which house was uh, top dog previously? Uh, with the 20? Yeah, probably. The last time you were here, something about House Voss being really powerful and, and is influential. is their sigil anywhere on like that flag kind of like totem pole? No, their sigil is missing. What you remember about the sigil is that it's an eagle talon piercing a heart uh, on a black field. And it's gone completely. It's not there anymore. Wow. I will explore. Perhaps we should um, tread lightly. They might be in a transitional period. So mind your P's and Q's. Agreed. I'm not from here, so you'll need to explain. Well, it appears that House Helcan has recently come into authority, and um, when that happens, typically heads have rolled. So let's play nice. How long was the the previous leadership? Well, I'll uh, tell you. I know exactly. It was... <laughs> so, House Voss... <laughs> the last time you were in Veriton, House Voss was in charge. Um, as far as, like, what you've heard, you probably haven't heard about this. This is all pretty surprising, so it must have been very recent, like, within the last month or so, yeah. um, at most. And what you would know is that House Graves is the leadership has been forever, right? That has not changed. Um, what has changed is the most significant noble house underneath. If you want to yeah, think how... about it, like in Game of Thrones terms, the Targaryens are still on the throne, but like, you know, House Lannister may have fallen out of favor and now it's House Tyrell, you know? Like, yeah, that's no. that's basically what I'm trying to describe. Yeah, no, I get sure that. I think someone okay. was asking how long had House Voss been in charge previously. Oh, exactly. Shit. exactly. For for probably a couple generations, so probably. Like so this is a crazy. So this oh, is wow. a crazy change. It's a major power shift. Yeah. Yeah. This is fucked. Yeah. Okay. And we're walking into. It. Okay. But but Neverin says, uh, okay, so Neverin is starting to understand. He says, well, well, hmm. I don't know these lands, but based on. Whoever's in charge now, I think I understand where they're coming from. Yes. As I so as I gesture toward the banners that are now flying. Yes. So let's behave ourselves. Probably tints around here. Yeah. So by the time you guys finish having this conversation, your cart moves forward again and then stops. Um and you hear the voice of a woman um, say, All right, everyone out of the cart, please. Oh, God. You are entering our lands, and we wish to make sure you are not carrying any contraband. When you say entering our lands, are we deeply outside of the city in the road still? Yeah, like I said, you're right here where this river's starting to bend. Oh, That's fuck. Kind of so we're, still a, we're days out. Okay. Yeah, you're days out. Okay, right here. You're you're about a day and a half on a cart on a road. Okay, okay. Day at most, actually. Yeah, I think Good everybody point. steps out, unless someone has an objection. Uh, I'm trying uh, I'll to step out. We no, have, I'm, like, I'm like, crazy shit, but I don't think... We Other than Runon? Probably not. I mean, I could always wild shape. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, try, I, like, I'm not trying... I'm not trying to... You can hop out as a dog, yeah. yeah. That's funny. Honestly, that's probably a hilarious. That's now, actually I'll, really funny. I'll step <laughs> out. Like, I can't think of anything that would be necessarily 
need to hide. Oh yeah. my god, you can jump out as a dog. I hate you. I'll 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 oh uh, my god, that's cool, and I hate you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna you can just pretend to be a not, dumb like, mutt. Quite a wolf, when are we going to do a D&D campaign like a where husky. everyone's a druid of a different build? <laughs> and they just all wild shape all the time? They just roam around as a pack of dogs? And they just like... <laughs> Oh my god, Nobody's that's that's wiser. actually really powerful, and that's don't, actually really let's rare. not talk about it. <laughs> it's too strong, actually. Someone's gonna no. go circle the moon and beat Tank. And then There's gonna be five circle of moon players in a year from now, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna twirl shape into like a husky type dog, so not quite a wolf, but I look like one. I'll, uh, I'll shroud okay. my face, and as like he's hopping out while he wild shapes, I'm gonna get out in a way that it makes it look like he's my pet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Like they're um, like the 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 woman. Is, um, uh, she looks at Iliandra and she says, "Greetings, Ark Magister. It has been a long time since you have been in our lands." And Iliandra looks at her and goes, "Yes, we are stopping by for a few days on our way to New Harbor to head for the lands of the elves. And while I'm in town, I wish to speak to Magister Joran Vault." Uh, I assume this will not be hard for me to arrange. Of course not, your majesty. Um, I shall just check your companions, and then you shall be on your way. And then uh, Eleandra nods, and then uh, stands to the side. And then um, <laughs> she looks over. I think the first person will be Nevrin, <laughs> like, standing there. And she looks at you and goes, Hmm... It's been a long time since we've seen any of your kind other than Eleandra here. What is your business in Barrowton? Does she speak true? Am I next to Eleandra right now? You were the next in line. You're not necessarily standing right next to her, but she, you're the next person she talked to. When she says that, I laugh and I say... You must not know Lady Eleandra if you're asking me why I'm with her. Only she can speak for herself. And I sort of give way to her because I know that if I try to speak for her, she'll just slap me. <laughs> <laughs> or turn you into a frog or something. Yeah, exactly. So. I'm like, uh, <laughs> no way in fucking hell I'm going to speak for her because I'm a dick, yeah. but I'm not as smart as her. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, she looks at you and she says, a wise answer. Do you have anything on your person that should concern us? Now, when she says a wise answer, that does piss Nevern off a little bit, and he <laughs> rolls his eyes, but he makes sure she can't see. Right. Like as she looks down at her parchment and says, uh, exactly like do you have that. anything on your person that I should be aware of? Talking you to me? can't think of anything. Are yeah. you talking to me? Yeah, she's oh. asking if you're bringing anything into the kingdom that she needs to know about. Mm, nothing that would make your lovely place of residence explode. There's nothing. <laughs> there's, there's nothing. She cocks uh, an eyebrow at that. She's <laughs> like, like, I, uh, like what? Fuck? What? Like, of course not. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, mm, yeah. Explosives. No. Yeah. <laughs> Shot down. No. Uh, it's kidding. more of a joke, like a. No, no I, you're she fine. Gets that. She's just like, that's yeah. a fucking weird thing to say to like a. Yeah, I'm person. not. I'm but not gonna kill you. Yeah, we're yeah, fine. Yeah, she's like, oh. very well. And she's like, you know, glancing at your armor and your double-bladed sword on your back. And she's like, Jesus, you guys man. are kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. She's like, this guy's like decked out. What the fuck? Um, who wants to be next in line? I'll go. Uh, okay. Just keep in mind, uh, 
rival is wild shaped and yeah. I got out to make it look like he's like my pet dog. Her. I understand. Yeah, and I'm right and next so to him. She looks up at you and uh are you wearing your necklace? It, I do have it on, uh, but my face is like sh my face is also shrouded as well. So like it might be hidden. Is the necklace like, visible? Oh, uh, she might see like the strap of like the necklace. Yeah, like, she'd see the chain like, hidden under your shirt. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. She, she looks at you. I know your face is shrouded, but she looks at you, and there's like some glimmer of what you are. And she like looks and she says, "Hmm." Not here to cause trouble, I assume. If you're traveling with the ma with the magister, when she, when I hear her say that, I say, "Listen, I'd never let someone like him anywhere near me." If I didn't she trust raises him. her hand at you mid sentence. She says, "I am not speaking with you." I I kind of yeah, I kind of gonna... grumble like. Ah. Uh, I'll probably pipe him like, Nevrin, I appreciate you trying to vouch for me, but I can speak for myself. Yes, please do speak for yourself. I then, shut. Uh, I I'll shut up. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> turn to the. I'll turn to the guard and be like, "All you need to know is I'm traveling with trustworthy companions and my uh, canine friend here. I do not seek to." Listening to his answer, Nevrin's like, ah. Yeah, she looks at you and she says, Then let us begin with an exercise of trust. Oh no, I knew it! Your answer was bad. <laughs> she goes okay. like, oh, not necessarily. Hold on. Okay. okay. She okay. says, uh, Why should we trust you other than the company you keep? For that is not always a symbol of one's personality or morals. Uh, I'll just be like, for the same reason you would expect others to trust you. I have no, I can't tell you to trust me. Oh, but I believe the burden of proof is on you, my friend. You are entering our realm. And then she, she looks at you again and she says, Is that a sigil around your neck? Show it to me. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll whip it out. I'll whip, I'll, whip, I'll whip out my meaty sigil. Yeah, so you whip out the uh, mummified uh, raven claw. She looks at it. And then she looks down at her paper and she mumbles something to the guard next to her and she says, He shall go freely. And then moves on. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pet rival. I, I, that way, yeah, uh, she kneels down and it. pets, she kneels down and pets the dog. And hands him uh, like like gives you like I don't know whatever a treat would be like a piece of jerky or something like that and pets the dog and then moves on. Yeah. Um, oh, when she walks past, I'll wink at Rifle like, yeah, <laughs> she's not gonna search you, buddy. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Good um, Well, she has no reason to believe it's not a dog at this point. Yeah. I mean, it's um, a, it's a dog. Yeah. It's literally, it's a dog. It's just a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> You're lucky she's not going around casting dispel magic That's, on everybody. I was wondering. I was like, oh shit, this is. Is a mage or no? It's not out of the cards yet. <laughs> anyway, she just thinks you're a dog. She has no reason to believe That's otherwise. Fair. You guys have been straightforward to her the entire way so far. Um, she walks up to you, Mortimer, next. She says, And you? I think... Hmm. A scholar of some sort, maybe? Certainly. Mortimer Gruel at your service, my lady. I'll do a little, a little bow. <laughs> God, where's a little m'lady... Emoji in chat. Nothing, <laughs> nothing dangerous here except my devilish charm. I, I, I swear to you. Uh, yes, indeed. Are you carrying anything we should know about? Oh no, I don't know. Are rats allowed in here? I'll give you a little head scratch. Yes. Excellent. All right. Trip. As you were. And then, uh, I guess she walks to Corin next. He goes, Ah, one of the dwarves of the mountain. It's been many years since we've seen some of your kind. 
Right. Yeah, why didn't here. why didn't Escorted the royalty the lead the way? Are you kidding me right now? Holy shit! So you, you told me not to tell anybody my last name. <laughs> You're That's right. True. Fucking a. We made a mistake. And to what do we owe the visit? Um, just with these dubious individuals. Dubious, you say? I mean, like, yeah. be like, <laughs> I mean okay. look at him. Come on. <laughs> she chuckles. And the She's thing I'm like, hiding is uh, the best damn dwarven whiskey uh, this side of uh, of the land. You you want some? And I, I offer my flask. She puts her hand up and says, not while I'm on duty. Uh, you shall be happy to know that the altar to the forge is downtown in this section of town. She marks it on a map and hands it to you. And she sees is- you're wearing, like, vestments of the forge, you know. <laughs> So. That is good. My great-grandfather built that forge, so hopefully it stands. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. No further questions for you. And then she stops over at Grimfist. Says, Ah, oh, yes. You are known to us. Your monastery is just up the river. Yes, it is. And it is an honor to be traveling through the town once again. Very well. Since you are known to us, you are free to pass. And then she goes, and just one last check. And then she looks at the cart, does like a little preliminary inspection. And then she says, everything appears to be in order. You may move on. And then she waves her hand. <clears throat> and then the guards move out of the way. And you can all file into the cart. Nice. Once we're out of earshot, I say, uh... So what's so special about the place we're going to? Oh, it is only one of the largest towns on this side of the world. Uh, It's rather magnificent. It was built into a lake where these two rivers adjoin. Lots of floating land masses and a giant graveyard if you're into dreadfully boring things. Hmm. There's also a powerful wizard that I wish to make an acquaintance of. His name is Joran Vault. He works for the house that we were speaking to. Hmm. He's very powerful for how young he is. Most intriguing. uh, Is he an elf? I look at her and No. He's a human. One of the most promising human wizards we have seen in many, many years. And, I, and when she says that, I say, uh, a human that you have respect for. Hmm. Of course I have respect for him. He was my apprentice. And then, you know, <laughs> the scene would fade at that line and the cart would gallop Damn, on. when she says yeah. that, I'm like, whoa. Okay, yeah. wow. I know, that was a big info reveal for a couple of people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so okay. The cart marches on. For the rest of the afternoon and the evening, you make one last camp outside of town. And then on the next day, your cartwheels in town. And I think we can transfer you guys, well, everybody except Alan, for the first time to Barrowton. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh. This is a new map, everybody. This is new. That's an old map, but it's new for you. New for us. This is awesome. I love a new map. This makes me very happy. I love a new setting. Does it make your pee-pee tingle? It makes... I mean, I'm not attracted to, uh, (laughs) you know, a map on a screen. Now, if it had a big pair of tits and a bush... No, I'm just kidding. No, but for real, no, I'm not attracted. But I think it's cool. (laughs) The key word is he's not attracted to a map on screen. Off screen maps. Yeah, Exactly. No, this is great. It's a new city, man. I'm, this is awesome. I was waiting for a, a, a new environment, so this is cool. Nice. Well, you guys are entering through the north gate at the top of the map. Right there. Uh, no. And as you do, you come into a... It's not a poor part of town, but it is like a middle class part of town. There are ports along the southern banks where rivers that... Uh, flow from New Harbor. This river actually goes all the snakes all the way to New Harbor. Uh, flows in and ships, small ships can dock here to uh, to make some trading. Um, there is a gondola system in this town that ferries people around through the rivers and canals. 
Um, and th that is a way to get around. Um, there's a rather fancy inn <laughs> at, in this uh, town as well uh, called the Moon and Sickle, or the Moon and Scythe, uh, which would be probably Iliandra's choice for where to uh, stop for the night. Um, other places of interest, all the noble houses live on this island down here. Uh, it's further south, so if you want to drag it down. Okay. They all live down here. This is where House Boss and House uh, Hellcan have their compounds. Um, above this is that, where people the... joust, right here. Oh, yeah, the tourney grounds? I don't know why my button's not working. I can't... This one. ...do anything. I don't know why. It's all good. I've been able to... I'm going to refresh the whole page. Hold on. Yeah, go for it. I'm refreshing And then I'll the whole give page. you guys the rest of the tour of Bariton, and then I'll... I don't know why suddenly my... It must be a layer that I'm on. Okay. Maybe, except that you can't really switch layers as a player. There it is. There it is. This is the tourney ground. This is where A Knight's Tale takes place. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Ulfric von Lichtenstein. Or what? Ulrich yeah. von Lichtenstein. Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Yeah. Ulrich von Lichtenstein. And and whatever they say. I don't remember how that line goes. Yeah, and then Castle Graves is this And then that hot princess down. slut, he's like, I don't care if you're a prince. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Sorry. And then below below the the royalty <laughs> landmass is the giant graveyard. Um it's got a so temple to Noble Caliborn Land Temple Turtle. Graveyard. <laughs> There's the giant temple, which is this is this temple in the south. This giant cathedral looking thing is a giant mausoleum. This is where all the royalty has been buried, and there is a temple to all the death gods. There. Including the elvish ones. Um the guard captain the captains like of the guard, the city guard, this is their little island. This whole thing. And then uh yeah, there's the marketplace too. This giant fucking marketplace up here, which has everything you might possibly need and um the moon and sickle in is down there as well and then over here is the mages it's not really a quarter but it's uh because it's not a fourth of the city but it's uh you know where the mages are it's the mages district. baritons the shit and better than dragonfall wow this city's I mean, insane sick. quarters this city's just crazy. like place of residence so it could be the mage quarter still Right. This city's yeah, crazy. I guess. It's the mages it's the magic district, if you will. There's several mages who live there, including Joran Vault. Give me one sec. I'm about to piss my pants. Wizard. I'll be right back. It's okay. Go ahead. I'm just I'm just diatribing to chat while we marvel over this wonderful map, yes. Yes. Exactly. Alan is very familiar with, with Barrington. Yeah. That's the Hellcans right there. Which one? This one? Yeah. And it's got a secret underground fucking temple to the Raven Queen. It's fucking rad. I might go check that out. Oh, if you get invited to the compound, you could check it. I'll find a way. <laughs> it's just like the most militant arm of like this Raven Queen cult you're sneaking yeah. into. They're, they're literally like paladins of the Raven Queen. <laughs> it's kind of their jam. That's what they are. It's pretty cool. Let's Chat. go hang out in the graveyard, dude. That's where all the cool kids hang out. Oh, yeah, dude. Smoking cigarettes and hanging out in the graveyard. Yep. Uh, Chat, what do you think of Bariton? I know there's 20 of you in here, so you have to say something. But I know that, like, five of them are us, so I don't know. It's kind of skewed. Is this the uh, pastel watercolor? This is the um, this is the watercolor Sorry about that. city map. Yep. City map uh, motif. I'm back. How cool is it? The city's awesome. awesome. Fantasy battle maps is awesome. It is, but I don't like how it forces you to be at a certain angle. I like this because it's top yeah. down. What did I miss in my 45 seconds? Nothing. We okay. were just shooting the shit. I pointed out the hell can compound. compound. No, the hell can compound is right here. We and it's got a secret. Orders. Sorry, sorry. It's got say a that again? secret. The hell can compound. Okay. Is right here, and the Voss compound is like across the street. Um, but um, the Hellcan compound has a uh, secret underground temple to the Raven Queen underneath it, which is pretty badass. Hmm. Cool. Okay. 
Smooth so, virus. What's up, brother? That's it's been a long time, man. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. So, ooh, we're getting raided. Just, Damn, a, son. just a couple people. Just, a, just two. Okay. Still, hey, I like bro, it. Feel, feel I respect good, it. Man. Smooth virus is an old schooler. So that's true. He could have raided with a party of one, and I would have been happy. Good to see you. That's right. Anyway, now, sorry. Go ahead. Since we have entered town here, you guys can go here and catch a gondola that will take you anywhere you want. Um, going through the <laughs> the castle and shit is probably not going to happen. Hmm. Even though you're with Iliandra, they don't let anyone into there, really. Yeah, I look um, to Iliandra to lead the way at this point. I mean, yeah. I'm... Yeah, you're in... Nevrin is, a, is massively a fish out of water with this whole this whole part of the continent so yeah you i'm gonna no of course not i'm too smart to look overwhelmed i'm too arrogant <laughs> to look overwhelmed but i definitely am not gonna speak up because i'm too smart to speak up right she's like i think we should go to our lodgings first you shall have plenty of time to relax and enjoy the town uh, as it were and then we shall move on for New Harbor. A, hmm, we should take right. one of the gondolas to the market district. Hmm. So you guys head down to this port, get on a little gondola, and snake through the different rivers. How long does um, the gondola should take? Uh, couple hours, probably. probably like 30 couple minutes? Hours? No, no, Less. No, 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 no. Less. Probably right? like 30, 40 minutes. I'll okay. play. I'll play. I'll play You're just going lighter. down to here. You're just going to here. Play a little yeah. tune on my uh, bowed lyre while we're nice. I'll, I'll pull there. out my flute and join you. Sick. Jam session. Jam Hell session, yeah. session on the gondola. That's sick. So it's a shame that I don't we... have a uh, a loot because never Anymore. plays loot. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, you true. haven't bought one yet. You could buy one here. They make good shit here. Yeah. Never. never Maybe you wait till never you get to shreds on the ones. loot. No. Dude, have you ever heard Lutes played? That's been like my thing now. Is listening I'm going to gonna pull it up. Loot YouTube. I mean, it's Dude, fucking there's a awesome. Guy, there's a guy who plays the loot, and he has like a gut stringed loot, like an authentic ass one. It just sounds so good. This is a good video. This is a crazy loot, though, with an auxiliary. Um, so we're basically playing Sea of Thieves now. Uh -huh. Yes. Someone's yeah. got a hurdy gurdy. This is on a piano. Hold on, I know. Where's one of... This guy, the guy... The, ah, shit, where is it? Hold on. Baroque loot. Yeah, that's... Uh, this is a good one. Good. If you want to hear the music. We gotta kill the, the actual groovy music. Anyway. Anyway. So... Does anyone uh, want to make a perception check as we pass this large island? Yeah, sure. We'll do the loot thing after the session. See what loot sounds like. With advantage. Rune on. You notice a strange building on this What's up, Deedle? Right here. You notice a uh, strange building. It looks like sort of a stone temple type thing. Are there pilots on it? Yes. A stone temple, pilot temple, temple. <laughs> um, yeah, it's weird. You hear, like, Scott Weiland's voice coming from it? No. Um, Sick as. You hear Interstate Love Song playing really loudly? Um, no. What? what <laughs> and, then, and then suddenly... Hold on. There's a better joke. <laughs> Rival. And then you... And then the dog <laughs> begins to smell him. <laughs> and it's just rival sniffing all of us. Oh, rival begins to smell. Him. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. I couldn't That's help actually it. Actually, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, do you want to be a dog for him? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I um, couldn't help it. No, that's hilarious. The symbol you see on the temple is a... a it looks like a triangle with a swirl of mist in the middle. My girlfriend just said, you're really loud. Yeah. 
You are. It was well, one joke. He's drunk, of course. I'm drunk. It was one joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. This We're drunk and playing D and D. Let us have yeah. our moment. I'm it. drunk oh, and I'm 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 having fun. Yeah. Exactly. Would this symbol like look arcane in nature? It looks religious in nature. If you'd like to make a religion check. I mean, I have plus one too. I'll, I'll try it. Let's see if it's. Fuck it. Why not? Eighteen. All right. This is the symbol of Lyra, the goddess of fucking the mists and shrouded stuff. She is a, a part of the trickery domain. Ooh, I might want to check that out. Yeah. In my other game, our, our rogue cleric is a cleric of Lyra and a rogue, and it's fucking rad. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, as um, you continue the gondola ride... Yes. Question. I was going to say, if I get a moment, I might want to speak to Nevrin for a second. Sure. Um, Nevrin, I'm not normally one for sentimentality, but, um... Neither am I. Is... Well, that's good to know. Um... This is where we sent Harren. It, I think he at least deserves a visit. Uh, to make sure he's somewhere he deserves to be. When I look at him, I, I look at him and I say, Well, I suppose only the two of us would really appreciate that man. Of course. Yes. I'll go with you. All right. I will, um, I will look into this. Like the first time Nevern has called Heron a man because he used to call him a boy all the time or a kid. <laughs> That's true. He was That's only true. 19. He was only 19. <laughs> he was a kid. But um, you would have been told uh, during your tour guide, that uh, tour that Iliandra briefly gave you of all the islands and what their significance is, that the Temple of Kelimvor, the main one for burials, would be here. This is where Heron was trained. This is where he would have learned his shit, and he is probably buried somewhere on this massive graveyard island. Interesting. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He died like what, like a month ago in game? Yeah, something like that. It's still pretty fresh, you know. I don't even remember who Heron is. Was I there for that? Gasp. Um, uh, yeah, I think you were. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you well, had one Remember the bandit the tower? Were... The bandit tower. Yeah. Yep. You fought with Heron at the ban at the bandit tower. Yeah, you know him. You know him. You know him. You would have fought yep. with him once, and then uh, he was slain <laughs> by hobgoblins. You don't get to uh, go. You forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, you definitely know him. Yeah. Yeah. If or you guys, if you guys Grim really knows think him. about I don't know Eric knows Heron. <laughs> guys, I, I mean, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking back to session one when I waltzed into town fresh off a boat and ignored everybody yep. because I thought everyone was a douchebag and a, a pussy. Turns it's, out it's crazy you the whole time. Uh, it turns out you were it the douchebag. <laughs> turns out he <laughs> is what he eats the whole time. Oh, <laughs> big old bag of dicks. A big old Shit. bag of I don't know. fur burger. I don't know what, what is it. Fur <laughs> <laughs> In any case, Jesus. Let me get guys... two fur burgers, animal style. <laughs> oh God! No, <laughs> so your gondola oh, ride, uh, your gondola ride comes okay. to an end uh, at this bridge here. And you guys get off the gondola and you can move into the market district. Um, and Eliandra takes you to the inn, which is down here. She takes all of us to the inn? Yep. So you get your Ooh. fucking rooms, baby. Oh. Nice. Nice. And I will I will drag you all to the inn. Oh, nice. This is, okay. this is really fucking weird bringing all of you to the place where my yeah. other group is like, it's their base of operations. But group it's cool. Fight. Group fight. No. Are you gonna come in snapping? Yeah, all my East Coasters are gonna wake up. <laughs> I can't fucking I cast one in the on the group. Oh, I am. Wait, so wait, wait, hold on I a second. Are both groups in the same place now? At this particular moment in time, yes, but it won't stay that way for long. Whoa. Group so fight. as group we're fight. checking in, they're checking out. Is that what you're saying? No, they. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do you want to know what the other group's up to? I'll tell yes. you. Jack it doesn't it. really matter to you guys. Um, I want to know. 
the other group, Alan's character in that group is a Hellcan. And he's a fucking higher up in the Hellcans. And they just assumed major power over this town because the original Lord Graves, who was in charge of the town, and this is stuff you guys find out if you talk to anybody in town, um, he... Uh, he turned out to be one of those ghoul guys in disguise. Ah. And they slew him and his entourage and his cousin, Silas Graves, took over. And the Hellcans were elevated to a position of great power. Um, and so now, um, yeah, the city's in a period of transition. And the Hellcans are extremely powerful. Um, and um, they are the mainstay of House Graves now. So hmm. um, well, right that now, that's pretty much the the big news in town so what level is the other group same same level six fight 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 <laughs> no yes pvp <laughs> let's go <laughs> pvp in a game that's not designed for it let's i disagree go. we you would destroy them i i feel well, like you have I mean, six like... people of course you would destroy them they only have four no All but right. based on what you've told me about their party we would they are a different oh, type. They've got a mage who can make you re-roll shit. <laughs> that's oh, yeah, true. Nice that's true. That's true. That. So this is literally that's what's going to happen, all right? Is I, they're going to cast a bunch of buff spells on me. I cast darkness on you guys. Mm -hmm. And then I go in there and I have an advantage. You guys all have a disadvantage. Correct. And then I start attacking you with a great sword yeah. and smiting you all. Yep. I so mean, their strategy is literally... They're, three support characters around Alan's warlock paladin. So what they do is they just fucking buff the living shit out of it. They haste him. They fucking, you know, all this shit so that he's like this giant beast, super buffed character. And he just rips everything apart. It's fucking so, yeah. scary. So you'd have to have Bobby cast some, some dispel. Spike growth and run away. It's yeah. a good thing I'm super Spike fast. I would just run a, run straight to the casters and just yeah. kick him in the balls. Yeah, that's what that's I would true. do. I but yeah, yeah, six on four forward. is already a yeah, uh, six on yeah. four is already a loss for the other team. But no, it's yeah. I mean, honestly, numbers though, are like, everything. Our, indeed. our guys wouldn't even fight you though because they're not like they're goody two shoes. Yep, it, that's right, true. Right. That's hearing, the most true thing. I'm hearing excuses. Yeah, <laughs> you're saying we can't bully them into fighting <laughs> us. <laughs> There's no reason to fight yet. No. Hold on. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> he said yet. Yeah, there there no uh, honestly, I feel like this my my cleric could probably take them only because like oh God. I have such a high AC and like yeah, I your cleric is so good and he's broken so, as fuck. So this is your so, guys' suite is going to be this one over here. No, okay. that's my that's that's our suite. You guys don't live there anymore. You, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> you guys got evicted. You guys are literally like nobles in town. Like, I saw a eviction moratorium's up. Get out. Remember, you actually, in the last session we played, and I know it was two weeks ago, but like the last session we played, you guys actually live in the Graves estate. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, but you, you know, don't live in the inn anymore. That was your room. But you know, it's just sentimental, you know? I know, that's why I think it's nice for this. Can we group. like search the room for like any leftover like artifacts from them? Like maybe they was, did like, not leave. Items? They were not that kind of group. Sorry, this is a really big inn. Is this storage in the inn? Yes. Over here? Oh wow. Yeah, that's the larder. Oh my god, I gotta zoom out. This oh, inn shit. is can huge. We, uh, wow. Can we tie our horses up here? Yeah, they're stables. Oh hell yeah. This inn Look is on the insane. Sides. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm putting wow. fucking Shadow Step in like a gucci out stable. Very nice. Wow. All right, okay. feel free to move your guys around if you want. You can go wherever you want. But yeah, yeah. this this inn is is fucking dope. There's a center stage. This is like Thrumbo's house right here. <laughs> Where do uh? What do people play more games in this in this inn? Um, at at the big large table in the corner, probably. Right, I'm, I'm trying to play some bar games. I'm trying to gamble for some cash. Oh yeah, let's gamble, dude. I'm always down to gamble. We doing some dice poker, boys? Always. I'm doing some uh, sleight of hand poker, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh dear God, dude. Alan, you should tell him the Star Wars story about how you kept using the Force oh, to yeah. the Zoc game. We just kept, we just kept like uh, using the oh. Force to alter the outcome for the dice games, yeah, so that we would always win. <laughs> yep, they would just be like, they would just be like, I force move the dice so it rolls to the correct dice. 
<laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Winning. That's and terrible. We, like, we, we forced, we forced to do it on like his turn to like roll it so that it was a shitty hand for him. Yep. You know, so. <laughs> they would make his dice roll off of good hands. And their what up? Good. No. What's up? Based on, based on my time in the party, I know Donnie like has like the good charisma, but there's no way he'd be able to pull off what I want him to do. Because I don't think Mortimer's down with like tricking people and like uh, fucking with games. Mm. I'm trying to. I don't know. Mortimer isn't like an, it's up to him to decide that. But, but yeah, it'd be like. But it, like, I'm thinking like. Mortimer would like, or like whoever my partner would be like, oh yeah, that's a really actually. Good hand. You know where the you know where the poker room is, right? It's this like private room, in here. I need to 100%. I need to go in there with some dudes that have some money, because I'm a broke ass bitch right now. Well, it's a high roller table, so you gotta have money to make money. Do you have like even? How much money do you have? I have 268 gold. Yeah. Oh, you have enough for the buy-in. The buy-in's probably like 100, 200 gold, right? But these are like big-time nobles swinging their dicks around. Like, you <laughs> know, just like playing like, hu like huge games of poker with like 200 gold buy-ins and shit. Like $1,000 pots, you know? Like Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to yeah. swipe. I'm, I'm like, fuck, I really need some gold because I need to, like, I need some shit. Oh, I want to I wanna do some sleight of hand poker. Oof. All right. Well, I'm not gonna dice poker five people by myself, so we're just gonna do some checks. Um, let me see what I got here. Well, I mean, I'm not dice pokering. No, I know uh, that. I just mean like I don't want to play as the other people because it's fair. Um, uh, because <laughs> there's like five I'm... people at the table. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Nah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. That, that's that's it's. No, 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 no. I'm gonna. Well, while you guys do that, I want to get, like, the best alcohol that they have to offer us. And well, Baritin's uh, got a lot of different alcohol because uh, there are wheat exports and there is wine from well, Winton. And there's uh, whiskey from Oakwood. So they, they have whiskey everything. Whiskey and beer. All right. So we get whiskey and beer and I get one for everyone. Yeah, I, I'm an elf that drinks. A beer like, and a shot. I like yeah. it. I'm an elf that basically only drinks whiskey. <laughs> An elf that only drinks whiskey. That's interesting. I can say I'm not like the fine wine stuff is like I consider that like uh my parents drink fine wine and I don't like them, so I'm trying to be edgy. <laughs> I see what <laughs> I'm rebellious. Yeah, yeah, basically. Nice. I like it. Um, what are you doing, Never? Um. Uh... I'm just soaking it in. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. I, I'm new to this this land, so I just want to do what everyone else is doing. I'm not trying to be a dick. For the first <laughs> time ever, yeah. I'm going with the flow. I'm hanging out. What is uh, what is Lady Iliandra up to? Yeah, I would love. I was just gonna say Iliandra drops you off at the inn and she disappears. She's like, have fun. See you tomorrow, and then just goes away. Huh. Yeah, I'm about to have some fun. She told you before you arrived in the town that she was going to see her former apprentice, Jorn Vold. Oh, that's right. So Fuck. she's probably staying at his dank ass mansion. Yeah, they're fucking. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. I will. Jesus. I will break the fourth wall and say absolutely not. Why would an elf? Ne never mind. Oh, she's into dwarves, man. Right? She, she's have, into dwarves. <laughs> have, you, have you not been on D&D I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you a picture of Joran if you want to see what he looks like. This is Joran. Joran's fucking dope. Um, I like Joran Bolt. Ooh, I'm telling yeah, you. he's a hot man, Chadwick looking hot motherfucker. Dude. He looks like oh, yeah, a, a hot a... Chadwick. Yeah. yeah. He's a badass. He's ass. the Black Panther, man. Look at him. He's looking <laughs> good, dude. Dude, R.I.P. Chadwick. Come on. Holy shit! All right. So what a phrase, fucking I wanna do, travesty. I, I want to do your uh, fucking gambling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's do so you you have to risk at least one hundred GP to a maximum of a thousand. Right, so how let's much start, do you want to wager? Let's, let's start out small. I'll do minimum buy in hundred. Okay. Hundred GP. I need you to make three checks: one insight check, one deception check, and one intimidation check. Uh, in that order. Yes. What was it? Insight, 
deception and intimidation so it's like all it's one wisdom check and two charisma checks okay okay hold on let me do my end of the roll those are pretty good rolls man it's not the worst I mean I'm assuming you have guidance too can I didn't I cast it him? on him you didn't guide? say oh, yeah you can guidance oh. him I didn't do it guidance him and poke <laughs> I mean, it's up to you if your dog is sitting next to you at the poker table secretly casting guidance. Absolutely. I, I think that's hilarious. Yeah. It so what would it be? Three, foot. Yeah. Would that be 3d4 or what was it? Yeah, 3d4. You know what? You don't even need a guidance. Um, you passed all three. So three successes means you gain double the amount you bet. So you gain 200 gold. Nice. Yeah, what, 368. Good shit. In a 1v1 against a rich guy. And you know what happens? Because you beat this one dude, he's going to look at you and be like, You know, you show promise. Tomorrow we are having a high stakes game. If you wish to wager, we'll have to come up with some money, though. The buy in is about a thousand gold. But instead of winning just double, you could win five times what you wager. Uh, yeah, I my rogue boner is going off right now. I, I will not, I will not. <laughs> my rogue boner. <laughs> that is, okay. If we were titling episodes, that would be the title of this episode is rogue, rogue boner. boner. <laughs> rogue Jeez. boner. Yeah, uh, I will, uh, I will nod and be like, hmm. It's a service sad. animal. That's so that sounds, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'll nod and say, I'm intrigued. Can you tell me more? Who, who will be playing at this game? Oh, you know, just the same old people. Well, they're rather wealthy, and I like to steal their money. But I figure you like to do somewhat of the same. Remember, tomorrow night, high stakes poker. Be there. He takes a drink of his whiskey, yeah. slams it on the table, and starts walking out of the room. Uh, I'm gonna peer out the door of this room and I'm gonna roll up my psionic cell phone real fast. <laughs> okay. It's gonna last three hours. It's gonna be on Nevrin, it's gonna be on Corrin, and it's gonna be on uh, Bobby. Okay. All of a sudden, while you guys are enjoying your time in a tavern, you're gonna hear a, you're gonna hear a slightly buzzed Runan voice in your head and be like, fellas. I need to borrow a thousand gold. Sorry. Sorry, I just thought that was funny. Go ahead. For No, that's good. For RP's sake, can can I cast uh speak with animals in my dog form? <laughs> no. Yeah. So not supposed to you can't cast anything. No, right, he, no. you don't have you don't have to do worry it. about it. Any creature I can see with a psionic cell phone, you all, I, we automatically understand oh. each other. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bobby's just gonna say, "Yeah, I got, I, I'm here, and it's all yours." Hell yeah, someday. I'm just like, never. Do you mind uh, fronting me some gold? We have an interesting opportunity. Of course I mind. No. <laughs> Even and I'll be like. Even if it meant we could earn five times the amount of gold we put in. Wait, I just... I'd rather play myself before I give you the chance to win. Well, here's the thing. Bobbity said he'll give you all the money, so... Oh, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, Bobbity said he's going to Yeah, I'll give you it all. Just give me a cut and we're good. Yeah, I'll, I'll split it. Hey, I'll split thanks it for the raid. 50-50. Foolish little dwarf. Yeah, okay. I'll split, I'll split, like, any, any money that we win, I will split with you. It's like you're actually risky, like you're putting skin in the game. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, another raid. Thank you, raiders. Yeah, thank you, guys. We're just doing some downtime in a new town and a fancy new inn. So, welcome. I, I saluted. I saluted my turned off webcam. <laughs> um. Anyway, I guess, now uh, that I'm thoroughly embarrassed and somewhat drunk. <laughs> yeah. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> as as Bobby agrees to give me the gold, I'm gonna shut Nevrin out of the psionic cell phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Does he, he just hears a hang up noise. Every two, like, <laughs> yeah, if if Nevrin even notices, 
He he just it's a sigh of relief. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll I'll speak to uh, Corin. I'm like Corin. Are you interested in getting in on this little uh, little game of uh, Corin's literally like a priest. It's like I don't have money. <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you. It's pretty much. Uh, I don't. I don't have <laughs> what you're looking for here, kid. <laughs> it's yeah, on crazed. Um. I guess it really matters how much you want to put in. I have 2k and I'm I'm down. I, have I, I mean, the, the, the buy, the, like, I will tell you, the buy-in is a thousand gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The buy-in's a thousand gold, and there are four other players, so the pot They're all rich is motherfuckers. Five, yeah, so... Yeah, so basically, it's like winner takes home 5g's. Yeah. Or it's a 5g pot, so technically you're only making 4,000, but you get my point. 5,000 total, total pot. Exactly. So if you won, you could split it with Bobbity, two thousand gold profits each. Yeah, that's and you would insane. each make. Uh, well, you'd probably have to give him some of his loan back, but if you did like twenty five hundred each, that'd be a pretty good. You know, that's funny. That's uh, about as much as uh, this dragon armor I'm making costs. Uh, you know. <laughs> Don't do it, Corin. <laughs> Just kidding. Good. Good luck to you, kids. Though I, uh, I don't, I don't gamble. Fair enough. Figured I'd ask. Then uh Corin gets to stay on the Psionic cell phone network. Uh, Psionic yeah. cell phone network. I mean if there's like any other hands of poker like, being played here, I'll play a few more. Yeah, not tonight. Tonight's kind of a quiet night at the end. There's just the one dude who was like It looked like when you came in he was like wrapping up a previous game and he was like, Yeah, I'll play this new guy and try and get some money off of him and then you kicked his ass and he was like yeah. Alright um yo we're doing a high stakes game and now he's like maybe i can really get some money off this idiot <laughs> so that's like his that's his thought process little does he know that apparently you're pretty good you've won every gambling game you've played so far in my in my campaign so it's the gambling god yeah i mean uh if no one's playing I, i'll just play like darts or something if there's like a dart-esque game i'll just play that shit yeah there are look right here there are literally dart boards on the wall yeah, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll just start. I'll walk up to a dartboard and start. Stand uh, behind the barrel and chuck your darts. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be throwing like little psionic darts. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Uh, Mortimer, we haven't heard from you. Are you doing anything significant, or are you just kind of enjoying the night at the end? Are there any wacky-looking characters in this inn? Wacky, maybe by your standards, because the nobles here dress funny. Uh, the aesthetic down here, like, you're from Dragonfall, and people up there dress like, you know, you know, in furs and, like, like patterned wools and stuff like that. Down here, like, people are dressing like total foppish early English, you know, stuff with, like, weird frills and balloon sleeves and shit. So, hmm. I don't know. And, like, some, some of them are wearing makeup and stuff. Um... <laughs> Are there any wild-looking characters, though? Um, not... I wanna... <laughs> this is where I wish... I wish Horak could join us in the stream, because I would say Sokka's in the end. You can listen to this crazy fucking bard from the other side of the mountains sing a song, but... No, he is not here this evening. Uh, unfortunately. Huh. He's a great character. Um, but, uh... No, there, there's not too many crazy people. We're really far from the dwarves, so it's mostly just humans dwelling here. Um, and, um, yeah, tonight, like I said, it's kind of quiet tonight. So uh, tomorrow, it seems like there's a lot of talk that not only is the gambling thing happening, but there's a performance tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be very lively. Yeah, I mean, hmm. it's a very drunk and happy Runat is just tossing darts in it. Nice. I'm, I'm mentally prepping uh, how to, I'm going to cheat this poker game. All right. <laughs> nice. Well, I don't know. I think we're at a pretty good stopping point for tonight. It's almost midnight. And uh, I kind of don't want to dig into something super heavy this yeah. late into our session. No, that's fun. That's fun. Cool. Yeah, we're, I mean... We're about to go to bed in the inn, I'm assuming, in our room. Yep. Uh, we have a new base of operations for the, the time being. We've established ourselves. Might as well. I mean, it's it's midnight, so we might as well call it. 
Yeah. Cool. Now, cool. Are these bunk beds? Yeah, they're bunk beds. Ah, uh, damn. So technically, like, you could fit 10 people in there, and that round table is a 10 top, so. Cool. I was going to make this is the big We only sweep. got five beds, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Who's nuzzling to me? Um, oh, no. Out. <laughs> no. But, uh, yeah. That's yeah. Great. I was curious cool. to nice. oh, I like this session. This is a fucking Yeah, blast. that was a good one. That was a three hour fight. <laughs> three <laughs> yeah, hour three fight. Yeah, I didn't expect. I. I didn't expect it to last that long. Yeah, well, it's because it was an epic fight. Like, I yeah. know, Nick, you don't feel like... I, I, I already know you, because you don't feel like you did enough damage or anything like that, but, like, we had to control it so much because... And you did a good job. Hard. Like I oh, said, that was the great. It, the battle was you great. Guys, you guys split everybody apart, which is, like, kind of the strat for that fight, is to keep them separated from each other, and you crowd-controlled the boss immediately, which was super fucking smart. No. So you guys, you guys just did a really good job, and yeah, it's frustrating when you're in the moment as a DM, and they're like, and your players are kicking your fight's ass, but it's also gratifying at the end to be like, well, if you think about it, they just did it right, so I can't really be mad at. It. Like, right, we, we could have fucked it, it up. It also took us three hours. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it took you three hours, and it was a multi-phase fight because I'm a big fan of those. Because I think just having like, well, you beat all the guys on the board, we're done here, is really lame. <laughs> I hate it. So I try to make multi-phase fights, we, we and that just the means tanks. they're going to be longer. But yeah. Anyway, I had a really good time. Thirty-nine viewers in chat. Fuck yeah, dude! It was a great fucking night. I'm happy across the board. Yeah, great. this this was a great session. Yeah, I I love that we're seeing a new part of the world. That's yeah, probably my I favorite just part. Say that. Yeah, I mean, can you go back to the Barrettson map? Yeah. Gladly. Yeah, Baritone I mean, is... we have a new city to explore. I mean, this is cool. There's new merchants. Oh, there might be a new merchant to speak to. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> there's gonna, well, there's gonna I, be new characters. My brother in Dragonfall opened yep. his door too. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be new characters. It's a whole new region. I'm uh, in trouble. We f yeah, you're already in crazy. He's already in trouble. He's already in debt. Yeah, <laughs> just I mean, we we had an epic fight. I mean, this is a this is a classic session of D and D. Yeah, it was great. 